Why do you need Christian men and women to tell you and lie to your face and say homosexuality is okay? Why do you lie about biblical translations knowing full well that it wasn't possible for anyone to change the translations or to change the context of the scripture? Right? Why do you need me to tell you that Dylan Mulvaney is a woman when I know for a fact Dylan Mulvaney is a man? And I'm not going to say otherwise to to please anyone on this planet. Because unless somebody comes in here and tells me that they've lived the perfect sinless life and are about to be crucified for my sins, which I know to be impossible, then there's nothing that you're going to do to convince me that I'm going to turn my back to God and tell you what you want to hear. And there's a Bible verse that we're going to that we're going to talk about, all right? Um In 2 Timothy verse 4, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itchy ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Jesus Christ said that 2,000 years ago, and here we are 2,000 years later with guys putting makeup on and trying to convince the entire world to say that trans that 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 trans men are women or whatever the hell the, the I don't even bother to learn the terminology because I'm not gonna do it. You're a man. Okay? And 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 Jesus had your number two thousand years ago, and people say that he wasn't the Messiah. How could the man not be the Messiah when he's literally talking about you two thousand years before you were even born to start this nonsense? I mean, I'm waiting for an answer. Bender says, militant attitudes born when they realized, yes, there are winners and losers. They just mad and there's no changing. Absolutely, Bender. That, that's, that, you're absolutely right. But, you know, when people, people always, and I know this, guys. I know that, that when I speak, I know that it sounds confrontational. And, and to that, I say this. Good. Good. You know why? Because people of the world need to start understanding that Christians are sick and tired of having to worry about what our kids are being taught in schools. We're sick and tired of worrying about indoctrination. We're sick and tired of looking on TV and seeing a homosexual couple kissing all the time because we constantly have to explain to them that that's not what God's design is, right? When I was growing up, we didn't have these issues and we knew where the line was drawn. But even in marketing, even in advertising, look very closely when you're watching a television program. Look at the commercials that pass by and you tell me that advertisers and marketing agents have not done anything and everything in their power to make the original nuclear family look like it's a thing of the past. Mother, father, children. Tell me how often you see it now. Because they want it to be subconscious. They want that change to be subconscious. They want Christian values to be a thing of the past. Now, here's another question. And I, and I, and I explained this, and, and I, I know that I spoke about this uh, briefly with Mr. Marotta. If, if it's racist or bigoted to attack the nation of Islam, and it's racist or bigoted to attack the Jewish community, why is it not racist or bigoted to attack the Christian community? Because make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, the nation of Islam is extraordinarily harsh when it comes to dealing with anyone even remotely accused of homosexuality. And I'm not going to go into what actually gets done to you because this stream will get taken down. And I know that from experience. I know that from experience. So why is the Christianity attack so much? Answer me that question. Because I guarantee you that the Jewish community and the nation of Islam regard homosexuality the same exact way that the Christian community does, which is that it is a sin and there's nothing changing that. It's not about hate. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear, but you have to understand that preaching about sin is not hate speech. Just because you hate it doesn't make it hate speech. I don't give a damn what you hate. I didn't like a lot of things that my father told me when I was growing up, but it didn't make it hate speech. Did I hate when he went upside my head? Absolutely. But yet here we are. Now, why? 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 But why am I so adamant? I'm going to tell you guys exactly why. 
Uh. Right here. This is this is exactly why. I, I think about this verse every single time somebody asks me, why won't you just say why won't you just use someone's pronouns? Why won't you just allow your children to be taught about LGBTQ, blah, 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 blah. Why won't you allow it? This is exactly why. Book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 26. If anybody has their Bibles, you go ahead and turn to it now. Whoever is ashamed of me and my words, the son of man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his glory and in the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. That means, ladies and gentlemen, that when it is time to defend God's word, it is your duty and obligation as someone who claims to have a relationship with Christ to understand that it is your job. Uh, that's fine. I don't know what. Okay, it's launching. I'm I'm accepting. Uh, it's getting me into the game with you right now, Mister Marauder. All right, cool. Um, it is your job. That the book of Luke is very clear. It's not. A lot of people want to look at stuff like that literally and say, "Well, I'm not being afraid of God's word." Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Bible is God's word. And in the dozens of Bible verses where it says homosexuality is a sin, and the dozens of verses where it says that, 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 that abortion is actually murder, and that men are not women and vice versa, those things that pertain to women shall not be worn by a man and vice versa. Okay? Those things are the word of God. Those And, and you telling people in the world that those things are okay, is the same thing as you being ashamed of God's word and you will be turned away from the gates of heaven. Don't think that he's playing with you. And I implore anybody, anybody who's afraid to speak up and say what they know is right to remember that verse because the most disappointing news you will ever get in your entire existence, finite and infinite, will be when you get turned away from the gates of heaven. And I don't plan, I'm not gonna do that for anybody out here. I'm not gonna tell you guys what you wanna hear because I'm going to tell you one thing I'm afraid of is, is going to hell. I don't care. You can sit out there. You can say whatever the hell you want that you're not afraid to go to hell. Good for you. I am. And if you're not afraid, it's because you don't know. Demons literally begged Jesus Christ not to be condemned into hell. And so he put them into a flock of pigs and they fell over the mountainside. Imagine demons being so afraid to be cast into the pits of hell and human beings walking around acting like it's going to be a party. You can do whatever. Do what you got to do. You ain't gonna see me down there. I'm tell you that right now. All right, bro. You're starting really heavy. Shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> I right. was like, oh. I'm, uh, was it? You invited? Okay, so you invited me, but I'm not seeing the thing too. Yeah, I, I backed out of the game because uh, I got it started here. He's giving me a briefing that I was gonna read. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. I see your name. I'm connecting to you. All right, cool, awesome. So, uh, so yeah. But that's just a start. That's just a start. So, Mr. Murata, you go ahead and. Say what you got to say and then i'll chime in when you want me to but yeah like, like, like i said you, you started off really heavy um i i think man like <laughs> we, we need to back up a little bit you touched on so many topics so fast oh, yeah. you know There's like yeah and honestly here's a part of why you know i think people have an issue with with kind of the ways it's kind of the the delivery too mm -hmm. is that I, it can be overwhelming bro yep it really can you know like Hey, Bendis says, hey, a little light conversation, and I, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Hold on, my sensitivity is way off. All right, but let me, let me read this briefing here. It says, name, janitor, age 36. Ooh, how do they know? Occupation, janitor, executive janitory, brief. The company has gotten an easy assignment lined up for you here in this sector. Mutated vegetation, the focus of the facility that was being studied and biologically engineered in the Athena station has escaped and wrought havoc on the facility. You're to conduct yourself hastily and within the company protocols per your contract operations must be resumed within the facility as soon as possible. So you're to be thorough and professional or prepare to face the full extent of the company's legal department. Oh, of course. <laughs> All right, so you in game? Oh yeah, is that yeah. you over there? Yep. I hope so, otherwise I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, I can't walk. Oh, it's my thing's not working. Okay, that's fine, I will. <laughs> Oh, I, I have an idea as to why, but I'm not going to go through all that right now. All right. All right, so I never played this before. 
Me neither. But apparently we have a mop and a... We gotta like... We gotta clean some stuff? Yep, clean up the viscera. Oh, yeah. We gotta clean all the... Yeah. Alright, so and... you can... Oh, wait, I'm, I'm dirty and stuff. What? What do I need? Yeah, so it looks like when you like... Get so much blood... You, uh, what was it? Your mop gets dirty, so I think we gotta like find water or something. I've, I've watched a little know. bit. Yeah. Here's a bin. I think we have to like put like body parts and stuff in this bin. I don't, <laughs> okay. I don't know how to pick it up. Me neither. It's not showing me any prompts. Alright, here's a some high resistant relocation mechanism. Yeah, I don't know how to, uh, let me see. Let's try. Let's try all the buttons. E's, F's. Oh, there's a bucket over here. I found oh, a bucket. Oh. Hang on, I opened up my personal log somehow. Okay, I'm slapping the hell out of the bucket. Uh, <laughs> Is your stuff clean? Ah, uh, no, it's not getting clean though. I mean, you can see like it's not. I'm not spreading, but look at, see, there's still blood getting on the floor. Hold on, mine. Oh, no. What? Yeah, I was what? like, mine's clean. I, I think you gotta aim it right. Like, yeah, well, no, I was hitting the crap out of it. <laughs> but can we pick up this bucket? Is it? oh wow, oh, wow. Did you, oh, you lost all of our water, Maverick. Oh my god. Oh, come on. How are we going to do a job? I don't know. Okay, here you go. That's how we do it. Up with? What do you pick it up with? So you have to like unequip the uh, the mop. Oh, so you just scroll. Okay. Yeah, and then so you okay. scroll. And then like you have just your hands. There's a personal log yeah. here. And then I don't know what right, this thing is. There's a water fountain somewhere. What is this? Is this, is this a dirt dinger? You gotta, gotta find a water fountain because Mr. Marauder knocked a bucket over, man. That's crazy. Hey, man, hey now, don't blame this on me. I was nowhere near that bucket. <laughs> I was just kind of trying to clean my mop up, man. <laughs> see, what is all this? right, so I guess while we try to find this, uh, what were you saying now? So you wanted to back up, so go ahead and start. Uh, like I said, I'll chime in when you when you need me to chime in. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's cool, you know. I'm, I'm digging the conversation, you know. It's just, like I said, it can be a bit overwhelming, you know, especially jumping from one thing to another. It's like, let's start with one topic. You know, like, uh, what was it that you started off with? Like saying how, like, you know, basically how God's, you know, God's word, God's opinion these days are, uh, are the unpopular opinion and how people are afraid to, afraid to speak up. And that's kind of why I started doing the stream, you know, like, I mean, I mean, not the stream, but why I decided to change the content the way that I've changed yeah. it. Gabriel, wait, give me a second because, um, Slurpee says he can't hear you on my stream, even though I was hearing you earlier, so I don't know why. Hang on, I'm trying to minimize the game. All right. Um, there we go. Oh, uh, let's see. I had you. I heard I, I heard you on my stream. I know that. Um, plus it changed, but yeah, it shouldn't have. You can still hear me, right? Yeah. All right, say something. Mic check, mic check. No, I didn't come through. There you go. All right, let's see. Ooh, well, let me see the thing. It's weird. I should have all the app. Oh, here we go. Oh, Discord. Yeah, that's. Maybe it's in the Discord options. I don't know. Hang on. All right, say something. Mic check, mic check. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I, I changed it in Discord, so that will now. I changed it in Windows, but it looked like in. Uh, so say something now. Mic check again. All right, Slurpee. Right, so let me know if you hear him. I, I hear him. Um, but yeah, he his my my volumeter wasn't going up when he was talking. So, all right. So you want to say okay? You start with one subject. All right. Uh, start with uh whatever you want. What do you want to start with? Uh, real quick, I found the water. So now you can oh, go right. go spill as much water as you want. Where? Uh, hang on. So if you go go over here to the Slapomatic, I keep pushing Sprint or a Shift because I'm thinking it's Sprint, but it actually slows you down. Oh yeah, because it it sets to auto run. Oh, oh okay. So you put it here. Yeah. Okay. No, you actually just hit the button and it gives uh, you a new bucket. I got you. Okay. All right. So you know what? Let me go over here. So you can we can grab as many of these as we want then. Uh, I I hope so. All right. Now, I'm wondering how we're gonna dispose of this body over here. I'm a little concerned about that. But let's clean this first. Let's see. Uh, can I grab him? 
I got picked on my feet. What is this thing? What's it? What a load. It's a disposal. Do I put it in my hand? It's called the um, MacGyver. Yeah, the MacGyver. I, I think it's like a, a a dirt dinger, like it sniffs out dirt or something. Muck, uh, okay. Muck Giver, Muck MacGyver. Yeah, now, what I'm also wondering is where's oh, there you are. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, so one subject. So pick a subject you want to start with. Like, what? What? Or, 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 I don't know if it's personal to you. Or I don't know what you want. What, what are we talking? About? Uh, I mean, I'm going with the free form type. You know, like thing. I didn't really have anything. Well, let's stay on. Like you said, let's stay but, on one subject. Let's keep. Yeah, let's, sort of, uh, let's start with the whole. You know, the Christian, uh, Christian ideals are like are, are like not the not popular ideals. You know, and how. Oh boy. Wow. Well, that was fast. That, yeah, and you know what? It seems like only when I do that from the left side, huh. it falls over. But I was doing it from the right side, and it wasn't falling over. I don't get it. The Christian, I okay, but go ahead. The Christian ideals? How they, how they're like not the the popular ideals, and people are uh, people are afraid to speak up. You know, basically. And th I was saying that's why I started. Uh, I just oh, I decided to change up the stream, like my uh, my content, I guess. Yeah. Change up the way that I do it. Yeah. For sure. Um, it's because, you know, I, I just, I'm tired of it, bro. I've been tired of it for a long time now, you know. Tired just, of what? Just like, uh, the way that things are going, kind of like you were saying, how, um, uh, for example, let's, you know, go with the trans thing. That's the first thing on my mind, how it's such a fight for, like, pronouns. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, use the, the proper pronouns and how many pronouns they are coming up with. Like, bro, I saw a TikTok the other day. I hope this chick was trolling. But she was talking about candle presence pronouns. Yeah, she's not trolling either. She really yeah, not. yeah, you know who I'm talking about then, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. She's not trolling, but the thing about it is, is that people are gonna treat her as such because, even I mean, when you you have people even like people who are not even Christian who are like, okay, enough is enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's that's the biggest thing about it is that you when you get to the point of of making absolutely no sense whatsoever. Eventually, people are going to get tired of it. Um, you know, it, it may, it, what ends up happening is the world, for the most part. Well, let, let's go back. Let's go back to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said to the disciples that most people were not going to listen. Right. Mm -hmm. So so you have to. Uh, oh, my gosh, I'm terrible at this. Hey, have you figured it? So, so I've kind of figured out the pattern. Yeah. You kind of like you get like four or five good blood hits. Oh, there. Oh, you spilled it all over the <laughs> Maverick, do you know how long they took me? <laughs> Here, this is a gift, a gift for you. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Apology gift. <laughs> I'm just gonna get like a million of these. Yeah, I know, right? There's gonna be buckets that we're gonna have to like clean up all the buckets somehow soon. But yeah, like if you like get a good smack right at like the top of the bucket, you should be able to like clean the uh, the the mop in one hit. Okay, I got you. But it, it's only good for like four or five splats of blood clean before you start spreading more blood. Nah, I got you. Here, if you want to do mopping and I'll just put water all over the place, we can do that. <laughs> that works. Um, yeah, you know, that's the thing is that back in the day, people started, it, 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 and it all started, it, to be honest with you, this all started once, once politicians decided to, now, now they say, they say that they want to separate church and state, right? Right. But politicians lately, do the best job at involving the church by constantly violating their rights and, yeah. and and assuming that you know not not really thinking about the fact that it's not like you don't see you haven't seen anyone in the muslim community or the jewish community get sued by a homosexual couple over a cake or anything like that, that so why, bullshit, why is bro. that? Yeah. yeah why is that because they because they know the, the reason christianity is attacked so much is because they know it's the only one that's true they don't need to worry about souls being saved in the nation of islam they don't need to worry about souls being saved with judaism because what do they both have in common they both deny jesus christ as the messiah so then the question becomes why do they attack jesus why do they attack christians well because they know that that's the only faith that they really got to worry about it's the only true faith out there they're not and and if you say something about okay well you know then how do how, do, how does the nation of islam treat um uh, you know homosexuals Oh, that, well, that's racist. What's racist about it? I asked you a question. Oh my gosh. Oh, I did uh, a good swipe and the the water's gone. Okay, that's it. I just... Wait. On a side note, I think I found out what to do with the bodies. Really? 
Yeah, there's a, uh, I, have, I haven't tried it yet, but there's an incinerator over here. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Oh. <laughs> you zoom see how that looked on my screen. <laughs> I also found this out, too. When, when you grab something, if it's all, like, cattywampus all sideways, if you left-click it, you'll set it, like, upright. Okay, I got you. Alright, this is... There we go. <laughs> That's messing up. <laughs> oh, I'm spelling buckets everywhere now too. Okay. So that's that's what it really comes down to, man. Is that you know that people are you know I I've I've heard lots of incoherent arguments. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Swarpy. Yeah, they say they hear you know. I've okay, heard awesome. lots of in incoherent arguments about, like for example, just just the homosexuality thing to begin with, right? People always want to say, well, the Bible was mistranslated. Um, to to not include homosexual people uh i've heard people say that uh oh well you don't speak aramaic and you don't speak hebrew so how do you know like i've heard just some of the most ridiculous things that when when i look at people i'm like there's no way you're telling me that people that two thousand years ago had it in their mind randomly that homosexuality should just be wrong so they wrote it into the bible and that somehow was able to be just snuck into the Bible and nobody noticed with the systems of checks and balances that they had as far as making sure that the scriptures were assembled the way that they were. I mean, the process to even include what scriptures should be, the vetting process was literally the most rigorous in, in human history. But people sit there and they lie about, well, the tra I don't think the translations mean this. I've even heard people say that the Bible has, uh, tolerates rape, that it tolerates homosexuality, that it tolerates pedophilia. I mean, people who have clearly never read the scripture, you know? Right. But. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was curious about that, too. So you said there were a lot of, like, checks and balances and stuff like that to make sure that the Bible was uncorruptible, right? Yeah. Can you go in a little bit more detail about that? Like, what? Yeah. As a matter what, of fact, uh, I have I, I was actually anticipating that. Give me one second. Yeah, go for it, take your time. You know, because like I mean of, of course, you know, my me and my monkey brain, you know, like most other people, it's like I mean how how can something not be corruptible, you know? Right. Especially something that's been around as long as the Bible has with as many languages and you know people use the argument too you know i mean the the, the logical argument of like languages you know because you can take something from english say it in spanish and if you do a direct translation it means almost completely different things you know yeah here let's let's uh i'm gonna let you listen uh you could bring up my stream if you want i'm gonna bring up this because this guy actually has a phd uh and listening to him is because I've never actually seen someone defeat this guy, mm -hmm. I, and and I've heard this over and over from so many different people, um, and I'm not going to put on the 53 minute video, obviously. Um, but here, let's tr let's do this one. The key reason I believe the Old Testament is true is because Jesus thought it was true. Is there a way you can turn that up? Yes. Um, I don't know. I don't think I don't know if you can hear this. How do we know the Bible is, and this is a long answer. I mean, yeah, I can hear it. Short answer, but how do you know that the Bible is reliable? Do we have any actual evidence for the Old Testament claims, like the army being wiped out in the Exodus? And how do we know that they recorded the truth and didn't make it up? Okay. Well, the way I learned, or the way I learned how to know that the Bible's true, and I'm really summarizing a lot here mm -hmm. is so by long. pointing out yeah that truth exists that god exists that miracles are possible and the new testament's telling the truth about the resurrection because if those four things are true that there's truth that god exists that miracles are possible and the new testament is reliable enough to let us know that the resurrection occurred then christianity's true because mm. if jesus rose from the dead game over for christianity's true yeah and and so what we do when we go to a college campus is we present those four questions does truth exist does god exist are miracles possible is the new testament reliable with regard to the resurrection and uh, we give evidence that the answer is yes to all those questions and if the answer is yes to all those questions 
then Christianity is true. Now you say, well, I trust Jesus because, well, look, I just have a personal policy. If somebody predicts and accomplishes his own resurrection from the dead, I just trust whatever the guy says. And if Jesus rose from the dead, he, he affirmed the Old Testament as the word of God and he promised the New Testament. And so the reason I believe in much of the Old Testament, or let me put it another way, I believe in all the Old Testament, but the reason I believe in some of the Old Testament that I can't verify through archeology span or other historical means mm. is because Jesus believed mm. that the Old Testament was true. But I think you can also get evidence that the Old Testament's telling the truth. It's certainly telling us the truth about in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Science and philosophy both show us that the universe had a beginning and so there must be a beginner. I think there's evidence uh, about the Exodus. In fact, we did an entire podcast on that a couple of years ago with Titus Kennedy. You did. He's an archeologist. Uh, okay. And he gives 10 lines of evidence from Egypt that the Exodus took place. Now, this doesn't prove everything in, in, in the book of Exodus, obviously. It's just showing you that it appears that there was an Exodus, okay? All, can all the details be affirmed outside the bible no and but that's true of every historical account you can't affirm everything right uh so i think there's evidence for the exodus there's there's i mean there's many old testament archaeological discoveries they found the inscription to david they found uh just recently it appears they found uh the potentially the location of sodom and gomorrah mm, uh yeah. they they found uh so many cities in jerusalem the city of David is amazing. When you go there, they may have found David's palace. Uh, they found uh, cities like um, Hazor. They found Jericho. They found Megiddo's huge. Have you ever been to Megiddo? If you ever go to Israel? Megiddo's amazing. Mm. And there's so much that took place at Megiddo. Uh, there's there's just I've been to Israel several times, and it's 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 incredible. But the key reason I believe the Old Testament's true is because Jesus thought it's true. You could you can sum it all up into two if you wanted to, Melissa, just for if you only had a minute with somebody. Mm -hmm. Why do I believe Christianity is true? Because there's evidence that God exists and Jesus rose from the dead. Yeah. Those two questions. Because God has to exist in order for Christianity to be true and also to rise Jesus from the dead, right? Mm -hmm. So if God exists and Jesus rose from the dead, game over, Christianity is true. Hold on, there was one, dang it, there was one that I wanted to click on. God exists in Jesus. If we had ice ages and war mages in the past and no human activity, why are we suggesting that human activity can forego these changes in the future or cause them? Well, I'm <laughs> arguing that the next ice age is inevitable. It will happen. Okay. Uh, but we can delay it. Go with natural gas and that will buy you time to build up thorium nuclear reactors. Thorium is a completely different animal than uranium. Okay, that's not what I wanted to... Uh, mm -hmm. that, that was not the video that did. These guys are talking about natural gas. There was one that... What do we need to uh, understand? Uh, how do we know who wrote the Gospels? Is this what Frank heard? Okay, so can you still hear me, Mr. Marauder? Mm -hmm. All right, so now... Um, how do we know who wrote the Gospels, right? Um, well, here. Here we go, right here. How can we trust the Bible is accurate? Okay, this video I did in one of my videos. Uh, video guys. I'm trying to find one that I saw before that was kind of shorter. We don't have the original manuscripts of the New Testament. They were, they all disappeared within a century, I'm pretty convinced, by copying and copying and copying. Frequent handling, the early church was far more concerned to get the gospel out than they were to do exact copying of the New Testament. And that actually is a blessing because they didn't have those kinds of controls. And consequently, you get copies that are not through just one stream, but Tons of people all over the place are making these copies. So here's here's a man who lives in Corinth. He's going to be visiting Rome, and he says, Hey, I, I heard Paul, Paul wrote a letter to you guys, too. I want to write that out. Do you mind if I copy it when I get there? Sure, that's no problem. 
This happened, I'm sure, dozens and dozens of times over. And those manuscripts would have lasted as much as 80, 90 years, but would have fallen apart from all these copies being made. So we don't have the originals, they disappeared, and all the copies that we have disagree with each other at some point. Sometimes it's quite a few disagreements, but uh, we have hundreds of thousands of textual variants among our manuscripts. So, a question to ask here is how badly did the scribes corrupt the New Testament? It's absolutely proven that they did. No two manuscripts are alike, so unless one of them is pristine, every single scribe made mistakes. So because the original manuscripts disappeared and because no two copies uh, agree with each other completely, we have to do textual criticism. We can't just rely on one, it's imperfect. So scholars have to reconstruct it on that basis. But when you look at the number of textual variants, and there's hundreds of thousands of them, as Bart Ehrman likes to say, there are more textual variants than there are words in the original New Testament. That's actually an understatement. But you have to not just look at the number of variants, you have to look at the nature of these variants. And the best estimates are that at least, at least 99.8% of them affect nothing. Most are spelling differences. There's different ways to spell John. All right, so that's, listen to what he just said. Even though the manuscripts were compiled by God knows how many different people, mm -hmm. listen to the number that he gives as far as what those differences of it. Now, tell me that God's nature isn't divine when even creatures as imperfect as human beings reconstructing the events and, re and, and, and recording them, right? The, the, the differences were not so much that it was even able to affect the final product that we got as far as what we know to be the Bible. Listen to what he just said. Affect nothing. And the best estimates are that at least, at least 99.8% of them affect nothing. Now that's at least minimal 99.8, which means that that's the lowest number it could be. It can't go below 99 because he's saying at least. So that means that the best guess, if you wanted to go higher, would be over 99%, which means that it literally affected nothing or the nature of none of the stories or the historical events that were recorded. Right, it was just all word nope. and spelling variations and stuff. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. But we put those together, if you and I are looking at documentation and I spell there E-R-E -E, and you spell it E-I-R, are you and I going to be able to, set to, to figure out, oh, well, this is what it's supposed to be, right? And that's not something that it's like, okay, Jesus resurrected, but this one says he didn't. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that, that's what people try to insinuate. Our spelling differences, there's different ways to spell John, there's different ways to spell Mary, uh, that uh, they're, they're not going to affect anything. Uh, but the, the one-fifth of one percent that do affect things are the ones that scholars talk about and disagree over on a number of these issues. But the bottom line is, it does not matter in some respects which New Testament you use because no essential doctrine is jeopardized by any of these textual variants. Even Bert Ehrman, who wrote Misquoting Jesus, can say the same thing. So that's true on that end, but at the same time, we want to know what the original text said in all the details. And so the great majority of scholars have very few disagreements over uh, these passages. Uh, for example, most scholars would say the long ending of Mark's gospel, Mark 16, 9 through 20, is almost surely not authentic. And they still put in their Bibles, typically smaller print or in brackets or footnote, the oldest authorities don't have this. Uh, so th there's a wide consensus on the vast majority of textual variants. And again, there's no essential doctrine that's jeopardized by any of these textual variants. That is extremely comforting. It's very important to know that. So, that, you know, so there's that. I'm actually going to, I'm going to save this video. <laughs> So, so, so that later on when people ask because they ask me and, and, and I and I try not to trust myself too much because I don't have faith in, in another human being I'm not gonna have my, my faith in myself. There's one more. I'm gonna show you. This is by wretched This is another great Christian how to prove the Bible is true. How do we? Let's save this one as well to use for videos
one thing I love about YouTube, you can save your stuff and always go back to it. Keep right. true. The Bible is indeed the inspired word of God. What? How can we know that the Bible really is God's word and that what it says is true? Well, first of all, because the Bible says so. Whoa, hold the phone. The Bible is true because the Bible says it's true? That's a circular argument. Listen, it's perfectly reasonable. If we said the Bible was something the Bible didn't say, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? But even on its own, the reasoning isn't circular. The Bible is self-affirming. We use history to examine history, right? Well, like the Bereans in Acts 17:11, we can use scripture to affirm scripture. We can actually use the Bible to demonstrate the Bible is the supernatural, inspired, infallible, inerrant, sufficient Word of God. Not by using external means, but by looking internally. The Bible is a compilation of 66 books written in a span of over 1500 years by 40 different writers from different walks of life on three different continents in three different languages. And yet it consistently tells the same story with God as its author. Its writers were not aspiring to write canon. They wrote what God told them to. The Bible reveals the fallenness of man and our need for redemption and the holiness of God and his plan of redemption. That's exactly the kind of book you'd expect God to write. Hey, that's what we talk about in Jesus Unmasked, available at wretched.org, which was a little further away than I thought. Go inside of the Bible and demonstrate that there have been many authors of the 66 books written over the course of centuries, but they all point toward one man, the man Jesus Christ. And when you examine the Bible and demonstrate the the elegance of scripture, the scarlet thread that runs throughout its pages, then we conclude there ain't no way a man could write that book. We know that the Bible is true because the Bible says it is, because Jesus says it is, because history affirms it, because its prophecies have come true, because it's logically consistent, because what it says we will experience, we experience, and because it has stood the test of time. The Apostle John said that the Spirit of God bears witness to the truth, and it is greater than any witness of man. There are things that may affirm the Bible outside the text, but the Bible affirms itself just fine when we understand the text. If you want your kids to be persuaded that the Bible is the inspired word of God, read the Bible to your kids and point out that the Bible attests to itself. Human beings would never concoct a story of grace. Human beings in every other religious system always create a workspace system. The Bible and the Bible can alone. You, can you pause that real quick? And yes, sir. It's possible. Yeah, can can you repeat that can, or uh, play that back a little bit? So it said, the Bible is the one that does say say it again now. So it basically what he's saying, and I'm gonna play it back. Okay. So what he's saying is something that I have thought about quite frequently is that um, the Bible is written in such a way that's actually incomprehensible to human beings. Um, the thought of a sinless person, if 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 we as people were the moral censor of 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 if we were the epitome of morality right then mm -hmm. how could we as human beings comprehend that there would be a being or that being sinless would be a thing because if we had for example if you and i if human beings in general if we were the creators of objective morality right if there was a morality that people created then how is it that people who wrote the bible were able to conceive of such a thing of grace when human behavior would be just that natural human behavior we wouldn't have the capacity to come up with this this concept of a sinless nature or being forgiven for sins because we wouldn't even be aware of the fact that we are sinners it because we're natural be sinners yeah huh you know what i'm saying interesting okay and every other religious doctrine doesn't it's it it's based in works and and what you need to do in this and that and blah 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 in order to earn your way into heaven yeah correct you see what i'm saying okay um, so and and then on top of that um the bible is very clear about what objective morality needs to be in the ten commandments okay however if there if if there is no god and we do not get our morality from anywhere then why are we having all these issues now how is it that people think that even in places like china and japan 
and so many African nations and Russia and all these other places. Russia has a Christian population, but none of those other places do, right? right. And yet, in those other places where Christianity is all but unheard of, they still have the same objective morality. They reject homosexuality, right? They do not allow same-sex marriages. Mm -hmm. uh, they do not allow this, tra the, this trans movement. They don't allow any of it, and yet none of them, none of them are out there being missionaries. So how is it that as people who have nothing else in common on different continents, um, with, with different cultures, different language, different history, different everything, still feel from the objective morality of our hearts and our souls what is right and wrong? Because if you look at the laws wherever you go in civilized governments, and even in uncivilized governments, you still can't do the same things. You can't steal from people, you can't kill people, you can't rape people. Where does that come from? If we didn't have a center to get our morality from, then we would have different laws anywhere. Murder would be okay there, rape would be okay over there, homosexuality is okay everywhere, right? Think about it. Yeah, yeah, okay. So where is the standard of good if there is no standard that we're that we are attributing it to if it doesn't come from god then where does it come then from where does it come from right if homosexuality hmm. is okay then why are they trying so hard to make you say it why are they trying to cancel you from social media if you disagree why do they delete your channels and delete your videos for for not agreeing with the trans movement and not agreeing that same-sex marriage is okay and not agreeing that they can teach your kids about trans and, and homosexuality in school why if it's so right then why and we're not talking about the changes that have been made throughout the times with, with, with civil rights and everything, because here's the difference between this and that. If you're born black, you're born black. If you're born Hispanic, you're born Hispanic. If you're born Asian, you're born Asian. You can't control the pigmentation of your skin when, you, when, when you're born, but you can definitely control who you sleep with. Yeah. Okay, so there's a difference between taking rights away from somebody because of their culture and their heritage and taking and, and, and saying, well, why do you deserve extra rights? Why do my kids have to learn about the what you want to do in the bedroom when I feel that that's wrong, right? I don't have to teach kids that that people with different skin color are human beings because that's the truth. But I, I, I am not forced to teach my kids that what God says is wrong is right it's i'm not gonna do that and 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 that's where that, that that's where these fights come into play because people just don't want to understand slurpee says now this is a good way to explain the bible and how god is true um this is more entertaining than my school educational school videos yeah well the thing is slurpee when when a when a video is telling you the truth and it's explaining something to you that you've always wondered about and it makes it make sense that you know it, of course it's entertaining right yep. um so I'm going to play the rest of the video. I'm mean, it's going to go back to that part that we just talked about. Point out that the Bible attests to itself. Human beings would never concoct a story of grace. Human beings in every other religious system always create a workspace system. So, and the, uh, so then that goes back to what we were talking about earlier. Right. Why is Christianity the only faith that is attacked? Why are people... Why are people all afraid? Human beings never concoct a story of grace. Human beings in every other religious system. Okay, I'm hearing my own. Okay. Hearing okay. double. Hello, hello. How are y'all doing? What up, man? Um, that and so that's that's exactly why, and that that kind of echoes what we were talking about earlier, Gabriel. Where you you can attack Christianity, uh -huh. right? And people and I and people have come into my. Uh, people have come into my videos where and you've watched my videos. I've never once attacked anyone. I've never once used a slur I don't do those things, right? right. I don't do it um, But just the word of God in and of itself gets under people's skin so much that they still leave comments on my videos And I don't delete them. I don't delete, I leave them there for the world to see Oh, you say save your hate speech for other people save your bigotry I'm not showing hate speech and bigotry. I'm telling you what the Bible says, right? Now if I was a Muslim or I was Jewish you wouldn't dare to say a thing like that. But because I'm Christian, you feel comfortable enough to attack me. Why? Because society has shown you that that is okay to do. Because attacking Christians is okay to do. Now, you didn't arrest one single God-forsaken person during the Black Lives Matter movement when they were out there destroying God knows how many businesses, when COVID was supposedly still a concern. You didn't arrest one single person. But I can't even tell you how many pastors they locked up for still holding services yeah tell me okay. i'm wrong i 
I can't. Right? You didn't hear about any imams getting arrested. You didn't hear about any rabbis getting arrested. But the Christian pastors, they couldn't wait to arrest them. There was, there, there, was, well. there was another pastor, a father of seven, who just got arrested by the feds for supposedly, supposedly violating the, the, the entrance to abortions act or some stupid law that they have because he was praying outside of an abortion clinic. Oh. But Black Lives Matter stole $90 million from the general public and you don't hear a word about it. Nothing. Uh, real so, quick, uh, Blizz, this is my cousin Maverick. Maverick is my boy Blizz. Hey Blizz, nice to meet you. Oh, man. nice to meet you. Likewise, likewise. Um, I'm gonna play the rest of the video, Gamer. The Bible, and the Bible alone, from beginning to end, it talks about amazing grace that has only been wrought by the Lord Jesus Christ, crushing the head of the serpent, bruising his heel, becoming a curse, that we might become the righteousness of God. Jesus himself did this in Luke 24, when he was walk walking on the road to Emmaus, without Bing Crosby and Bob Hope, talking to some disciples, not the inner circle, but some followers, about himself. He taught about himself from every book in the Bible. And at that time, it was Genesis to Malachi. Why? Because Jesus is in every single book in the Bible. And when we show that to our kids, before we send them off to university, and they hear the assaults, oh, the Bible, that's just an old antiquated primitive book. They will be persuaded, uh -uh. I'm going to stand on this sure foundation because the Bible proves itself to be the word of God. Now, there was something that he said that I don't, I don't even know. I think he was trying to allude to it. Gabriel, can you tell me when is the first time Jesus Christ was talked about in the Bible? New Testament, Old Testament? Uh, I mean, I, I, I have no idea. I would think New Testament. But uh, oh boy, just said that he was mentioned in every book of the Bible. Which would mean Old Testament too, right? Mm -hmm. The first time Jesus Christ was talked about, which is is in the book of Genesis, which is Genesis. literally oh. the first book of the Bible. And the book right. of Genesis and chapter 3, verse 15. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. That's exactly what the individual right there on Wretched was talking about. I will put enmity, enmity between you and the woman. That's already talking about the Messiah. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. In the book of Genesis, they're already talking about Jesus Christ. He shall bruise your head, meaning that he's taking the power of sin and forgiving sins which is the devil's natural language, and you shall bruise his heel. Now, why does it say you shall bruise his heel? Just off the top of your head, what do you think that's referring to? I, I have no idea. In defeating sin, Jesus Christ bruised the devil's head, but he had to be sacrificed in order to do it. He had to be tortured and brutalized and crucified. And in essence, bruising the Messiah's heel while he is bruising the head of the devil. Now, there was something that I really wanted to, the, the, the most, I think the most important in my, in my opinion, where, uh, where is it at? That I wanted to, let me see. Uh, real quick, Blizz, are you, uh, is the game done for you? Are you loaded? Uh, it looks like it. I don't know why it's not responding, but I'm just, uh, waiting for it to do a couple updates still, I guess. All right. Let me know if you need an invite. Go yes, ahead. sir. There was a point that he made here that I really want to go back over that I, I would be curious to see. I mean, and, and, and I'm always up for debate, but to be honest with you, I've never come across anyone who has been able to really debunk any of this. But this is, in my opinion, is, is one of the most important parts of the video, okay? That, this, is, this is how powerful God is. Not by using external means, but by looking internally. The Bible is a compilation of 66. Okay, the Bible is a compilation of 66 books written over 1500 years. Books written in a span of over 1500 years by 40 different writers from different walks of life on three different. Com 40 different writers from different backgrounds, different ethnicity on three different continents. Now, gentlemen, correct me if I'm wrong. 
but there was no social media back then, right? No. There was no, there was no telephone. No. There was no nothing. So how in the hell could 40 different writers from three different continents all write the exact same thing who didn't speak the same language, who had no way to contact one another, who had no way to even know that the other individuals were in existence at the time? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have an answer for that, you know, and that's kind of why... Oracle. Kind of why we're here, you know, it's... Yeah, there's there there isn't, and that's and and I ask these questions because I know that there's always people out there who feel like they have these aha gotcha moments, but literally, God is using His infinite wisdom to show us how could my doctrine be false when you didn't even have the means to communicate and collaborate and and conspire to say this is what we're gonna do. You, you understand what I'm saying? You got a Hebrew man, a Greek man. And, and 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 an African man and they all speak different language. I'm, I'm just using that as examples and they all speak different languages and they've never met and they never will but yet they were able to still say this and when people put these doctrines together they they literally all said the same thing right they collaborated yeah right continents in three different languages and yet it consistently tells the same story with God as its author its writers were not aspiring to write canon they wrote what God told them to the Bible reveals the fallenness of man and our need for redemption and the holiness of God and his plan of redemption that's exactly the kind of book you'd expect God to write so I those are all there guys these the the, the three channels that I'm that I we've used is um Cross-examined, uh, wretched, re the wretched right here. It's just spelled wretched. You'll find it. It'll pop up. It's a very popular channel. It's got like half a million subs. Um, and there's just so many. All, all you, all you guys have to do is, is type in on YouTube. How can we trust the Bible is accurate? And you're gonna have, I mean, God knows how. Some, some videos as short as a minute. Some as long as several hours. Okay. Um. And and it's and it's just crazy. It's crazy that a lot of people out there they don't it's not that they don't believe because they can't right it's that they don't believe because they don't want to they don't want to yeah and 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 and, and the the one thing about the bible that again that's 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 unique also is that it's verifiable like so many other people have said and it's not that it's verifiable because i'm saying it is it's verifiable because countless historians and archaeologists have verified these events right so you know but and, and and that's why i'm glad like i asked you you asked me a question and and i don't have enough faith in myself to make sure you're getting all the information i'm gonna go to where i get the information and show you guys well listen to this guy who has a phd in it who's actually spent his entire lifetime going over this and then i do my own research and that's how i know that i can show you guys that and say hey you know what this this is what i know to be true because what well, i mean what are you gonna do and and this is even with so many governments who have tried to hide these things over time okay it's not like governments have not tried to to hide oh my i can't i cannot keep a bucket straight <laughs> i'm gonna get fired we're all gonna get fired here um come look at what the slosh traumatic just gave me oh uh, is that a, a leg yeah that's, that's, true. A, that's, that's straight up a foot mm. maybe maybe try it again I don't know. There yeah. we go. I, I don't know what that's about. It, yeah, it sent out another leg. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, man. So I, you know, I don't know. I, I, you know, I've been, I've been talking a lot. So I try, you know, I, you know, if there's any other questions or whatever. But yeah. Um. So real quick, Blizz. Uh, feel free to like jump in whenever. You know, we're just kind of free form conversating about uh right now, kind of the Bible. You know. Yes, sir. Uh, I unfortunately, know. I don't have uh, much knowledge in the subject, so yeah. it's a it'll be a learning experience for me. Well, I mean, do you, do you have any opinions about it? Like, do you know, do you think it's generally a good thing? Is generally a bad thing? Do you think it has a good message? Uh, how do you, how do you feel about the whole, you know, uh, kind of what Maverick was talking about? How it was built or it was written over 1500 years you know in three different languages and stuff like that and yet it tells the same story and stuff like that because we we started talking about um how we know that the bible is not corruptible you know because i know you and i have talked about it before where it's like you know it's it's gone through so many languages it's been around so long how could it not be like everything that humans get their hand on they corrupt you know right 
Oh, so I have an answer to that question. I don't know if you want to answer it, or I don't, I don't know if you have. Do you have an answer, or are you asking a question? I'm, I'm just kind of throwing it out there, getting the conversation going, you know, because like Bliss says, you know, he's not real familiar with the Bible. I was yeah. just curious, like, what his like his opinions are, if he has any at all, you know. As far as the translations go, what ended up happening was, um, the church, obviously, this being something that they took seriously, and we're not going to just trust any one person to sit there and translate. This was actually thousands of people involved in in translating. Um, so when I say thousands, I le mean literally thousands all in in separate rooms. They were not allowed to be next to one another when they translated the, the what, whether it was from Aramaic, Greek or Hebrew, mm -hmm. they were not allowed to be next to one another. They were all put in different rooms. And I when I say thousands of people, I literally do mean thousands. Um, and then you had thousands more i mean people would come from all over this wasn't just like something one church was running right you would have officials coming from countless different places um and what ended up happening is people would sit there and they would translate and they would translate and they would translate and they would check and they would compare and they would check and they would compare the reason they did that was because they knew that one day these conversations were going to be taking place right how can i know this is true how can i know this is translated accurately and out of all the thousands of copies, and every time they were translated, guess how many were different? How many? Zero. Or Why? Okay. Because nobody wanted to be the one caught trying to put their own personal nonsense in there. And not, not only that, but you got to remember that back then, people had a lot more integrity than we do now. Hell, Gabriel, 20 years ago, people had more integrity than they have now, right? That's, I mean, yeah, that's a fair point. Okay, so nobody back then had this thing about trying to because here's the thing if you go right and you have let's just say let, let's just say you and i get together and 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 998 other people right and we're asked to translate something from spanish to english but you and i decide that we're gonna sit down and we're gonna say oh no let's change this and change this and change that when they finish looking at all of the different copies do you not think that they're gonna realize that you and i are the ones that try to change it up yeah i mean of course they'll be able to pick it up so so there was no way for them to do that because they already had a system of checks and balances in place to make sure. And then they had a system of checks and balances above the people who were performing the checks and balances to make sure that what the word was that they were putting in there was the true, what what it, what it really was. It wasn't possible to change it. It would it, it would be like now, it, it would, it, it, you come out, you everybody paint these, these pieces of paper red. And then you come out with a blue piece of paper as soon as they look at it, they're gonna know. They're gonna know that this doesn't say what it really, what, what all the other ones say. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it, 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 the, the system that they put in place was wasn't just like a one person thing. And oh yes, I'll translate this and bring it. And you're just gonna have to trust. Do you think that those people trusted human beings, knowing our sinful nature, knowing how the Pharisees used to treat Jesus Christ? Do you think for a second that they were gonna trust any one person to do a translation? I wouldn't have. And that was back then when people were still actually better people and had better values, right? So, but that's, you know, so that's, that's how, that's how you know. When, when people ask you how there was too many checks and balances in place, there was too many, there was just too many people who were ensuring that the scripture, and, and then on top of that, the original scriptures that there were, were guarded at all times by God knows how many different people around the world. There was no way. Do you know, do you have any idea? You would have had to have changed tens of thousands of men, actually hundreds of thousands of, 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 of manuscripts in different languages all across got uh, uh, three to four different continents in order to successfully change whatever the the actual original scripture said. How the hell would that even be possible? Sorry, it beats me. You know. It wouldn't be. It, it wouldn't be. A, a lot of these, a lot of stuff I answer just rhetorical. It's not. Hey, how am I supposed to get this off the ceiling up there? I don't have a ladder. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, right over here. So if you come back over to the uh, the beginning here, figure this one out. This box right here. Is, them up. It's basically our ladder. Now you um, so it's it's a little weird. So you have to look at it like on the screen. Okay. But if you if you aim at it on the screen, you'll see a little cursor, and then you push oh, like. A, yeah, there you go. I got you. Okay. Batista says family friendly game. Well, you know it. Well, I mean this Much better than uh, like a first-person shooter the ones that caused this game at least we're cleaning up. You know? That's right
But uh, yeah, so Blizz, what, what's your, like, I guess, history with religion, the Bible and all that? Were you, were you raised in the church? Yes, my parents are Christian. And I don't think religion's a bad thing at all. I think it kind of gives people, especially people who feel like they don't have a direction in life, somewhat of a regime to stick to and I think that's good for them. I have a weird way to look uh I guess outlook of religion where it's like I believe more of um uh I guess the best way to say it is like more or less along the line of aliens. So like where people would think this is a person that like has unlimited amounts of power and stuff such like that it's more just a maybe it's a very highly advanced person that could be human just like us or some what along the lines of that and uh i i don't necessarily think it's something that should be worshipped i guess something to be ultimately very very grateful for but i i don't know if necessarily worship would be the right, the proper um word for it proper way to go about it okay that's interesting so i know um Maver and i had this this conversation yesterday you know and it was even though a lot of like especially like more old school like you know religious people christians and stuff like that are like hardcore no there's no way uh we actually like believe in aliens and like 100 percent know that i mean this not only do we believe like it could be possible it's very likely that there are other you know life forms and stuff like that well to deny to deny that there could be life out there is to deny god's power right like i'm not saying that i mean he didn't talk about it in the bible right there it doesn't speak of but the bible does have a very interesting verse that i think a lot of people don't pick up on um and it could be interpreted as as, as, as space travel, um, because there is there is one one book in the Book of Revelation, I believe, um, where it says, "Not even if you attempt to hide behind the stars will you be able to escape my judgment." Right, which I think is very interesting, considering that the first space flights weren't until thousands of years later. Right. Right. But the Bible's already talking about yeah. people hiding behind stars, so. I, you know, I think it's very interesting that this, such a comment would make it into the scripture. Um, but not only that, it's interesting. It's just that God's God's wisdom is so infinite because there are people that believe that space travel would preclude them from um, facing God's final judgment as if God only had power on Earth. OK, and so um, that's that's actually it's interesting that you bring that up because um, and I can't I can't remember I'm, what book was it in? I actually was talking the other day to my wife about this. Uh... Yeah, we got a, a quick comment that says, Preacher lies, false shepherd. <laughs> I don't think any of us here are claiming that we're shepherds. Wait, let me see. Hang on. I'm not in your stream. Give me a second. Let me bring it up. Oh, I, I ain't worried about it. Lies, false shepherd. I mean, you, I mean, you could, you could. Uh... Oh, I, I ain't worried about it. Oh, you know what? You know what? Let me pop out your chat. Let me pop out your chat. That'll work. No, no, yeah, I mean, it, 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 oh. it. Oh, yeah, go, go ahead, uh, I was go ahead. just gonna say, I was, uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to get this one up and running just yet. I've been, uh, I'm gonna, uh, restart my computer again and try, but, uh, okay. if not, I'll definitely stay in chat with you guys, but I'll probably, um, finish Zelda. No, it's, it's all good, brother. You no, do what you're doing, though. Know. We'll be here. Oh, yeah. Let us know when you're back. Yes, sir. But yeah, you know, it's just like you said, the moment that you mentioned God, people are going to start coming out of the woodworks. Oh, yeah, I don't care. I mean, they're saying it's a false. You know, the thing is, you can you can hurl attempted insults, but mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't matter to me because I'm going to do what I do regardless. Right. 
I'm gonna say what I gotta say because it's the truth and the fact that I you get attacked is just goes to show that you're 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 getting under people's skin and right. i'm not doing get under people's skin i'm doing it because I, what i'm saying is that the truth and, and the truth of the bible gets under people's skin so uh you know if, if it's lies to you then that's fine um but remember you know what as a matter of fact here i'm, I'm gonna come back i'm gonna come back um attempted insults with let's see where's my right here where did i just put it because all right joseph i have a challenge for you uh, instead of getting into a back and forth like playground you know school children i've led my flock astray okay well Holy here then you know what then you you go ahead and give me a coherent argument for this statement right here then the Bible is a compilation of 66 books written in a span of over 1,500 years by 40 different writers from different walks of life on three different continents in three different languages. And yet it consistently tells the same story with God as its author. Its writers were not aspiring to write canon. They wrote what God told them to. The Bible reveals the fallenness of man and our need for redemption and the holiness of God and his plan of redemption. That's exactly the kind of book you'd expect God to write. So if you can if if you can attribute if you have your own argument johnny as to why any of that I, I i would i would even i would even challenge you to disprove one of those statements and 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 when i say so i'm being facetious because i know you do not have that ability right but if you think that you're if you think that you have the ability to disprove god then do what you gotta do your book is a book of life oh okay so again, a clear, clearly you didn't. So uh, you know, you know, Maverick. I mean, this is the kind of guy that that you don't want to comment with. You know, he's clearly just trying to get under the skin and trying to get a reaction. Yeah, it does. It, yeah. He he's not here for a conversation. No, he's not. He's not. He's so, he, he's here to he's here to to instigate. You know, right. and and it's like you know he's trying to get someone's anger, and it's like you know they, this is the kind of guy. I'm gonna let him keep talking. Um, he, he, but. He's doing proving your analytics yeah exactly you know he's 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 yeah. drinking more attention so you know i i think this kind of guy but you know just just forget about him because he's not gonna he's not hearing anything you're saying you know oh he's not okay. you see because i have no problem having so debates he, having actual discussions so he says inshallah mm -hmm. which means god willing so you said it's a book of lies god willing god willing it's a book of lies uh, well you know what here yeah, you're speaking arabic so i will assume you're from the nation of islam um and we can talk about the quran and and how many different ways that's been ripped apart or how the prophet muhammad is for some reason obsessed with people's urine yeah we could talk about that but yeah i i i, I you know what i'm not i'm not here to insult the nation of islam because i don't have to do that in order to prove that christianity is true. Well, and i mean here's the thing the, this guy he's probably not from the nation of islam um, like i say he's probably he's, he's just some troll that's going out and saying anything that's anti what we're saying anything that's going to try to get under our skin you know that's all they're it's, good for it, what's that and that's all that and that's yeah. all they're good for that's all they want to do mm -hmm. I, and it, this is what you know what and this is for you gabriel i want you to look at this video i want you to see exactly i want you to see frank turek islam if true is still false oh <laughs> This is this is an amazing video. So the Quran is saying obey the Bible. But the Bible says nope. No more revelation. It's done. Islam is like a basically a complete version of Christianity and Judaism where like he said like Quran contains uh, both uh, Judaism and Christianity. How would you respond to that? He said that Islam and Christianity or Islam and Judaism are what now? Say that again. Get a little closer to the mic if you could. Uh, Islam uh, is the complete version of uh, Christianity, uh, Christianity and Judaism, where like a Quran contains both uh, in one book. I would first ask, what do you mean by that? And then how'd you come to that conclusion? Just those two questions, because again, he has to support, first of all, he has to clarify and then support what he says. Um, and he's probably a Muslim who's trying to say that Islam is the final revelation to mankind. And I would ask him for evidence of that. Why do you think Islam is the final revelation to mankind? In fact, you can even use the Quran to point out that it's not. 
because in the Quran, chapter 5, verse 68, and in other places, uh, Surah 5, 68, it's a chapter, it says, O ye people of the book, who are the people of the book? Christians and the Jews. You have no ground to stand on unless you stand on the law and the gospel. In other words, the Quran tells Christians and Jews to obey the Old Testament and the New Testament, the law and the gospels. Now, if we go back to the Old Testament and the New Testament, it leaves no room for the Quran. So the Quran is saying, obey the Bible. But the Bible says, nope, no more revelation. It's done. So if the Quran is saying, obey the Bible, then the Quran is false. Or uh, Islam is false, I should say, right? If the Quran is telling Christians and Jews to obey the Bible, and as Muslims will say, it's been corrupted, the Quran is also false. In other words, it's called the Quranic dilemma. Whether you obey the Bible or not, the Quran must be false. Because if the Bible's true, the Quran is false. If the Bible's false, the Quran is telling you to obey a false document. <laughs> so it's false both ways, at least in that point. Now, my friend David Wood, who's a brilliant apologist to Muslims, in fact, he helped bring the Bil Qureshi to faith, I don't know if you've ever heard that name, Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus. If you go to his website, Acts 17 Apologetics, and type in the Quranic Dilemma, you will see a seven-minute video on this that I think is pretty airtight. So you may want to show him that video, if he's open to it. You might want to ask him, if Christianity were true, would you become a Christian? Or if Jesus rose from the dead to prove he was God, would you follow him? Let's see what he says. So, so there we go. So yeah, John, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dignify whatever you're saying. Um, I'm not gonna read it out loud. Um, but again, what, here, here, here's what I've, what I've noticed a common thing when people, when they lose a debate or when they, when they can't prove what they're trying to insinuate, what they're trying to assert, they immediately go into, uh, to insult, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're, you're, you know, you're a deceiver. Your God is the avatar of death, decay, blah, 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 You know, but, but the Quran is nothing but, but death and destruction. No, well, no. And like, here, here's the thing. I keep, I keep kind of getting, trying to get back to you is that this guy's a troll, you know, and it's like, it's not even worth, no, yeah. not even worth having the, the conversation with him because like, like I said, I highly doubt he is with the nation of Islam. I highly doubt this guy's a Muslim because if he was truly a Muslim, he wouldn't he would know how to how to behave himself and how to have a proper conversation about it. Correct, correct. Um, and again, it, it, like I said, the, the the Bible the Bible is so vastly unpopular because people know it's true. They they know it's true and it bothers them, and that and that's okay. Uh, uh, why am I getting such major brain drops here? Uh, and 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 that's okay. I understand that you know, and that's the thing. Another thing too, Gabriel, is that you. You did, I, I'm actually kind of glad that he came in mm -hmm. uh, because you have to. Oh yeah, same here. Same. You gotta keep your cool and you gotta you gotta be ready. And why do you think? Why do you think I did I did what I did? Why do you think I saved the, the? Now God literally does everything for a reason. And the moment the moment that I saved those videos, you had somebody come in and try to naysay, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now he didn't take me up on my offer to disprove anything that I said. He didn't take me up on the offer to disprove anything that they said on, on Wretched. He didn't try to take the time to disprove or, or argue against anything that Dr. Turek said. He just came in and started calling names, right? And Plus. that's what you're gonna get a lot. You're gonna get a lot of that. Um, and, and it's not about winning the debates, but at that point, you know that you've already made your point and you've already won um, by, by asserting your point, uh, which just so happens to be reality and truth and, and that has you know, the, the history and the archaeology to back it up. Like, I mean, how many different people? I didn't just show you one source. I've gone to multiple different people. Yeah. Who all basically echo the same thing and, and, and give you the historical, and they tell you themselves. And and the best part about it, the, what I love about Christian apologeticists most is that when there is an error or there is something, they don't try to hide it from you. So so what, what, what do you mean by apologeticists? Uh, that's basically what they call people who... Um, debate for Christianity and know about Christian uh, faith and history and archaeology and things like that. They call them apologeticists. Okay. Uh, apologetics. So basically, prove Christianity is true, and then you you use you know your logic and your reasoning and the historical events that we already know to be true 
Um, yo, I got a gun, bro. I picked that up. I was trying to shoot everything. I can't figure out what it does. Bro, it's like a like a Ghostbusters gun. Like, don't cross the beams. You know? Yeah, what the heck? Um, so that's what it is. Like, like Dr. Turk, he's an he's an apologist. Okay. Um, all, all, basically, all the people that you and that guy, the other guy from Wretched, he goes he goes um from college campus to college campus as well. Um, uh, and and he talks and he talks and he talks until. You know, somebody comes by and they ask him a question, kind of like in an open forum kind of thing where people will ask questions like that, and and then uh, you know they'll answer it, and and and, and again, and, and and if you think even even pro um, atheist, you even pro atheist, um, you know, little little college students and and debaters have tried and tried and tried and tried. And and they never they're never able to come up with a solid. Oh yeah, I just proved the body. They, they just they actually get made to look like um, very silly. Right. Um, I've never seen any. I, I've never. I, I've seen a lot of Jewish people try, um, and they they walk away upset. Um, I've never <laughs> seen. I've never seen um, anyone from the Nation of Islam try to do it. Um, but that's only because they have too much pride and they know what's going to happen, so they don't. They don't cry those guys. Um, because as you can see, when they talk about. Uh, Professor Turk actually carries a, a copy of the Quran around with him, just, just, to, just to tear it apart and just to show people. Oh, really? Then why does the why does the, the why does the Book of Sirah 119, uh, you know, verse 35 say X, Y, and Z? And and they never have an answer. You know what yeah. I mean? But so, but Jesus Christ is the is the truth, the way, and the life. Um, and and I think that's that's the biggest thing is that Muhammad was not a prophet. Um, it, 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 although there are many people who would try to tell you otherwise, but Muhammad is not a prophet. Um, and nor did he do any miracles, nor did he resurrect himself, nor can he forgive any sins, right? He couldn't so, do anything. Ha have, you, have you read the Quran or have you, like, I've read studied it all? The entire thing. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I, I do want to get around to it one day, but I, I, I want to, I wanna, to be honest with you, I've never even read all the, uh, like, completely the books of the Bible end to end the way that I want to. I do read the Bible. Um, I've read, I, I do read the Bible continuously, um, but to say that I've studied it in such a way that I feel like I'm well versed in it, I'm not going to lie to myself and say that that's true yet, you know what I mean? Right, right. So when I feel like I have become an adequate student of the Bible, um, and, and again, because I don't feel like the Quran has anything to offer me, as a matter of fact, I know the Quran has nothing mm -hmm. to offer me. It doesn't have anything to offer anyone, but you can't control what other people are taught, all you can do is pray to God that... They see that only Jesus Christ is their only way to heaven, and, and if you know, and if you if you reject him, then you reject him. But like even even the individual in your um, in your comment section can now now never stand in front of Jesus Christ and say, "Well, I was never taught about I was never taught about Christianity. I was never told that you were the truth, the way, and life. I was never taught these things because now he'd be lying. Right. He'd be yeah. lying. And 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 that's on him. I'm not. I'm not. Like you said, I'm not gonna sit there and beg you when Jesus himself said that there were so many, gonna be so many false doctrines out there, and the Quran is the biggest one. Um, Fair so. enough. I don't, I don't need to read a book of lies to know it's a book of lies. If that's, <laughs> You yeah, I mean, I mean, that's fair enough, you know, like I've considered the same thing myself, but I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm even struggling with the Bible. So how could I even consider reading the Quran if I don't even know how to read the Bible yet, you know? Yeah, yeah well, I can be secure. I can be secure in my faith because it, it just it has the distinct advantage of being true and based in reality and and, and backed up by history and archaeological events. And you know what I mean? So, right. All right. So uh, I'm going to see what it takes about finishing this this mission and like starting another one or something or uh, we can try bro force too if you want it's up to you let me know i'll go with whatever yeah it's up to you i i i think you're really like bro force i have no idea like how much do we have to do to actually be considered finished or what do we even do yeah. if we think we're finished or try yeah that, that's kind of what i was thinking because this oh there's more mess up here there's bodies up here did you oh yeah you... There, there's a lot up there but i was just like now that we know a little bit more, I was like, I don't even know how to finish the game or what. So. Oh wait, here it is. Please swipe oh, your card. There's another. You know what? That's, a, that's another thing that I that literally just popped into my head, and I and I know that God speaks through, God speaks through His children, especially when you're trying to when you're trying to make a point, when you're trying to illustrate to other people, right? And that's that's another thing that to me is is, oh, I got loading screen. Did you get it too? 
Yeah, I was pushing some buttons. Damn, I got fired! Oh, me too. Oh. Well, point me to the unemployment office. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, performance 44%. Oh, well, at least we got something there. Yeah, I mean, that, that wasn't too bad for almost, almost half. We almost got half clean if we wouldn't have uh, All right. kept spilling those buckets and shit. Let me, let me try, let me see. I've never played Rogue Force. I know there is, there is a online stuff. I'm going to see how to set up one in Rogue Force because I've never played with anyone online. I've never had somebody I wanted to play with until now. So let me see. Fair enough. Uh, the Expander Bro. Rogue Force. Let me open this key. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brofos. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do have, and, and you know, that's one thing too I, I can say is that the Quran um, could never withstand the test of time um, because many, if not all people, I, I, I mean, I'm not gonna say all because I, I'm not about painting all people with one brush, um, but that's that's one one belief that i know is common to um islamic people is that they feel like their faith is absolute like the individual was saying in that video because um they say supposedly oh jeez this music is supposedly the um the bible has been corrupted and so they they Yeah, you're, you're breaking up, bro. Yeah, there was my my stuff was so loud. Um, they say that the Bible's been corrupted, so they they, I guess, invented their own <laughs> religion. Which, again, anybody who says the Bible is corrupted doesn't really know. Um, but no, they hate like Christian love. Uh, Christian love is love. The problem is, you hate hearing it. Okay, so there's a difference between hate speech and speech that you hate. I think you guys out there need to learn um, the difference. Yeah, yeah. For those of you who know, like I, I, I knew, I know full well that my chat's going. I'm, I'm ignoring it on purpose. No, yeah, yeah. Because there's just there's certain people who just don't don't deserve. You know, they they don't deserve. Like there's certain people who just don't want the conversation. You know. Right. You know, but but in but on the flip side of that, I I address comments without actually. I, I, I kind of picking kind of certain context words out of what certain people are saying who, like you said, don't deserve attention. Mm -hmm. However, if there's anybody in the future who's watching this who end up having to defend Christianity, they're going to need to see how we do it. And they're going to need to see that we've derived it from watching other people do it, but doing it with the facts that we're doing it with. You understand what I'm saying? Fair enough. So, yeah. you, you, so when you because you don't. Because if you have a Christian who's trying to become an apologeticist and they, and they they don't answer or they just walk away or ignore it, what it looks like is you have something to hide or you can't defend it because it's not true. But when something is true, you have the distinct ability that no other religion has, which is to try, uh, not to try, to actually respond and say, well, X, Y, and Z. And, not, not, and again, not to try to win a debate, mm -hmm. not to try to play I'm right and you're wrong, but to try to, ins uh, to show people that I'm interested in in obeying the commands of Jesus Christ and what did he say go forth and tell the world about me and and that's going to that's going to include because if you when you start reading the new testament you're going to what are you one of the first things you're going to see is the way that the pharisees constantly tried to heckle Jesus Christ the same way that people are trying to heckle us now you see what i'm saying right so that that's 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 what it is and 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 you almost have to welcome it because when people see how forceful you are and willing you are to defend God's word and 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 make the world know that Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. And there's no other way to God the Father except through God the Son. And people see that it's going to it's going to draw them closer to Jesus Christ if it is possible. If it is something that they're going to be willing to do, they're going to be more willing to do it after hearing you. Or at least they'll they'll possibly be more willing to do it, right? But I you 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 can't let anybody. I, I, and, and again, it's not about you. You never wanted to get to the uh, to the point of of pettiness, right? You wanted to get to the point of you expressing uh, coherent thoughts um, because, for example, the person that you're saying is a troll has not said he, he's not said one. He's not made one coherent argument. Right. He's not come on to say, well, in the Quran, this or well, in my faith, that they just want to insult that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you know you've made an effective point because the opposing side has no 
actual coherent or intelligent thought to offer or anything productive to add to the conversation except to call you hateful except to call what you're saying poison to call you a deceiver to say that the bible is a book of lies even though this individual who is a troll clearly didn't even read the quran because the ye people of the book believe the gospel and follow the law is saying to obey the ten commandments which means that the quran like dr turek said is saying to follow the bible but he calls it a book of lies do you see do you see how these do you see how this is so easily how you so easily when you have truth on your side how you you can just flesh this stuff out and illustrate it and 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 people can just start seeing what you're talking about because these are people who have dedicated their lives to making sure that if they're going to spread the word of Jesus Christ it's actually true and and did the bible leave us behind evidence to show us that what it said happened happened absolutely there are still in the highest points of earth scientists who find fossilized remnants of aquatic creatures in high mountain ranges now why would that be are you asking or is that another rhetorical question oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know unfortunately Gabriel the water level was higher you know yeah but why was it higher yeah, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, you're kind of doing that thing again where you're going off on, uh, on on multiple categories here, and you're kind of losing me a bit, man. I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming back around to the point. All right. The point is, is that you call the you're calling the Bible. A, you, you can people can call the Bible a book of lies, but scientifically they've proven that they have found aquatic creatures and their fossils in the highest mountain range. Right. Yeah. And, and I, I'm assuming you're, you're referring to the Great Flood. That's exactly what I'm referring to. But yet, okay. the book of lies right they have found remnants of saddam and gomorrah they've even found pieces of sulfur in the walls of the destroyed city where people were actually committing acts that we in the united states of america are signing into legislation every single day pedophilia homosexuality the trans nonsense mm -hmm. abortion every single day right why do you think this nation is falling because every single time a piece of legislation is signed this country turns its back to god more and more every single day and it's yes, just sir. and I'm, I'm kind of glad you brought up Sodom and Gomorrah because I, I I think about that one quite a bit uh do you do you know that story Bliss uh not really honest um unfortunately okay so yeah so Sodom and Gomorrah I mean just to give you the the quick rundown is basically just two cities where it's like it, they were hedonistic cities um Maverick could describe it you oh. know describe it better but it was all about kind of like he was saying it was all you know it was all sex it was all lust uh you know homo like he was saying homosexuality pedophilia all of that and it's kind of like kind of like where the world's going today you know like how they have like all these like like all ages drag shows and just bullshit like that you know how they're trying to like call pedophiles uh maps you know personality they attracted to minor whatever the fuck they call it right and uh right and, and god and god destroyed the cities because like he's like these are just ungodly you know i mean you, you can tell the story better than i can Mav, but well, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're 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 not you're not really too far off. I mean, you maybe missing a few details, but not mm -hmm. far off at all. Um, the 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 the, the twin. The, well, I don't know that they were twin cities, but there were there were two cities, um, ancient ancient cities, Hebrew cities. Um, you were right about the troll stuff. You ain't gonna convert anyone to your faith by acting like that. I'm so, Gabriel or 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 Blizz. Have I in any way conducted myself in any other way except professional? No. Okay. All right. Because I I've not called anyone a name. I've not. Okay. So I just. And, and here here's the thing. Like you know, I don't know about you personally, Maverick, but I don't give a fuck about anyone else. Like if you if you want, like you can listen. And if you know what we say is gonna change your mind, then like by all means, you know, God bless you. You know, and like all for it. But like I'm not here to convince anyone of anything. We're just talking like what we know is the truth. Right. And 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 that's a very common misconception, Johnny. Um. And if you were trolling, that's fine. Everybody has a different sense of humor. None and none which offend me. Right. None. You know what I mean? Um, but what I'm saying is that there's a common misconception about Christians that we want to convert everybody. Our mission is not to convert you because I would be violating your free will. And if my creator decided that he wasn't going to violate your free will and said that you had to come to him freely, why would I try to violate your free will by converting you? Right. The only thing that I'm doing is what Jesus Christ asked me to do was to spread the gospel. Right. And he knew that when I did spread the, spread the gospel, there were going to be people who listened and there were going to be people who, people who didn't. Right. 
And he even went as far as to say that the majority of people would not listen and that only a handful would listen. Okay. Um, and this was a question that even was a real, it was risen by the disciples who asked Jesus Christ, how many people will get into heaven? And Jesus Christ said, don't worry about it. Yep. He didn't say that, right? He just said, do not concern yourself with the number. Just please follow my command, right? So I don't, I, 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 I'm not offended by anything that you said. Uh, I'm not offended by anything that anyone says because at the end of the day, the piece that I... Whoa, 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 hang, hang on a second. Sorry, this opened up the game and like super loud. Stop, stop, stop. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Audio options, please. Holy shit! I hate when they. I, why do Why do games do that these days? It seems like they turn the volume the volume on max. Uh, All right, my bad. Maybe with laptops, you know how laptops have kind of poopy speakers. Maybe I have no idea. Could be. No, I don't know. Jiminy. Uh, okay. So, so yeah, Johnny. I mean, and and it's not about conversion, brother, because. Here's the thing. If you accept Jesus Christ in your heart, mind, and soul, and you do it out of your own free will, it's not because I converted you, right? It's because you decided to listen, and the only thing that I can even remotely take credit for is planting the seed. But I'm not doing that because I, I feel like I'm earning my way into heaven, which is an impossibility. I'm doing it because I'm grateful um, for, to Jesus Christ. Um... Oh, sounds good, Slurpee. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were getting out of here. Okay, Slurp, have a good one, brother. Yeah, he says, hey, Mariah, just wanted to wish you a good day. Hope you and Mav enjoy the game. Stay safe, stay awesome. All right, Slurp. Yeah, you too, brother. You too, you Be easy. Take care. Um, But yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, Joseph, I'm not... We're not here trying to convert. I'm here trying to spread... Like I said, spread the gospel, man. And, and, and I'm not... It, it, in so many ways, I know that we live in a world where hearing people speak the way that I do can be a turnoff for some people and that's fine you can listen to other people who are maybe more soft-spoken or that you don't feel are aggressive but the way that i was raised was to be a damn man and say what i gotta say and say it straight out i don't have time to sugarcoat anything for anybody see and and, and i'm gonna tell you like for me personally not, oh my god here we go again look i turned the fucking volume down all right um it's not even like how you say it it's, it's kind of like just how much of it is you know it's like you, you a lot of the times you give so much information it's hard to digest anything you know right right um and that's and that's you know i'll just i'll just pretty much talk until you know and until somebody wants to until i don't want to join a game i want to post to them. until someone stops me and says oh i want to hear more about that that's what i'll talk about you know right. um but yeah i don't I don't I, I don't give a lot of information to try to lose people. I just give information because, you know, whatever whatever the natural progression is in my head, I just allow God to talk through me. Fair um, enough. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm not saying that I'm some prophet or nothing like that. Before anybody times in the chat, because I, I can I can already hear the keyboards clack, clacking around the world. I am not a prophet of God. I know that I am a child of Christ. I am a child of God. But God speaks through me the way that he speaks through dr turek the way he speaks through uh the i i, I don't know the guy's name but the guy who, who who speaks for the wretched channel the way that he speaks through all his apologeticists he speaks through me and that's why i don't know if you guys notice this but whenever to anybody says something i have an answer ready it's not because i'm trying to be a smart ass it's because i've read enough of the scripture to know that i'll have an answer for that and if i don't have one believe me when i tell you that i will type on this keyboard until i bring up the verse that i'm looking for so that i can address you right but no i'm not this isn't about conversion, man. This is about, I, I, I just talking to you about not being quiet anymore is what it is. You know, it's just right. not sitting right. in the backgrounds and just letting shit happen. Right, right, yeah, and that's exactly right. Is that, and 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 that's what I was trying to. And, and actually, I got off topic. So Blizz, so Blizz is still here, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you're still yeah, here. I'm still here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Blizz. So so Dom and Gamora was, um, it was a a a pair of cities in in ancient Hebrew times thousands of years ago um that were full of people who decided to throw literally all morality to the wind um they were sacrificing children in pagan in, in pagan rituals um there was i mean homosexuality was basically the 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 way that the way that people want it to become now the way that they throw you know the way that they try to integrate it into 
every aspect of um yeah how like everything's okay and nothing should be punishable unless you disagree with the mainstream correct it was that's how it was i mean oh, they, not, there was no god there was no godly morals in their society at all i mean they were raping children they were doing things that were just unimaginable okay um even to the point where one of god's prophets his name was lot um god spoke to him and told him and told him ahead of time that he was going to destroy the cities um and lot being the only righteous person that god felt obviously because you you would have to have uh enough righteousness in your heart for god to feel that he could speak to you reliably right and he spoke to lot and right. lot, well can i go back and what and, and and so he was trying to plead with god right and this is this is a human fallacy where we feel like we have the the wisdom and the capability to 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 um to reason with god negotiate and reason with uh the man who's creating universes but we're trying to right so um so he says this is where that 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 saying comes from what if i find one righteous person but what if i find 10 righteous people what if i and this went back and forth for a little while and so finally god said well listen whoever that you feel is righteous whoever that you feel does not deserve to die i will allow you to go into the city and rescue them before i destroy it well that's exactly what he did so lot uh was able to gather a few members of his family and this city was so dangerous and so full of rape gangs and 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 i'm not even joking that two angels who actually escorted lot back into the city they didn't even make it to the home without these people even realizing who the two men were with um with lot right um and this is in the sure. bible okay the two men that were with lot are just looking at these guys because they i mean as an angel you can only imagine you're thinking if this guy puts his hand on me i'm gonna literally obliterate him right because they're angels they have not angels are literally just as dangerous as demons they are extraordinarily powerful creatures and they're exponentially more powerful than we are okay so they're there to basically oh. bodyguards for lot and lot um hides them in the house because there was guys who literally said uh the, the angels were obviously very attractive and there were men who came up and said hey hey bring them over here because we want to have intercourse with them just like that just like that they went straight oh wow yeah just like that this is in the bible which is why it's so disingenuous when people try to say that christians try to hide homosexuality and trans from the world because it's been spoken about since the beginning and how god feels about it right? it's just not right man right it's not so right so lot knowing what's going to happen if they put their hands on these angels pulls them in and they lock the door these guys are trying to literally break the door down okay um lo and behold of course the angels made a way out of the city and his family um made it out of the city and the minute they got out of the city and the angels made sure that they him and his family got out of the city hell rained down i mean literally hell rained down from the sky and obliterated some of saddam and gomorrah to the point where we literally only recently recently and i mean within the last few years found remnants and fossilized remnants of saddam and gomorrah that's how thorough the obliteration was oh, and they yeah and they knew it because they found writings they found they well, they, they found yeah they found they found uh, uh glyphs that they, that they knew were the writings from those times and not only that but they have also found and there's plenty of videos of this on youtube it's just obviously not going to be blasted mainstream because they don't want you knowing about it um they found pieces of sulfur of sulfur embedded in the walls because the destruction was so the the, the force was so hard that literal pieces of sulfur be, were becoming ingrained in the walls of the the buildings that were there in the city i mean it, it's not it, it, this, this is not new stuff bro this is this is stuff that you've heard it time and time again history is bound to repeat itself right and here we yeah, see and then that's the one that honestly like to me kind of hits the closest to home because like you know i mean i'll, I'll grow up, you know i grew up in the in the in the church and stuff like that knowing the bible and yada 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 but like i've always been a skeptic and like even with like sodom and gomorrah and i'm like you know why why would god you know a loving god destroy just two cities like that you know what i'm saying yeah but like i'm starting to see it i'm starting to see it happen here and like you know and the not only just the west just the states but like the western world you know is becoming like that yeah absolutely 
Absolutely. And 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 I can definitely I can definitely see why why he would he would want to destroy it, you know, because I kind of like I mean, there's times where I'm like, shit, I would. Right, and and that's and that's by your own standard, but that's only because you have so closely aligned yourself with God that you're you're able to see that now. Right, right, right. But, but here's yeah. here's here's the biggest thing about that is that when you say I would destroy it, if you and I did it. It would actually be unjust because God has told us long ago that we don't have that right. We don't have that. We have the right to hate sin and only sin. We do not have the right to hate the sinner, which is why it's 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 such an oxymoron because you have a lot of people out there. Um, it, it you can't when when you and I if if you were to take a life, it's a murder. Right. When God takes a life, He's only undoing what He created. God t God cannot murder because he gave you your life to begin with. He has the right to take it away whenever he wants. When you die, who's, yeah. who, who takes you? Yeah, you know, and I, I understand that, like, you know, and like deep down being a religious man and stuff like that, but that, that is a tough pill to swallow, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, John, Johnny says something here. Actually, now he's being a little less trolly. He says, if your God exists, I hope he takes mercy on the twisted rendition of his faith you have crafted. I, I don't think that even makes any sense. Well, that, and again, so that and that goes to yeah. the point that I was about to make anyway, um, because this this is this is this is what he's saying is actually very. It's popular for people to say. It's popular for people to say uh, that Christians are hateful and that what you're doing is like a twisted rendition, because the thing about it is, when you associate something with hate, more and more people will want to have less to do with it, right? Right. So. That's the thing now, is that people always say, well, Christians are so hateful, blah, 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 blah. I don't, uh, you, you can't. Now, contrast that with the Middle East, where I've literally seen people <laughs> lose their lives for even being accused of being homosexual. Well, I mean, shit, you know, and like kind of going to, to all that, I mean, it wasn't that long ago that the people from the Middle East attacked us in the name of their God. Exactly. And, 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 but you can't mention that. You can't, you can't, right. It, or that makes you racist which is complete nonsense right and 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 i'm not going to attribute that to the entire nation of islam absolutely not because it's a, it's a group of radicals i mean just like kind of the, the same thing happened with the uh with the crusades like you talked about yesterday yeah you know the christian crusades it was a group of radicals that happened to get a hold of people who were uneducated people who weren't willing to listen to people like us yeah they they took what someone else was saying at face value and they were like, all right, well, this is how it is. Now I have to kill or be killed in the name of my God, you know? And kind of, again, going back to what we were talking about earlier, and that's a that's a that's an axe-based based thing, you know, instead of a, a Jesus-based type thing, you know? Correct. But that's, yeah, and that's that's the thing is that, and, and I, even did a, I even did a YouTube short on this right. that, about the fact that um, Logan Paul for, as, 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 I mean, I don't even know what the hell that guy's known for, but he, he was attacking a guy, you know, a good friend of his who's a Christian. Um, and to be honest with you, his friend wasn't really doing too good of a job of, of, of defending Christianity because you could tell when somebody doesn't really read the scripture. You could tell right. when they don't look at the history of the scripture. But at least he was still standing true for the fact that he's a follower of Jesus Christ, right? Mm -hmm. um, and and he was saying that that's it, that, that, that hating homosexual people and condemning them is a staple of the Christian faith. Uh, for us, uh, for now, people make statements like that because that may be a popular worldview. But it being a popular worldview doesn't mean that it's true, right. right? Because it's not true. The Bible makes it very clear about hating anybody because you are just as much of a sinner. Now, me being quick to anger or being a jealous individual or a person who idolizes drugs does not make me any worse or better than a person who is a homosexual. A sin is sin in God's eyes. And there's only one sin that's unforgivable, and that's blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, right? Which is very close to what Johnny's doing. If your God exists, there's no hate like Christian love, blah, blah, blah. Those are the things that now you're using your platform to try to pull people away from God. God has been clear that that is not something he forgives, right? So that, that you know, that's, that's and there's a, there's a lot more to it than that, because you have to actually knowingly reject the Holy Spirit. Um, you have to have been, you know, you, you had to have kind of rejected God, even knowing everything that you know. Right, um, right. We'll go as far as to say that you um, that you would have to have had a relationship with Christ first. 
that one is a little bit far out there because if you actually have a genuine relationship with Christ, you wouldn't reject him and you especially wouldn't go to any other religion because the, the a true relationship with Jesus Christ brings you a peace and a knowledge and a wisdom that you've never had before. All right. Um, so, um, okay. Yeah. He, he, he's still trolling, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I'm literally not gonna, I'm no, not, no, I mean, yeah, yeah I, I, I stopped uh, looking. Like, like I said, yeah. when, when, when the comments come up, when a good comment comes up, uh, I'll, I'll address it, but then, you know, exactly. uh, again, when it starts going into insults and, and stuff like that and the need to be right, then you just ignore it. Mm. Well, when people say, okay, so, so real, real quick, uh, Blizz, I sent you a uh, bro force. Um, you there, Blizz? I'm trying to figure out how to invite you guys. So go ahead. There... Okay, uh, he, he's got like super shitty yeah, internet, so he, so he may not be able to download. It's only like a couple gigs, so you may be able to download it in time. It's like 500 megabytes or something. It's not very big. Yeah, it's it's super small. But uh, I, I sent it to you so if you can download oh, that real quick. It. Was it? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. no, I'll get on it right now. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take a quick yeah. smoke break. Go ahead. I, I'm going to look while you're gone. I'm going to look up how to uh, how to how to host here on Broforce because I've like I said, I've always played by myself. Right. So I want to play with you guys. I'm going to look up how to do it. Word. Yep. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, you've been kind of quiet. Are you still good there, uh, Bliss? He's being oh, back. no, it's it's a learning experience. I'm excited. <laughs> it's kind of, um, instead of being in the hot seat, I'm uh, looking in. I like it. Okay, just want to make sure you, you know you got your chance to be heard and stuff. Yep. Oh, yeah, no. I would say the only thing I would uh, comment is that Buddy, who's um, distracting, It's uh, I would be grateful for it. It lets you know you're making those steps towards a bigger platform. So. Yeah, yeah, you thank know, you. I mean, that's, that's in, uh, yeah, thank you, Johnny. You know, and like, you know, again, there's no hate, there's no like, you know, nothing like that towards you, Johnny. Even if there may be some frustration, you know, there may be some certain words, you know, there's there's no hate. It's all love here, you know. Yeah. And we may, we may use some harsh words, some harsh languages, but you also got to understand, two out of the three of us were veterans. Right. And, and not only, you know, not only considering that, but like I said, I, I, I don't need, I don't get anything out of attacking anybody for any reason whatsoever. No, 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 no. I, it's not, I, I, to me, I don't, there, that, that Jesus Christ was clear about not doing that. Yeah, um, he, he who hasn't sinned, throw the first stone, right? So that's not what I'm doing. I'm, just, I'm, I'm doing what, literally what Jesus said. Go just, forth and tell the world about me. Just, just talking about it. And if you, if you want to come along, you want to come along, you know, I just say, hey, you know, thank you for being here, everybody. And, but uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Wait, what is he playing on now? What the hell's a Parsec application? Oh, okay. Let me install Parsec then. I didn't know it was this involved. Oh. What? What do you mean a trial? Bro, that's not okay. No, I'm not downloading anything. I gotta pay, and I'm giving you a thumbs down over making it seem like it was easy. All right. How to play co-op with your friends host get how do you host it though yeah i was trying to host it but i, I okay well let me go back into the game maybe i can figure it out let's see go to online and then there's host What just happened? I can't get out now. All right. So something. Yeah, let me go to whatever. 
play oh, oh here we go post online code name let's see game Oh, and I'm gonna put a password too. Okay. Oh wow, wow, Maverick one four two. Good job there, Dingo. I'm talking to myself. Oh no, do your thing, homie. All right, I'm back. All right, cool. Uh, what, what were you saying? <laughs> did, mm -hmm. did I interrupt something? No, 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 you're fine. Okay. Oh no. And uh, I want to uh, read a read something out of the Bible real quick. Um, and it's kind of weird. You, you've heard of Joyce Myers, right? Yes. So my father sent me a book from her uh, called Battlefield of the Mind. Uh huh. And I, I've been reading that, and that's kind of like you know around the time that I told you that you know I, I saw Jesus, you know, when all that happened. Correct. And uh, oh, okay, sweet. He sent me the invite. Yeah. So you just have to play like normal, and then it'll ask you for online. I'm, I'm over here. About to download some golf parsec. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, so like, so I looked up one of her, um, one of her like podcastings or whatever on YouTube, and she brought up the book of Nahum. And like, when I decided to pick up the Bible the other day, like that's the the exact book that I kind of happened just open up to, you know, I was like, all right, I, I gotta read this. And I gotta say, what what I read was pretty shocking. Um, hang on. You know, it really took me aback, and I've really been reading it over and over again, trying to get the idea of what it is. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but it's the first, like, six chat or six verses. And then it wasn't until I read the seventh one, like, the third or fourth time that it kind of really hit me. But, like, so, yeah, so the Book of Nahum, it's a real short one. It's only, like, three and a half chapters. But it says, uh, the burden of, I hope I'm saying this name right, the Nive, the, uh... Yeah. Was it? Neve. Neve. Okay. Neve. The the uh, the book version, or of the vision of Nahum, the Elkoshite. Operation version. Was that you? That's the game. Yeah, I'm trying to hurry up through it. Oh, pff, I heard a demon voice. I was like, I'm hearing demon voices as I'm reading the Bible. What the hell? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it says like <laughs> instantly, and it hit me. It said, God is a jealous God, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he is reserveth wrath for his enemies. And, like, you know, it kind of keeps going from there, how he's slow to anger, and basically how he he talks about how he's going to take everything away from his enemies, you know, like all the, the water from the field, all the all the grass, you know, make everyone. There's a word he uses, uh, says that they're going to languish it, which means right. pretty much they're going to be weak, get get sapped to their strengths and stuff like that. The mountains will quake at him. Who can, who can stand before his fury? Yeah. And uh, and I was like, man, that really hit me, especially because it was like a couple of days after, you know, I was like, OK, you know, I'm really into this. I, I believe in Jesus, you know, like I need to get into this. And I was like, that's the first thing that he shows me. Mm -hmm. And like at first it really hit me hard because I was like, that seems really, really rough, you know, especially for a God who's supposed to be, you know, who says he's all loving and stuff like that. And we're supposed to be following Jesus who says, you know, turn the other cheek and stuff like that. Um. But then I was actually rereading it this morning, and then I hit verse 7, where it says, The Lord is a good and stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth that that trust in him. Yeah. And I don't know, I, I just kind of wanted to share that, because I was like, that that one hit me, and like it hit me today, and I was like, man, like he reserves all of that wrath for his enemies, but that's yeah. only his enemies. Yep. And, though, and, and you're saying like his enemies are the people that basically rebuke him. Right. Like, not even the people that question him that could be like, you know, oh, could he could he be there? No, it's the people that are like, yeah, he, he's legit not there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 That, that, and that's what it comes down to, man. It's, it's not it's not a game. And that's the thing is that people blow it off because... And, and it starts at home. Because if your parents... Like, like look at Blizz. He know, his parents are Christian. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they speak to him on it. They let him have his own ideas because they want him to come to Jesus Christ naturally. That's the way it's supposed to happen. It's conversations like these that have to happen where we where we speak where we speak the word of God, we speak the gospel of Jesus Christ, but more but but on top not more than that, but also with that comes with that is the intuitive nature of preaching against all the garbage that is accepted as okay now. Right. Which is because 
I don't care who listen. I'm at 8,339 subs. If I lose 8,338 subs right now for saying what I'm about to say, good. Abortion's not okay. You're killing innocent babies. Trans men are not women. Men are men, women are women. There's only two genders. And homosexuality is a sin. Yeah, I mean, I'm right there with you. And and if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, Blizz, you, you agree with most of that, right? Oh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm not objected or anything like that. Yeah, I think a lot of people, especially in nowadays world, are lying to themselves and stuff like that. And it's yes. horrible yeah, to sure. see how it how much it has become to affect uh, society. Yeah, absolutely. And and, and even work. And to piggyback on what Blizz is saying, not only are people lying to themselves, but you got these 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 high ranking politicians who have obeyed the devil their entire lives, who ensures that they stay in power so they can continue to spread this bullshit. Right? Because right, right. when you have when you have a country that's falling apart, but you have a, a, a supposed president who's more concerned with meeting with a trans activist in the White House than figuring out how he's going to fix the economy that he destroyed or lower gas prices that he raised or, or, or stop allowing repeat offenders to get out and kill four people after they were supposed to be in jail for the f first six people they killed. But no, he's worried about meeting with trans activists and trying to convince the world that this is what's important. And then people wonder why the United States of America has fallen as far as it has fallen and it will continue to fall. Now yeah. Marines are not even allowed to say ma'am and sir anymore. Oh, fuck that. Because you might offend somebody who's not a man. Oh, well, I didn't even know that. I didn't hear that. Yeah. Well, yeah, look it up. Look it up. So if you want to get pissed off more, go ahead and look it up. <laughs> I, I mean, it's absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. But let me ask you a question. If there's more than two genders, and, and this is not rhetorical, I, I, I want somebody to actually tell me if there's more than two genders, then why are we the only mammalian species on Earth that has more than two genders? And if we have more than two genders, then what is their role in the reproductive cycle? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm right there with you. You know, I don't, I don't know. Like, I mean, that question, that, that question is not to me because I, I have the same question. I'm like, I'm always been, it's always been man and woman to me, you know, and like, I get if you feel like you're something else, you feel like you're, you're something else stuck in another body. It's like, you know, that, that is what it is. But so that's a thing. Gender dysphoria is a thing. Right. That that's something that's a condition like every other condition that human beings get which is due to our fallen nature listen the moment that we disobeyed god the moment that our very first mother and father disobeyed god we were bound to be born into sin be born into iniquity in a fallen world we don't get diseases and sicknesses and mental illnesses that we get because god put them here we put them on ourselves the moment that we decided we'd rather live in a fallen world. And so when you're born and you feel like you're a freaking female and you're a male or vice versa, it's not because God made you that way, because there's nothing that boils my blood faster than people saying God made me this way. God didn't make you anyway. God gave you your life and you were born into a world that told you that you're that way and you believed it. But don't think for a second that God decided that he was going to torture you by giving you gender dysphoria any more than god gives you cancer it's this fallen world and the diseases that live within it that we decided to live in that that's why we get sicknesses this is why we feel like men can be women this is why we feel that homosexuality is okay this is why we get cancer this is why we get aids it all started with our own fallen nature in a fallen world fair enough so, so right, when so people have gender dysphoria doesn't it doesn't mean that you are now a woman you can listen you can mutilate yourself all you want you can get as many surgeries as you oh want. yeah at the end well, of the day I, I, when, they, I, when they dig up your skeleton and they run dna on it it's not gonna say that you were a woman i will i will stand on that on that hill like now i i have people in my life that there's someone in fact that i, I work with who happens to be you know a, a trans woman but like it's never been an issue i've always called her her you know mm -hmm. but it's never been an issue you know what i mean right. but yeah. like there's nothing wrong with that because right. i mean you're not here's the thing though too you're not going to go out of your way to disrespect people just because you know that this person so happens to be a trans whatever the case may be 
Especially exactly. That you're going to lose your job. Because I'm like, you know, if this person comes up to me and says, hey, you, you should date me because I'm a woman, I'm going to be like, no, you're not. And I shouldn't, you know? Correct. Correct. That's something completely different. Right. But if you ever know. Yeah, I was going to say, that's two different kind of yeah. arguments. But mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And I agree with Blizz. You don't. You're not, but but see, and that's <laughs> the the problem is, is that it's becoming as not two different arguments. It's, it's starting to become the same thing, where it's like, that's if you true. don't want to tra uh, date a yeah. trans, if you don't want to date a trans woman because they're trans, then that makes you a bigot. Right. And it's and, like, and no, it's because I don't like men, and I don't. I mean, I it, just because I don't like men, I don't like mutilated <laughs> men either. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and and and. and, and uh, I'm sorry. I, I know that's not funny, but <laughs> yeah, um, it's it. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Funny. It is. That's another point. That's a, I'm so glad that you said that because now we live in a world where you will be will, will be canceled for laughing at something that's clearly funny, but because people now want to make it seem like you can't have a sense of humor for anything and you can't laugh at something that's so clearly true because why? Because it's not funny? No, because you're bursting their bubble and they don't like it. Exactly. Right. And that's that's right. what it comes down to. Yeah. Because you're absolutely right. It is two different things. But what Marauder said is also right. It's becoming it's becoming one and the same conversation because now you have people taking a TikTok, Twitter, and everywhere else where people will listen, where they're trying to guilt people into dating trans women as if they're actually women. Right. Yep. You have people lying and saying that if a male decides to be a female and now playing female sports, it's not dangerous for the real female. Oh my athlete. god. When you have a volleyball player in a high school out of of Virginia, North Carolina, somewhere on the eastern seaboard where the poor girl this dude who's a dude i don't care i'm not gonna say he's a woman he's not a woman he's a freaking guy is on the, uh, the 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 opponent's team who is now calling himself a female spikes the ball and hits a little girl in the face so hard that she ended up with a concussion and her and her neck then bent the other way i mean what are we talking about here yeah it's insanity yeah. you got william thomas lying to the world and wanting everyone to call him leah thomas blows all the other female athletes out of the freaking water in the ncaa but he was number 430 something when he was racing against men so he said well let me yeah, i i want to win something so let me play against girls what the hell i mean you know and and the sad thing about it is that it's taking it so much away from women yes you know what i mean i'm like there's so many of these female athletes that have worked so hard to get to where they are yeah and then just to have some dude you know decide that they i mean like south park did it best <laughs> South Park did it oh best. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, luck is for dudes. <laughs> it's so true, man. You know it what? is. You you can you can people can say that South Park is satire, but you know what? They're getting the satire. Satire has to be based in reality. It is, right, right. And that's and that's that's the thing about it, is that it's it's now it's even turning people, some of the wokest people away because people are like, okay, oh, enough is enough, bro. Like, really? Mm -hmm. Now now we're even trying to defend pedophiles and all this? I mean, it's absolutely <laughs> I insane. I knew it was a serious joke. I mean, well, I knew it was a joke before this, but like when they first started the whole alphabet people thing, not even all that, like a few years ago, they they, they kicked out all the G's and the L's. So I'm like, what, what the hell? Like, where are we even going with this, right? Right, yeah. It was like, they, they don't like gays and lesbians because they, they recognize who are men and women. See, and here's here here's the thing, bro. Here here's what it really comes down to. I I actually said this a while ago, and I actually didn't hear this anywhere. I I actually ended up make coming to this realization on my own. I was sitting there thinking about it one day. The entire progressive movement, and this is not a political speech, ladies and gentlemen. For anybody who's watching this now or who will see it in the future, this is not a political speech. This is not about Republicans, Democrats, progressives, conservatives. It's about none of that. When I say the progressive movement, I mean those who call themselves progressives who 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 you're 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 super pro choice you're all about lgbtq you're all about you know gays on tv you're all about the trans movement you're all about all all, all the stuff that for some reason in the last 15 minutes of society has become so damn important that this is what we're talking about all the damn time that i'm talking to you okay the reason why not only that the the conservatives and, and people, not even people who are conservative, people who, who lean left, who still kind of look at you like you're crazy. The reason why you guys only compose 4% of people in the Western world, the reason why you're not, your, your ideals are not accepted in so many countries, especially the Middle East and Asia and Africa. The reason why is not because you guys are horrible human beings. 
It's not because you're more sinners than we are. It's not because that. It's because everything that you stand for requires that you have no fucking accountability for anything. Amen. Anything. You want to be homosexuals and you want to change the Bible because you don't want to be accountable to God. You want to kill babies because you don't want to be accountable or responsible for your actions. You want to have free abortions for whenever you want because you want to jump from bed to bed to bed to bed and get pregnant and just slaughter those babies nonstop and think that it's okay. You want to introduce bail reform and let criminals do whatever the hell they want because you have a problem with authority. You're more concerned with what the police are doing, but you're ignoring the fact that in 2020, 8,600 black men were killed by other black men in this fucking country and nobody said a word about it. That's not, not a damn thing. 250 black men were shot by police the very same year. 16 of them were unarmed and the 16 of them were all dangerous because you don't have to be armed to be dangerous okay so let's 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 really focus on what we're talking about here the fact that the progressive movement removes accountability and responsibility away from everything and you want to shove everything in everybody's face and now on top of all of that you want to integrate this bull crap into the school system and teach our kids and think that you're going to take our rights away to teach our kids the word of god and tell them that it's okay for them to like men if they're boys it's okay for them to like girls if they're girls it's okay if they don't feel like a boy or a girl it's okay if they want to be non-binary it's okay if they have their own pronouns it's okay if you don't want to tell your parents it's okay if you want to be a criminal it's okay if you want to kill babies Fuck. i can do this all day this is the reason why people have such a problem with you because you think you're going to take over our society like the cancer that you are with your ideas and you're going to teach our kids that they can do whatever the hell they want and they don't have to work for anything because the government's just going to do it all for them and everything is going to be fine because there is no god and there is no responsibility and you don't have to be accountable for your actions except that when jesus christ returns you're going to feel everything you're doing and then so that's a guarantee I mean, shit, you, you heard it here from Maverick himself on Mr. Marauder's Live. I mean, I couldn't have said it better myself. No accountability, no responsibility. People want to yell about Black Lives Matter, except when they're in the room, right? Because the abortion process was invented by a white woman who is actually recorded on video, on video, stating that her number one reason for abortions was to depopulate the black population. Hey Amen. I mean, I can find a video. I can find a video. How many Jews were, were were slaughtered in the Holocaust? Six million. How many black babies have died since abortion has become legalized since Roe v. Wade? Fifty million. Fifty million. In New York, out of every three pregnancies in the African American home, two of those babies are aborted. Sixty-six percent of black babies are aborted in this country. And we're supposed to act like it's okay to just kill them. We're supposed and like and like and like you know here, here's the thing that that makes it really evil for me is when people are like, oh, it's not a baby, it's just a bundle of cells, and I'm like, so are you? Yeah, 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 exactly. And I'm like, it's just about like like where do you think it comes from? You know what I'm saying? It's like it's just so. Yeah, not only that, but like imagine if someone decided that they wanted to abort their puppies. Right. You know, it's like, oh, I have this dog. He's about to have puppies. Let's kill the baby. Yeah, because no, oh my god, oh my god, there'd be riots in the street. And 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 what's what's funny? Yeah, there'd be an uproar. So many of these very same people who share these ideals are vegetarians because they say that killing an animal is cruel. <laughs> so killing an animal is cruel. Killing a human baby, not so much. This is what you're. Yeah, saying. yeah, yeah. Be, uh, killing a bundle of cells that has the potential of becoming something that can change the world. And you know what? That Dr. Frank Turk said it best. He said, I know how we'll stop abortions in this country. At nighttime, when everybody's home from school and from dinner, show what an abort show what a baby looks like. Especially the older they get after an abortion. Show what they do. Show how they tear those poor innocent little creatures apart. And show the the, the remains of that baby on that fucking table. And you tell you, me they don't stop abortions right then and there. You, you know, I, I I'll say this. Kind of like a, I mean, it's a, a little off topic, but not quite, but like I, I like trash TV sometimes, you know, Judge Judy, Mari, that kind of bullshit, you know. And, like, every once in a while, I'll look at it on, on YouTube, and, like, I was watching a compilation, one of those, you know, You Are Not the Father compilations of Mari. Yeah. And, like, at first, you know, I was laughing at all the reactions and stuff like that, but then, like, 
for some reason, I really started looking at these babies. You know, they had like these pictures and the videos of these babies. And I was like, these these poor fucking things, man. Like, yeah, you're killing them. And not only that, but like the ones that aren't being killed, they're, they're being raised by these like single mothers that are like running about banging these no good dudes that aren't taking care of them. You know, it's just it's, in, it's insanity, man. Mothers, mothers don't know how to be mothers anymore, you know? Well, you know, the thing about it is, too, is that it, it, it goes even further than that when you dig into the moral decay of of what we're talking about, right? Because would these women be jumping from bed to bed like that and getting with all these different dudes if they'd been shown and raised right to begin with, mm -hmm. right? Because when we were growing up, that was taboo. Right. You didn't just go ahead and do all this other crap. Right. You were told you save it, you're abstinent, you wait till marriage. Obviously, not everybody did it. Right. It yep. grains in you. That it was something that you shouldn't be doing and it happened a lot less it, and did, that's yeah. okay that it didn't happen but it sure as hell happened a hell of a lot less and i mean exponential okay and 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 when people try to come to you and say well it's just a bundle of cells it's just a fetus all this other crap these are two questions that i ask that till this day nobody ever has an answer for number one at what point in your life were you ever at that stage of development obviously 10 times out of 10 the answer is this and you're still standing here now talking to me so why is it that the other person who got aborted didn't say deserve that very same chance to grow and be birthed the way that you did you don't get to decide that that person in that stage of development is any is was is any less important than you were because obviously your mom decided that you were important and decided and understood that you were alive so why weren't they because all no matter what stage of development you're talking about in the womb everybody was at that stage of development at one point or another we That's were all there we were all a bundle of cells we were all just an egg and a sperm that happened to meet right. and not only that not only that but someone who is it like ben shapiro was talking about it the chances of you being that that sperm and that egg meeting and growing into what you are now were like seven billion to one maybe even worse than that like 7.4 billion to one or some shit like that yeah, and then we say that God doesn't exist. You know, you know how many people are on Earth. And last I counted, it was getting to eight billion. So, so, <laughs> the, so the ratio is literally the population of the planet. Which yeah. Just go to show that's God's way of telling you in your face. There's only one chance of this person existing in this population. Oh well. Hey, is there only one me in the population? Yeah. Duh. I mean, come on. You can't deny this stuff. You know. And that, and and that's 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 to me why I have the biggest problem with it. And I told somebody the other day. I said, you know. When you call these babies a fetus or a zygote or anything, you are doing psychologically the same thing that Adolf Hitler did to himself. Yeah, uh, amen. I was just about, man, I was just about to go there myself. You were de you're dehumanizing them. You're, you, you're, you're pretending like they're anything less than human beings it's, so that you are able to kill them without the guilt on the conscience that you deserve. It's the same thing that the KKK says about colored people. Correct. That they're a different species, that they're, that they're lower than us, you know? They're lo that they're lower life forms that they're so that's what he, that's that's what hitler used to talk those are the t kinds of terms that he used to use to refer to to jewish people and to black people and to basically anybody that wasn't aryan right and and that's what he used to do and and not only did he convince himself of that nonsense but he convinced an entire nation of people to at least think and not only just think that way not not so and any i'm sure there were people who disagreed with him but they were afraid to stand up and say something just well, like I, it, 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 if you talk to like i mean they they say that most of them were that way most of them were afraid like most of them didn't think that way they just kind of did what they what they felt they had to do you know but this guy definitely felt that way and and, and yeah. to me it's disgusting that we have an entire ideological movement in this country and actually in countries and and throughout the entire western hemisphere and in Europe, who feel the same way that he did. They don't look at them as human. Oh, well, they're not human until... And then you have all these differentiating opinions about when people, when, right. when babies are considered mm -hmm. life. Well, wait, you guys are the very same people who said, you're a science denier. You're not wearing a mask. You're not six feet apart. Well, hell, the University of Princeton says that life begins at conception. Oh, well, I'm sorry. That science doesn't convenience you. So we're going to go ahead and ignore that one. The actual most important one. We'll ignore that, but we'll listen to supposed science about masks from Anthony Fauci. I got sure. you. We'll listen to the science that you want us to listen to. We won't listen to the science that actually matters for conceiving a life. A unique genetic code that will never be created again. We won't listen to that, right? But here you are, finding ways 
to subconsciously dehumanize them so that you don't have to feel guilty about murdering them. It's the same exact thing that Adolf Hitler did. And yet we consider him one of the most atrocious people and rightfully so to ever have existed. So much so that you never meet anyone named Adolf. <laughs> but here we are, justifying murder every single day. And then you want to lie about it and call it healthcare. It's the same thing that when people call Christians hateful. Why? Because I'm not telling you what you want to hear. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. Oh, yeah. Hate speech. Like truth has become the hate speech. Yeah. And they're like, oh, well, it's your truth. I mean, my, my truth. You can't even tell me what a woman is. Correct. I can tell you, I can tell you what a woman is straight up, and hell, blizz, I mean, well, shit, we talk about what women are all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But, but that, that's the thing, dude, is that when you, yeah. when, when your ideology is all based on, on, on feelings, when it's all based oh. on, on rage, right, you don't, you have, you have no truth to stand on. It's like building a house in a pile of mud without a foundation. It's going to fall yeah. because you're just putting lie on top of lie on top of lie. And then on top of that, what, what really blows me away is that ever since all this, the, 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 the transgender movement started and people are being forced to call men women, the feminist movement is nowhere to be found. Well, hold on a second there. Didn't you? you you've been fighting for decades for women's rights, but you don't have a problem with men pretending to be women and going into the bathroom and, 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 and sexually assaulting girls and and beating you in sports and giving concussions. You don't have a problem with any of that? <laughs> winning beauty pageants. Oh my, don't even get me started on that. Men winning beauty pageants. You're, you're, you're literally, you're, you're perpetuating feminism by allowing men to go in there and take all of your stuff away. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. You're no. literally the worst movement to ever, the most, the, the worst and most hypocritical movement to ever exist. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? No accountability, bro. No accountability. Well, here's the thing, and then, then here's here's something else that's gonna get us canceled. But Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate even said, feminists can't can't survive without the men who defend it. No, they can't. They can't. And 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 that's absolutely true. Because you get, dude. I've seen. I, I'll tell you one thing right now. There's nothing in my life that I've ever witnessed than a cringy ass feminist beta male on TikTok. Mm. I mean, because you. Those are the worst, bro. And you know for a fact, and I'm gonna tell you something, and and I and I know Blizz and Bender and Slurpee and anybody else in here can can tell me the same thing. And please tell me if you disagree. I would I I don't care. I, I would love to know if you disagree. But I've always felt that those little male feminists, the ones who are doing it, are are these are these guys that they walk through life as these usual beta males, knowing that they got no game, knowing that nobody's gonna want them. So they've adopted feminism to try to look like a hero to females so that females will want them. Tell me I'm wrong. Yep. Well, I mean, and I'm I'm gonna add well, to that. That's why I mean, the, uh, and all that shit. Why we have simps and everything. That's why almost why the world exists. The world we exist in now is the way. It is. Yep. Yep. And I'm and I'm gonna add to that, uh, Mav, because like, you know, I was I was raised into that. Uh, Bender says he 100% agrees on that. I I was raised into that. I was actually I was a feminist for a long time. Mm -hmm. just because you know you know i was raised by my mom and my sister mm -hmm. and they're both like you know strong independent women right. um i mean it, it used to be much worse back in the day they both they both calmed down significantly significantly now yeah but like back in the day when i grew up you know i i heard like all the time man like i just be sitting there eight years old playing with my gi joes my sister would bust into the door and talk about men he's like you you men are the, the problem with what is what what with her uh, let me get my thoughts together here. <laughs> you men are the problem with the world, shit like that. You know, you guys are nothing. You ain't, you ain't shit. Yeah. All men yeah, need yeah. to die. Like I grew up hearing this shit. Well, she was bitter. She was obviously bitter. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm, I'm both of them were, and I know. I know. I know they were, and they were both like you know, kind of victims themselves of that whole like you know feminist movement. Yeah. But like you know, so that's what I grew up with, and like so I was that guy. I can actually like, um. Like confess to that like you know like i'm i'm a witness of it like i was that guy that they used feminism to try to just like get close to ladies because i thought that that's what they wanted you know right i was that simp that was like oh one of these days she'll give me a chance if i'm close enough you know but the, the difference is between you and them is that you were done a disservice growing up and you were doing what you thought what you felt was the right thing to do based mm -hmm. on what you had seen and what you had been raised around right and even then, the moment that you enter the real world, you realize, wait a second, this is 
not the way it works. Uh, to, I mean, to, to be honest, bro, not even the moment. It's, it's recently that I kind of woke up. And yeah. I've, I've only honestly woken up because of guys like Andrew Tate and Kevin Smith and stuff like that. Because I, I've never... Go ahead. I make no mistake. That's that's exactly why people like Andrew Tate get canceled. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of liberals who hate that guy who have, who have outright staunchly admitted that his audience is too wide and too many kid too many males especially younger males listen to him and they don't want those males listening to people right. like him no. they don't want their ideas being undone well i mean i i've always thought i was like i've never i've never really had uh a, a male role model you know like i mean my dad was always around but like you know I, i'll admit my dad was not someone to look up to as far as like a male example you know what i mean yeah well, and like what was it that's another story yeah that's that's a whole other story in itself and kind of i mean i don't want to speak for him but blizz has like a similar situation you know mm -hmm. um what's funny too though is mm -hmm. that all of us have had our our fathers in our lives and even though it wasn't the best situation i think we've all turned out better because of it right and that's why it's so important oh absolutely to in the home, right yeah and that's and that and that, and that's another thing too that that especially our government is so guilty of is is subsidizing and encouraging uh minority women to not have fathers in the home mm -hmm. right yeah because yeah, real, real quick bender says you seem to turn out pretty solid in my opinion yeah thank you much bender but you know i've i've, I've always been open-minded you know like or i try to stay open-minded and i always deep down i always knew it wasn't right you know yeah. Uh, like deep down, I always knew I was just always I was trained to fight my masculinity is what it was. And I think that's a lot of the issue that we're having these days, you know, because, you know, uh, Maverick even touched on on himself when he's like, this is what happens when you think with your feelings and you try to run a society based on your feelings. Mm -hmm. And that's not how men think. That's not how men operate. We don't naturally we don't operate on our feelings. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, we have feelings, but we know how to control them. Right. And yeah. like, this is super controversial, but like, that's why, you know, a lot of the times it's women and children. That's why they're all uh, grouped together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you know what? That's and, and that's such a good point, um, because and, and, and again, when you look at feminism, there I'm not talking about feminism, like the right for women to vote and drive. No, I mean, there are just no. certain things that women should inherently be able to do. It's, right. It's and not he, a to, to to it's not a threat to society if mm -hmm. women are afforded the same salaries and everything that's not what i'm talking about uh, I, i'm gonna say this too like just to interject like and i really think if you break it down to what feminism actually is i think the three of us are actually feminists because you know it's just all about the equality you know it's more about how you treat someone you know right if you break it down to its traditional original meaning then yes then yeah yeah but Sick feminism where you where a man has to be afraid to be a man and I mean, even really think about it. It really, really think about now when we were growing up in the 80s and the 90s, when you looked on TV at what a man was supposed to be, right? When you look at when you looked at all of our action heroes, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Jean-Claude Van Damme, these guys were ripped. They were jacked. Mm -hmm. They were out there kicking everybody's ass. Look at how they make superheroes look now. Tom Holland, freaking Robert Downey Jr. These skinny ass little punks that Oh no, I, I you know I, I the, the super even super and I know nobody really noticed this, but I noticed that the other day. Like, look at what a superhero is now in society as a man in America, and look at what they were back then. Oh yeah. And tell me, find one of them that looks like what Rambo used to look like or the Terminator, mm -mm. right? Because now even Hollywood has to be afraid to make somebody too masculine, right? And that's and that's what it comes down yeah. to. It, it's all about it, it, it's all about men becoming less masculine and you think this isn't designed that way they want oh, it is want men to be less manly so that we can right. defend family so that we can't defend our children our women and our country That's real, how they want it. Real, real quick I'm, I'm gonna interject real quick on that one but real quick bender says respect it's all about respect what, yeah. what i've come to learn is that respect to men is like attention for women Mm -hmm. So women thrive off of attention. That's why Instagram and it's funny because I was, you know, massaging a client one time. He was an older guy and he was talking about Instagram. And he was talking about social media. He's like the social media stuff. He's like, it's all what women want. He's like all the likes, all the smiley faces, stuff like that. He's like, that's all the stuff that women want. Right. And I was like, it's, it's 100%. And that's that's where we're going. And it's just recently that I've realized that, like, 
it, it's all about respect, you know. And then like even even for men, what I've even learned is that like especially when it comes to women, that like a woman can hate your guts, but as long as she respects you, she'll still fuck with you. Right. <clears throat> right. Yep. Well, just to interject there real quick, it's um kind of what I was saying yesterday about um how simps are so dangerous for, because um they give their all their money to women. Because women aren't essentially business oriented, you know, business mind oriented. So when you give all of that money to people who aren't necessarily making business decisions with it, you end up with this situation where it's like why we have Tinder set up the way Tinder is essentially guys paying for all of this stuff just because women are there. Right. And we have so many business models in today's society where it's like, that that makes you so much money. Why would I do anything else? Right. Yep. Yep. And, and so then, and then, it's almost like you set society back because of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then like going back to what like you know Maverick was starting to talk about about how it was de designed by like you know them. I think it's kind of important. And this is where people get in some real trouble. This is kind of why I feel like I'm gonna get canceled way before I can get started. But because we talk about who they are, you know, we're we're talking about like the one percent, like the people who are in charge of the governments. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, the thing about it is, I, I yeah. learned the hard way, I, there are certain platforms that are more restrictive than others. Mm -hmm. uh, YouTube, there are certain things you can't talk about. Um, but I believe me, I have watched other conservative channels to make sure that there are things that we can and can't say. Um, because they, without a doubt, big, big tech is working for, they're, they're, they're working for the world without a doubt. Like, they're right. not working. YouTube, they, they, they do not delete Christian channels for being Christian channels. Um... For example, TikTok will take you down. If you say anything about um, transgender stuff, LGBTQ stuff, anything like that, TikTok takes your video down right away. Oh, yeah. There's no, yeah, there's no. Now, they can get on and say whatever the hell they want. There is no doubt about that. But I can tell you that when you have a when you have a Christian perspective on it, it gets taken down. I just had a video taken down today. Mm -hmm. um, when, hey, the pie was going on. How you doing? Hey, we're kind of having a serious deep chat right here. You may enjoy. Sorry, go ahead, Matt. No, you're fine. Um, so YouTube doesn't like, and, and as you can see, you you've seen, um, you know, the Matt Walsh's and the Ben Shapiro's and mm -hmm. and and the, um, you know, all the other different conservative channels where they they do have their opinions and they're very strong rooted in their Christian faith and and they say YouTube won't take you down for that. Um, there are platforms that will. Um, fortunately, YouTube is not. There are things that YouTube does not tolerate as far as questioning certain um, elections. And, and I'll just leave it there. Mr. Marauder, you and I have had a lot of different conversations about that. Oh, yeah. Um, but I've had an entire stream taken down uh, just because I was showing people how to get uh, information on what really happened in a certain election where a lot of people were questioning. They took it down right away, and they tell you straight out. And YouTube tells you straight to your face, you're not allowed to question the results of that election. Huh. Not on our platform. And so then my question to that is, if you don't have anything to hide, then why are you trying to hide it? Yeah, well... You know, but that's another. But, so, but anyways, so that's another. But that's another conversation for not this platform. Right, right. Uh, but so yeah, you can talk about a lot of things, and it's uh, YouTube is. They're not the best, um, but they will demonetize. Yeah, they like like Larry mm. Elder got oh, demonetized yeah. because they they won't take you down, but he's gotten demonetized for um, telling a lot of truths about certain politicians. Um, who may or may not align with with you know traditional moral values uh, he does get demonetized a lot for exposing a lot of different political figures that uh may or may not be in power today so there are a lot of different ways that youtube will if you don't care about monetization and it doesn't matter anyway um me I, i've gotten away from a lot of the political stuff just because i feel like it's a vortex and if i continue to get angry about political stuff and and shakeups and stuff like that i'm focusing less on god so you know what maverick I'm, I'm glad you say that because i was like i was actually kind of thinking the same thing you know like i started watching some of your videos and i was kind of feeling the same way mm -hmm. and i was like i was i was i didn't know how to bring it up but like you know i'm, I'm very glad that you brought it you, you know you mentioned i mean god brought you to that conclusion you know well my wife had been telling me for a long time too i was just you know what it was is that after a certain event two years ago um i was so outraged at the way that things can play out and the way that certain people can get away with certain things and it just be like right in your face i, get I think it. that the outrage played a lot of mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? Because I, before that, I knew almost nothing about politics, and I mean almost nothing. Right, right. I learned everything that I learned in the last two years by by digging and looking and researching and reading and 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 just knowing who's really telling the truth and and it mm -hmm. infuriating me that people can get away with something so blatant. But then, as time goes on, man, I just don't feel like. I didn't feel like that was a sustainable lifestyle for me because I wasn't concentrating on it's, Christ as much as possible. It's you feeding know? the machine. Correct. You know, and, and there's there's so many ways to do it. So many, and like even even myself, like you know, I know I do it because like you know the whole anti-feminist. You know, I think about MG Toa. Like you, you know what MG Toa is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I like think about that kind of stuff, the red pill kind of stuff, and I'm like, every once in a while I have to stop myself, and I'm like, man, you're just you're feeding into that machine, you know? Yep. And yep. that's exactly what you're doing. And, 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 and at the end of the day, um, it kind of becomes an idol, which in the commandments is very clear that you are not to do because you're you're basically telling God this is more important. With this, this the yeah. political landscape is more important than my relationship with you. And and not it's not like I stopped serving in the church or anything, but it even uh, dude, I mean, I even stopped reading the Bible as much and I stopped get you know, reading it to my kids as much because I was I was always so consumed with this garbage, you know. Mm -hmm. And I so one day I was gonna like, dude, who cares, man? You want to destroy the country? Just destroy the damn country. It's written in the Bible anyway. Who cares, man? Just do what you're gonna do. Right. You know, and, and that was it. And 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 I just I moved on. We're like, Good. I'll still see channels here and there reporting on certain news stories. I and I might listen to it in the background, but here's the thing too. Like I I do enjoy a lot of your stuff that goes that way. Yeah. So you know, it's not like I don't I don't think you should stop. It's just like you know, getting you you get pretty passionate about it. Well, you know, and I. My my thing is that I I do speak of it, but I don't I don't allow myself to create any content speaking of anything that may be even remotely inherently political, mm -hmm. um, unless I find a way to tie scripture into it. So okay, if you if okay. you look at the videos now, you'll notice that I throw a passage in there because I want people to see how in the Word of God why this is right or why this is wrong, according to scripture X Y and Z whatever right, um, because. Politics does you no good unless for me something political is important if if it can affect you morally, right? And that's the biggest problem with, with a lot of the political stuff going on now is that so much of this stuff, so much of the laws are just so immoral according to God. But you know, that's when your government like I said earlier, when your government turns its back to God, then you're gonna continue to do what you do. And 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 a lot of these politicians, especially the ones in power now, they're more concerned with keeping power mm -hmm. and they're less concerned with people and their well-being you see what right. i'm saying yeah yeah so but you know the only thing that the, the only thing that bothers me about a lot of the politicians now is just how anti-god they are um and so yeah i do get passionate about it because um to be honest with you i didn't care as much before when i didn't have kids but now that my kids are in danger of constantly always being around somebody who doesn't have their their well-being at heart or somebody mm -hmm. who wants to pull them away from god that irritates me because yeah. I, because I don't I don't have no hair on my tongue, and and when I put my kids back into regular school from homeschool, you know they were they were receiving a Christian education with the homeschool program, and then you know we sent them back because this, you know situation played out a certain way, and I told the administration straight out I said listen man, if any of my kids come home telling me any anything remotely even feminist or LGBT anything I'm telling you right now bro, I'm gonna have this place tied up in so much litigation you're not gonna be able to afford to drive to work. I told him straight yeah, out. you know, and, th and that's kind of one of the things Blizz and I actually talk about this because he kind of hit the same point that I did where it's like we know as men and then especially me as a man of God, like, you know, I know my purpose here is to have a child and leave a legacy Correct. and like raise a child into being someone that can better our society. Correct. You know, so like that's the same. That's the, the reason why these are all hitting me, too, especially when I like, you know, I saw, showed you that that gay bc uh yeah. video yeah. yep did you hear about that one blizz no so like it was a video of some dude talking about his kid was sent to school and they gave him or they had like a book in the library called the gay bcs and it was the abcs but it was like a is for ally b is for bisexual c is for whatever the hell you know and it was like they, they were tying the abc was it yeah they, yeah, they I, was, I was just saying, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> why, would you, why would you want to put that on kids? That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And like, you know, this is like, this is learning alphabet age. Like, we're talking like three years old. And the thing of it is, Blizz, is that that's that's the fact. I, I'm so glad you're here because 
you're kind of you're you're like a neutral in the middle person who you're not really you're not aware of a lot of what we're saying but the fact that you're not aware right. is actually going to my point because you're a normal person you you travel in normal circles whatever right and that's the thing is that i'm sure that whenever you get news or whatever it's you know probably from whatever you might catch here and there or whatever you might hear but that's the biggest problem is that you don't know about that you know why because mainstream media and big tech are sitting there lying and saying that conservatives christians you know muslims whatever are banning books in school that's 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 what they're saying they're banning books in school right but they're not telling you what the books are well yeah the book is the gay bcs the book is the lgbtq stuff but they're not saying that they're not saying it to the general public because they know that's going to cause outrage what the books are that are not allowed in the schools to indoctrinate our children so it's really good that you're here to show the world that most people are not aware of the fact that this is going on in schools and the, and the media will always run interference for democrats and the progressives and all this other stuff because that's what they want they want people to be generally unaware of it and 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 what what's even worse is that in the last few years ever since biden got his way into office and this stuff has become like a wild spread like a wildfire you have parents coming from all over the country going to school board meetings fighting and 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 you had fbi agents literally looking into parents for going to school board meetings and saying no i don't want my child learning that you literally had the federal government putting people on lists because they said my child will not be learning lgbtq ideology yes. oh oh yeah and re re real quick this is uh because the pie mentioned something more tinfoil head and this is that that's like blizz's more area expertise blizz is more like the conspiracy theory, theory type guy he's the one that i go to for that kind of stuff <laughs> uh have you have you heard of the trans floyd sort of plot no but shit i'm it sounds very interesting what's up yeah so the pie says you guys are aware of the trans floyd plot it's um, kind of tinfoil hat but sort of makes sense i have no idea i'm gonna look it up right now let's see what he's talking yeah about. bender says i'm back got a beer boom boom ipa from bronx oh, brewery hell yeah welcome back bender we're good we're getting deeper we're not even playing trans games floyd. anymore <laughs> okay, uh, so the trans floyd effect Uh, it looks okay, it's not a guitar. Wait, what is it? It was called... It's basically George Floyd, but a trans person, so they have more outrage. Oh, I see what he's going Oh, yeah, okay, so, like, something happens to a trans person, and they... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that effect... I see what you're saying. So then, like, something happens to a trans person, and, like, they, they treat it kind of like the George Floyd thing, where and it was know? all way overblown because of, like who they are as opposed to like what the situation was well and and that's another thing too is that i i kind of know what he's talking about because mm -hmm. i i met walsh was actually talking about that not too long ago which was hilarious because the reason people hate the daily wire so much is because they actually tell so many truths but when they tell the truth they actually have data and video and evidence to always prove everything they're talking about right and, and, and people don't want you seeing that stuff right and he was saying that he was talking about how people say that supposedly so many trans people are are um that people take their lives every year or whatever and then he shows these statistics stating that not only is that a complete lie but it was like less than one percent of one percent of people in the trans community actually lose their lives for that like are in, are the ones who are actually being whose lives are being taken every year i'm trying to be careful right. with my words because i don't want it to be flagged but it's it's not even it's not even half a percent of the trans community that's actually part of the people who are like in the numbers that are being problem. targeted yeah yeah right. And then when they are killed, it's not even because of that. It's because of something completely unrelated. Right. But they wanted to make they want to make it seem like it's like, oh, people found out I'm really a man. And then they took my life. That's right. That like they're in danger of some sort. And it's like, really, when it comes down to it, like no one gives a fuck about you. Like you do what you do. The, the only reason that we know is because you're throwing it in our face. Every day. Every they, fucking day. want to try to teach our kids that it's like, listen live and let live bro right. jesus christ himself that you're gonna do whatever you want and if you accept christ you do it out of your own free will but accepting christ means that you are gonna have to live an unrepentant lifestyle okay you're gonna i mean not unrepentant you're gonna have to live a repentant lifestyle you can't continue living forth in that sin you're gonna stumble you're gonna fall you're gonna sin but you cannot continue to live the way you lived before and say that you truly accepted jesus christ now okay. anybody who doesn't want to do that you don't have to do that nobody's here to convert anyone nobody's here to, 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 to violate anybody's free will but 
How in the living hell do you expect to be respected and have everybody respect you when you don't respect the morals of everyone else? Mm -hmm. How do you expect us to respect you and, 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 and say, hey, okay, well, you know what? If that's what they want to do, go ahead and live and let live and be pragmatic about it. But you feel like you have the cool. right to put it on Netflix and Hulu and commercials and TV and in our schools and everything. I mean, really? Live how you want to live, but stop trying to force the world to live how you want to live. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because if you're trying to force me to renounce God and renounce the salvation of Jesus Christ to tell you that a person that God created as a man can be a woman, it ain't gonna happen, Captain. Mm -mm. Tell you right now, it ain't gonna happen. Well, it's kind of like what you said at the at the very beginning is like, if you feel that it's so right, then why are you trying so hard to convince me that it's right? Exactly. Exactly. And, and, and you know, you know what's funny too is that like I can't even make an argument for this stuff. Like, not even in a religious sense. I was like, if you think about it, a lot of these sins are sins against humanity. Right. Because, you know, if, the, if you think about it, what, what are humans here for? We're here to reproduce. We're yep. here to build society. We're here to make the next generation better than we were before, right? Yep. But what are we doing now? We're, we're trying to praise and glorify gay, you know, homosexual marriages, which is not, you know, conductive of reproduction. Yep. Uh, men turning into women, not conducted reproduction. We're kicking men out of the homes, attacking masculinity. Right. So I was like, honestly, like even for anyone out there who doesn't believe in God, like you take away all that, like all of these are sins against humanity. Like they're just and, sins. And even even the concept in and of itself doesn't make sense, bro. Really, I mean, really think about it. If, if, if you are to leave God out of it, which I never, because I tell people all the time, if you want to debate with me, I'm not going to leave God out of it because no. God is the reason why we're here and he's the mm -hmm. reason why we get our morality. If you don't want to debate with me, that's fine, but I'm not leaving God out of it. So if that's what you want, you can, you can move on, right? But let's just say we did. Fair enough. The, the, the human body is not designed for same-sex intercourse. Nope. Not, right? Number one, the, the rear end, whether it's on a man or a woman, that opening not meant for it's not meant for the the male reproductive organ it's not yeah, it's called sodomy for a reason right it's not even even if, if you look at the tissues of that opening they're not designed for anything to go in it's designed only for one direction okay so why would the body be designed that way if it was if, if genetically we were designed to have either men or women it's not it's not designed that way it's there's not. a reason why there it causes so many issues when you start putting things up there that don't belong up there <laughs> now here's another thing <laughs> i i know i know it's a serious talk but it's it like I mean, it's really i mean really think about it it's funny but what's even more comical is the fact that we even have to say it yeah right and yeah here's, and here's and yeah here's the question here, and uh, this go, is, go, go ahead, Blizz. Blizz hasn't said anything in a while. Let's... No, I was just saying, I was trying to stifle my laughter because I, I was just, it's like when brilliant minds think alike and it's like the same thing said, I was like, yeah, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even make that up. I heard, I don't even remember where I heard that, you know? But then it even. And, and it, it even goes like deeper than that, though. It's like not not even that, like, you know, because I'll, I'll tell people all the time, I'm like, these are exits only, you know? Right. And like, it, but it. it it's even beyond that, but it's just like, you know, look at how we're built. Like, you know, it's men have reproductive parts, women have reproductive parts, and they work together. Right. Yep. Yeah. And, and here's the thing, man. These, this, this, none of this stuff, like, professionally, it is what it is. I've been seeing this since I was little, right? I have, I have the ability to professionally look at people if I'm at work, whatever. Hey, man, you live how you want to live. I love all my brothers and sisters oh. equally because I know that Christ died for for you as much as he died for me mm -hmm. so all i can do is pray that you come to christ one day i'm not going to put it on you here i'm not going to talk to you about it because i don't want you thinking that i'm talking to you in my official capacity so i'm not going to i will never mistreat anybody to, regardless of how they decide to compose themselves or who they decide to you know marry or whatever that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is that the, the fact that you're trying to take over society and, and brainwash children with it and, and make it like normalized right like because when once you start coming for the children they they say that you base how well a society is doing on how you treat their elderly and how you treat the children correct and like look at and like it wasn't all that long ago that we started just packing away our elderly which is actually something that we don't talk about a lot no we don't we we, we don't talk about our elders a whole lot you know and like that's why because like, what normalized 
Yeah. People have realized that old folks home are normal now. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's so normal. Oh, yeah. It's so normal that during the pandemic, Andrew Cuomo, who was then the governor, was able to lie about his death numbers because so many of them were old folks that nobody knew. Wow. Nobody knew. And, 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 and the fact that that's not that didn't hasn't caused outrage internationally to me is infuriating. Mm -hmm. Why? Because people lied to their loved ones about how they're doing or whatever. Oh, yeah, they passed away. And, and he's lying about it. He's lying about it. And, and, and that's yep. and, and it's all it's all bro. It's people when you want to engage in a life of sin. And again, disclaimer, guys, I know this is going to surprise everybody, but I'm a sinner. That yeah, we all are. Right. And the reason I say that is yep. because there, be, because Christians get this this bum rap about acting like they're self righteous. I'm not. I'm not self righteous. I, I just uh, do I ask my wife how much uh, how, how imperfect I am. Okay. I'm not. I am not speaking to you as a perfect individual. I am speaking to you as a child of Jesus Christ who understands that I can't get into heaven without His grace. Because when I get to the gates and 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 He asks me why i'm gonna why why should you be let in it's not gonna be because anything i did it's not because i serve at the church it's not because i make these little videos it's because i'm saved by his grace amen okay and and if you really think about it living an unrepentant lifestyle if if you say that jesus christ is your lord and savior but you continue to live an unrepentant lifestyle then you are not really saved and that's there's no oxymoron to it people can say all they want yes i'm saved but you're not saved you're not saved because you didn't actually do what Jesus Christ said, and that was to live a repentant lifestyle. You cannot just continue to live in your sin and say Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, because what you're saying is that you're going to continue to do whatever you want, and you're spitting on the sacrifice that he made for you. And living in your sin, you're basically saying, hey, you know what? This is more important than actually living the way Jesus Christ wants me to live. Okay. okay. Can, can I? I'm, I'm going to say something real quick. So, you know, you know how I told I, I told both of you guys how like, you know, Jesus showed himself to me, right? Yes. And and like Right. I've still been fighting with it in my head, like, you know, I'm like I feel like I'm crazy, I feel like I made it up and stuff like that. Um But what what I've come to realize is like why Jesus is so important. Mm -hmm. And it's because we can't understand who God is. Like there's just no way, you know. Like when I felt what I felt when Jesus showed himself and let me let me touch him and stuff like that, I felt so overwhelmed. I was like, if I had any more, I would have died. And I, I understand what they mean in the Bible when it says, if you were to look in the face of God, you would die. You know, you would perish. Yeah, you would die instantly. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, so th this is why Jesus is so important. And it's like, we're supposed to be trying to emulate how he lived mm -hmm. as much as possible. Now, it's not possible because he was perfect. I mean, he's God, you know. No, it's possible. It's possible really? to do it as much as you possibly can. Okay. It's not possible to do it the way that he did it. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's only possible for you to try as hard as you possibly can. And that's all he's asking for, mm -hmm. is for you to turn away from things that you know and to try your best. Right. Not, to, not you're not going to succeed every time. The Bible's clear about that. Jesus is clear about that. Mm hmm You know? And, like, I, I think a lot of us know more intrinsically what that is. Because, like, even, like, you know, guys that, that watch the stream, like Bender and, like, Isaac, um, Blizz, you know, they're, they're not necessarily, they don't consider themselves religious. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I, I would consider themselves, like, you know, good men, as, as far as good as men could be. You know what I mean? Right. And, like, they, they do agree oh, with I, a lot I, of the... Go, go ahead. Oh, go. Sorry to cut you off there. I, I'd say I'm very spiritual. Like, it's not that I don't believe, it's just... I like to the extent that I guess of worship and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I guess that's just where I'm kind of lost in it. It's not that I don't believe. I believe in God, and I believe a lot of the stuff that um, religion is taught me really is just that. It, you, you. I guess I'm still trying to be convinced that it's something that I should be worshiping. I right. guess is the my and, thing. And and here's the thing, like first of all, like you, you shouldn't have to be convinced. You know what I mean? Like it's something that you should come to naturally. Right. And like like secondly, right. like I, I understand what you mean because I, I was right there with you not that long ago. And like Blizz Blizz is a little younger than I like how old are you, Blizz? Like you you're not quite thirty yet, right? No, I'm thirty. You're thirty I'm, yet. Right at thirty. Yeah, so he's a little younger than I am, you know, and it's like you, you kind of got to come to it on your own terms. You, you know what right. I mean? So, like, I, I understand what you're saying. 
yeah yeah you know i mean i i just i just really started my relationship um with god really like two two and a half years ago please maybe three um well three now yeah three now but yeah dude it's not and the thing about it is you 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 have to gather the information you you have to be willing to listen i would recommend you know trying to read a bible if you're if you feel you're up to it um if you're really interested in in figuring out if you really want to go the whole way the only thing i do say to people like you um who are struggling to figure out what's going on is and one thing that i'm glad that i didn't learn the hard way for sure for sure is tomorrow's not promised to anybody nobody okay and no matter how old you are regardless of the fact that you just turned 30 i mean i've seen i've seen people pass away long 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 before that whether it be Mm -hmm. an accident naturally babies right um and you are well past the age of ascension so which means that you know better now right um you would never want to stand before christ and try to explain why you I, I'm trying not to sound pushy, so if if I if I slow down, it's, that's the reason why. But I would never want you to stand before Christ trying to explain why you weren't ready to accept his free gift of salvation because, spoiler alert, no answer is going to be good enough. Right? And, and right. that's that's the sad part about it is that no matter where you are in life, um, I, I like I said, I was only about 35 it was like around the time yeah so i was like around 35 and when i when i really decided that i really wanted to accept christ and start a real relationship and start reading my bible and start serving in the church because i was serious about my relationship with god all these things that you do in your life are only meant to indicate and show god that you are serious about showing him that you're serious about your relationship with him right but again it's not something you need to be pushed into um, you have to use your own free will to do it. And that's why I don't, that's why I'm not, I'm not big on the, Hey man, you're going to go to hell. No, bro. No, because uh, at the end of the day, you're big enough. You're old enough. And, and re- realistically, e- even us, like, you know, that do believe like, we're just one wrong step away from going to hell ourselves. You know what I mean? Right. Like, exactly. So yeah, that's not, yeah. you know, that's not, I'm not. And, and even still, even still, I ca- I couldn't say that to you, even if I truly believed it, because I'm nowhere near righteous enough to to judge any other human being um, because every single human being uh, is washed by the blood of Christ. But if you don't accept it, that's 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 a difference is that God, Jesus was very clear that there was only one way to God, the father, and that was through him. Mm-hmm. Um, and he said, I am the truth, the way and the life. So but your parents, your parents, I'm sure they, they, they've spoken to you and they've told you that. I mean, I'm sure that you've heard it, but that's just something to mull over, bro. Like. Don't ever think, like I said, don't ever think that you have to come to Christ. Because if you come to Christ under those pretenses, you're not really saved anyway because you're just doing it because somebody told you to. You know what, man? Uh, well, real quick, ben, Bender uh, says, uh, thanks, man. That means a lot. You know what, man? I, I only speak the truth. I only, I, I'm only i as honest as I can be. And like I said, honestly, it meant a lot what you said the other day when I told you that story and how you told me that it was a good thing and that I need to follow it. Even, even though that you're not, you know, into the faith yourself, like that meant... I mean, that man leaps and bounds more than anyone else because, like, you know, someone, obviously someone who believes is going to say, yeah, you know, follow it, but someone who doesn't mm-hmm. and is still like, hey, you go for it. That just shows that you guys are open-minded and, like, you know, you're, you're good people. You know what I'm saying? And, or, and, and and not only that, but God God uses people in your life mm-hmm. and as, as instruments, even if Bender doesn't know it because that Bender may not be overly, he may not be, you know, open to the faith right now, but that doesn't mean that he, he never will be. It doesn't mean, you I, know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean anything. It's I, I mean, again, remember... Two and a half years ago, this is the last thing I would have ever been talking about. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have been talking about anything. Two years ago, I was arrogant enough to believe that I was able to get into heaven <laughs> because I was a good person. No, no, I'm a good person. Yeah, man. Right, and for you, know, you, it was it was two and a half years ago. For me, this just happened last week. You know. Right. So and that's I, you know that, and I didn't have the experience you had. I just felt it out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. You know. And let, so, let me say, I'm I'm I feel I'm very fortunate. Uh, honestly, like just before that, I had watched the podcast thing about, you know, Logan Paul and he was talking to that, that Christian dude that you were talking about. Yeah. Um, and Logan, he asked Logan Paul, he was like, what would it take for you to believe in Jesus Christ and in God and all that? And he's like, well, he would have to like show himself to me. And like most people say, like I said, when I was, you know, using my logical brain and the dude said, be, be very careful what you wish for. Cause he's like, you could like walk in the street and get hit by a car and that's how you meet him. You know, the thing about the thing about people like Logan Paul, um, when you 
when you say something like that, you are illustrating to the world that you're so incredibly arrogant. You're somebody who's so incredibly limited, but yet you feel that the man who literally created the entire universe, a universe which we could not even comprehend its size, a universe which we will never fully explore, a universe that will always remain mostly theoretical to us, has an obligation to show himself to you, a little punk ass YouTube <laughs> podcaster, right? Even though all the proof is right there in front of your face, all you got to do is research it. How long did it take me to show you three or four videos explaining why the Bible was incorruptible? Yeah. It's not like it's not there, but Logan Paul is too busy defending homosexuality, right? And that was his biggest staple for hating Christians that it's a staple. That, so, and, and which is an oxymoron because you're defending something that it to me and 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 i've, I've had this conversation with my wife it, it's always to me it's so i i just don't understand right you have people who say i'm homosexual and i was born this way so god has to accept it number one god doesn't have to accept anything number two homosexuality has been known to be a sin since the old testament number three look at if you ever really i don't know if any of you have ever, ever analyzed this right you look at a homosexual couple right let's mm -hmm. say there are two men or two women you have one that's masculine Hello, and the seven. other one that's more feminine Welcome to the stream you said one that's more masculine one that's more feminine and the right other one's more feminine you always right. have the one man who acts more and acts uh, tries to act more like they're a female and the same thing with 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 two females when one's a lesbian when they're lesbians yeah you got one that has a a, a faded military haircut wa walking around and dig tees and big baggy ass jeans uh -huh. and gym shoes with tattoos and so then my question is if you're a lesbian and you like women and you want women to be attracted to you how are you attracting women by looking like a man you don't like men yeah why are you trying to look like one x22 catch 22 right i don't understand yeah, I, I'm I'm the same way, bro. I'm like I don't, I don't get it, you know. But like I've I've never had, and it's funny because like I tell people I don't have, I don't have a gay bone in my body, right? Like, even I'm I'm comfortable enough with myself to say if someone's a good looking dude, right? Like I mean we we come to the, the obvious Chris Chris Hemsworth, right? Like right. no one can argue the fact that Chris Hemsworth is a good looking dude. I mean he's got the genetics, he put he's got the discipline to have his body look like that, you know what I'm saying? Right. But for me. That's like, I would like to look like Chris Hemsworth. You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't mean I want to fuck him. <laughs> right. So, like, yeah, but, like, yeah. but when I say that, like, you know, I, I don't have a gay bone in my body, that nothing about a man attracts me. Like, you know, like, it's, it's always these people from the alphabet mafia that attack me. And they're like, oh, no, you're just a non-share. You're just like this and this and that. And I'm like, why can't y'all just accept the fact that, like, there, there are, like, people who 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 like the order of the world who are the, you know things the way they're supposed to be you know because they because they need here's the thing this is what it comes down to man when people know they're doing something wrong they need to const they need constant absolution from everybody else so that yeah. they can at least try to ease some of that guilt they need to be told that it's okay so that they can feel why do you think it outraged me so much that 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 Biden is is having trans activists at the White House? Oh my because God! He's trying to illustrate virtue to the world signal that, yeah. that yes that this is the best thing in the world. This is this is great. This is so amazing, right? It's it's just, it is by far the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. First yeah. Well, Biden doesn't even know where he's at right now. Okay, let's just let's just start there. He has no idea what, why he's doing. I, he's doing I mean, I, honestly, like I know, I know you like hate him. Like you talk a lot of man. I feel so bad for that man. I do too. No, without a doubt. I really I do, do too. too unfortunately. Like I, he. I, I, feel bad. I feel bad for the way he's being used. Absolutely. Make no mistake. Even even at, at, yeah. at a point when he was, even when he, when you have your coherent moments, mm -hmm. it's not like you don't have, it's not like you don't have the the, the fortitude to look around and say, hey, hey, no, 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 I don't agree with that. You right. See what I'm saying. So he he does have his moments where he's lucid enough to understand what he's doing, and that's the portion that I don't feel sorry for. Right. No, and, even and, when you know what you're doing, you still keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a little. I mean, I I I agree with that. You know, I mean, evil is evil, regardless. Right. And like, people who get into those positions sold their soul. Right. You know, yeah, like you. That's all they've done. You you have to like you ha you absolutely have to sell a portion of yourself to be able to get into that position where you have that that amount of power and control. You know what I'm saying? 
Yep. Um, but like, yeah, he's, I mean, he's clearly being manipulated and stuff. Like, and I'm like, he needs to be retired somewhere, like on a lake, you know, fishing for like largemouth bass or something like that. Yeah. And like, maybe even more than that, because like, you can even tell, like, his just his mental faculties are gone. Oh, no, they're and, and they, they're doing what they're doing for a reason. Make mm-hmm. no mistake. They, they picked who they picked for a reason, bro. Oh, I know. There, there's no doubt about it, you know. Um, but, you know, but getting away from the political stuff, it's just, it's, it's, it's really sad, man, because. What what we're doing right here is it's it's the only thing we can do. It's, That's it's all we can. Yeah. That, yeah. They. Well, we're not going to change the the grand scheme of things politically because the machine is built the way it's built for a reason. The 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 devil owns this world because God allowed it. So it's not like we're gonna we can change scripture and say, well, yeah, I know God allowed it, but I'm gonna change this. No. If it's no, if but, it's changing this way, it's because God knew it was gonna change this way and He allowed it. But he, doesn't mean here's the thing. To stop doing what we're doing. Right, and, and here's the thing, and like, kind of looking at it from the, the reverse perspective, like, thank God we can do this. Right, exactly. You know, because like, I mean, not even, man, bro, when we were like, most of the people who are watching us right now, when we were their age, we couldn't do this. No. no. We wouldn't be able to talk to our friends and like, you know, have a, a game in the background getting ready to play for the last hour and a half and talking about right. this religious thing, you know, like, we, we couldn't like have this kind of audience on YouTube. So I was like, thank God we do have this. Right. But like we we do need to keep it up and keep talking about it, and that's and that's and that's all and that's really all you can do, man. Because mm-hmm. I, at the end of the day, I don't care about glory for myself. I don't care if nobody ever knows my name ever. But if I can, if only one person can within the within reach of my voice hears what I'm saying, and it turns them to Jesus Christ, well then that that, that was all worth it. Right. I I, I don't I don't care if all eight thousand three hundred something people on my channel never hear this but if one person does on any platform even on your street mm-hmm. whatever the case may be i don't care i don't care because at the end of the day if i die tomorrow my i'm not taking my youtube channel with me no nope. right so i don't give a damn i don't care my glory uh, my glory that i that i attain is all for god that's all that that's all i want to do and 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 blizz for if for anybody else you know like i said if if you were thinking about it before and you're more interested please reach out let us know if you know if there's any other questions you have and and you are interested one day in potentially starting a relationship with jesus christ please reach out because believe me when i tell you that no matter when you decide to so long as you're still breathing if you reach out to him he's going to accept you regardless of what you've ever done that is the miracle of the salvation of jesus christ that is that is the love of god that no matter what he is still going to accept you. amen Real quick, the bias says, yeah, not, tr- oh, oh, go ahead, Blues. Oh, no, I was just uh, agreeing with him. Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Amen. Not the trying Pisces- to hit any religion or political stance, but when it goes silent, it's effectively dead. We make movies about Hercules, etc., but no one in quantity that has faith anymore. Absolutely. Yeah, that's such a, you know what? That is so absolutely profound, man. That is so. Yeah, that, that's a good one. And, and honestly, like the last one that we had, <laughs> the passion of the christ yeah i, I think I, I honestly feel like that was such a garbage like that was such a like in in, in, a, in a in a way it was kind of a bitch move yeah you know because it really played on like the the physical aspect you know really played on people's emotions like that way as opposed to like actually talking about like jesus's life and stuff like that and how he lived well there was it, well, well you know what i think he wanted to come at it from a different angle because uh, there, there's been lots of movies about Jesus Christ. I mean, especially you know from before Passion of the Christ. Mm-hmm. Um, there's been a lot of movies explaining, um, you know what I, I I think that what Mel Gibson was trying to do was illustrate the physical portion of it, because if you really think about it, it's been shown before, but the the crucifixion was brutal. It was. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's not just like what people think, where he yeah, oh my God, I mean that's terrible now, mm-hmm. but the the flogging. I mean, the, a lot of people don't even understand how Jesus Christ was tortured. I mean, they 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 starved him. They didn't give him water, right? He was dehydrated. Um, they they made him carry the cross. The cross. There was only one person who was allowed to help him, and that was only when they knew that Jesus couldn't carry anymore. The cross weighed about three hundred pounds, and he had to drag that thing oh, yeah. for miles. They flogged him with whips, with with split ends, with 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 little with hide at the end of the tips. To the point where where his intestines were almost exposed they put a, a crown of thorn so 
the reason why I'm saying all this is because very rarely did you ever see any illustration where they actually showed that, and I think Mel Gibson was making an attempt to actually do as best he could without losing his, his endorsements and stuff, because even he couldn't show everything in that movie that really happened to him. Yeah, f fair Mel enough. Gibson the was the, the only reason... Um, go ahead. I don't mean to interrupt no, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm done. The, I'm done. The, the only reason why I say that is because I feel like it, it really brought a lot of people to Christianity for the wrong reasons. If that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like like appealing yeah. to the emotions as opposed to the it, act itself? Exactly. Yeah. You know, well, it brought a lot. Of, and it, it kind of like, you know, goes on to the whole, like, you know, church. Like, I, I've been to a few churches lately, right? And I've been, like, looking for one that I really want to, like, get, like, really get involved in. Yeah. But kind of like my father said, it's like these churches are so full of wolves and sheep clothing. And I don't know if it's like, I don't, I don't want to sound like, you know, like super religious or anything. But kind of like you said, you know, Jesus showed himself to me like I'm a chosen one. It's almost like I can, I can feel these fake people in there, you know. Right. Well, and, see, here's the thing. The, the Bible does and not to cut you off. But mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so the Bible actually does talk about that. People doing the right thing for the wrong reasons. Uh huh. And eat, let, let's just say, let's let, let's say we can, let's say we at some point are able to devise a way to ascertain that Mel Gibson had um, uh, impure motivations, we can call them, mm -hmm. even, even if that were the case. But people came to Christianity as a result of seeing the act of Jesus Christ. Now, if they came to Christianity and they found a good church and they started reading their scripture and their relationship with Jesus Christ actually materialized in a way, that was real the same way that yours did right right even though even though that even though that was the manifestation uh was conceived through emotion does it really matter so what, what you're saying is that like it doesn't matter how you get that's exactly how right. you get there it's just how the fact that you get there correct okay because biblically and and this is why guys it is so important to read your scripture because the bible literally predicted it all including people who may have had those types of motivation and if i bring you to christ even if i'm trying to be a dog about it but you end up with let's say let's say i had some sort of financial motivation right mm -hmm. by making a movie and and i did it with all this emotion and people became christian but if those people became true christians and found good churches and learned more about christ <laughs> and ended up developing a relationship with christ does it really matter that Mel Gibson's motivations were were ill? Because at the end of the day, is it those people who establish a real relationship with Christ that are going to suffer for eternity? Or is it going to be the person who had the ill motivation? Bro, I've, I've just been seriously humbled on my own stream. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that wasn't the intent. I mean, no, I mean, but I, it needs to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like... I mean, it, it, it was it was seriously home because that makes sense, you know. Like, I guess it, it doesn't matter how someone gets to to cry as long as they get there. Right. It's not about the destination; it's about the journey, you know. Right. It's like if if you're walking into the street, and I see that a car is about to just blaze into you, right? Uh -huh. And I push you out of the way. I did it because I wanted to save your life, right? And I and I saw it and I did it. Okay. And now you're okay. You're not gonna get hit by the car. Now, same situation, except that. I didn't notice anything. I just tripped and fell. And as I fell, I knocked you out of the way. And, and I fell the other way. And neither one of us got hit by the car. Now, I didn't intend for you to have your life saved. But at the end of the day, your life was I still saved. I saved your life. Yeah. Okay. I mean, damn. All right. That, that's heavy. That got me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I retract what I say. And this is and this is why, Gabriel, I tell you, I, I, t I, t I try to tell everybody, read your scripture. Because the moment you started saying it. Mm. I, I it, that scripture popped into my head and and I knew and 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 the Bible does talk about that about people doing the right thing for the wrong reasons but it doesn't matter at the end of the day if you get if you get to the destination you're supposed to that's all that matters right right, right. there's absolutely people who became Christian because of the passion of the Christ mm -hmm. but Mel Gibson's motivations have absolutely no way no bearing impeding right your relationship with Christ okay that's that's what it comes down to you know what that I mean fair enough. You know, let, let me capture, uh, catch up on chat real quick. The Pi says yep. something interesting. Uh, so he said, yeah, not trying to be religious or political, but what goes with silence is effectively dead. We make movies about Hercules, but no one has faith anymore. And then Abba says, the Pi is what you said is scriptures. Then the yeah. Pi said, thanks, Abba, but I was trying to point out 
we do need to keep talking about these things. It's too easy to forget things when we don't talk about it. But it's also easy to push too far and earn scorn. Right. And then Seven replies with, It's written in Amos 8.11, Behold the days come, saith the Lord God, and that I will send a famine in the lands, not a famine of bread or thirst or water, but of hearing of the words of the... Oh shit, that's deep. Mm -hmm. A famine of the hearing of the Lord, word of the Lord's. Damn. Okay. So, and, and in the book of Amos, what Abba is 100% properly quoting in the context of this conversation is exactly that, is a nation who God is going to completely remove him. That, and that's why my pastor actually was talking about that the other day, which is, once again, God talks to you all the time, mm -hmm. but you got to be willing to listen, right? Because my pastor just said it the other day, and now uh, Abba, Abba is saying it um that if there's going to be a famine of the word of god right you leaving? i'm getting off in a few because i gotta get a quick show okay <laughs> real okay, quick bender says i like hanging out with you smart people but <laughs> 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 well, we like hanging out with you too bender yeah for sure all of us mensa members over here you, you and me both bender i'm learning <laughs> something new today too but at the end of the day especially with the way our country is going is it's so true that God is and 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 make no mistake we haven't that's why the pastors say we've not approached we we are at the very beginning of the beginning of the beginning of the book of revelation because mm -hmm. the US and Canada and the western world that have adopted so much of this nonsense um and especially even into their law which is crazy um you you still have the ability to spread the word of God right now, when you get to the time where you're not allowed to and they need you to take that mark so that you can do even the most basic things that's when that's when you know the famine has arrived when when you are when you are forced in any way possible to renounce God in order to be able to do even the simplest things like buy food, mm -hmm. that's when you know the time has arrived. Yep. And 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 we're not that far away. You already have people who shipping companies who are trying to figure out how to do everything. You, they want to do away with the dollar because they don't want you to be able to buy anything unless it's digital. It, it, this stuff is great. It, I, I challenge everybody here to read the book of Revelations and you tell me how far you make it without it already seeing in that book something that's happening right now. Yeah, you're not gonna make it very far. I'll tell you right now, <laughs> you're not gonna make it far. You, you know what? What's funny is that like, cause you know I, I talked about. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna talk because I didn't tell Blizz what what I saw or the pie. Um, and I, I'm gonna give a, a, a quick rundown. But like basically the the last couple of weeks I've been hit. I had a real deep depression, and I had actually been questioning my faith and questioning the fact that if I was a, a Christian or not because I didn't believe in Jesus. You know, and I'm like. If I don't believe in Jesus, I don't believe in the, you know, in Christ. I'm not a Christian. Um, and a few days ago, like Jesus actually showed Himself to me in a vision. You know, I, I talked to Him, I touched His hand, I, I felt His presence. And uh, the the one question that I asked Him was, "What should I be doing?" And the only thing that He can give me was that I I know I already know that answer, which. To me, what that tells me is that, like, first of all, we, we all know what we need to be doing. We all know what's wrong and what's right. You know, there, there's that little thing inside of us. Uh, but he also wants me to start telling people that, like, he's he's coming soon. Yeah, it, it's happening. And like, I can see it in the world. And like, I, I haven't read Revelations, but I can imagine if, if Revelations is probably what's happening right now. You, you know, yeah. with with the whole people getting delusional, people trying to live their own realities and shit like that. Oh yeah. And absolutely. like if, if there was one message that he wants me to send is that he's he's coming soon, so you better get your fares in order. Well, I, I can tell you one thing right now, man, that you 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 gotta hey, I mean you just gotta know. You you, you gotta know what you're doing is right. Right. You know? And that, and that, and that's the thing is that I'm I'm glad that he spoke to you in a way. I he's never spoke to me that way. Mm -hmm. He spoke to me in other ways. Um just by just by epiphanies yeah and, and and i'll tell you straight up like i i legitimately saw him and it, it wasn't like you know my mind keeps trying to like pass it off as an illusion an illusion or like a mind trick but it wasn't i i felt him i saw him and i was one of those that was fortunate enough to see him without having to like get hit by a car you know right 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 right, right. well you know that's yeah. the thing man is like you said you got to be he he would only reveal himself to you if you if because he knows that you're willing to listen and you're willing to actually take it for what it is mm -hmm. right and that's the thing and, and you said it yourself it's, it's everything is that everybody's you know delusional now and it's and and that's the thing man is that it's like this whole thing with this subjective truth like oh my truth 
No, there's not your truth. There's only truth. There's, there's the truth. Truth. There's the truth. That's it. There is yeah. not your mm -hmm. truth about what you think you are and then this truth. No. I, because I, everybody wants to live in these fragmented realities where you have to approach certain people a certain way, other people a certain way. No, that's not going to happen. But it's all a distractionary measure. It is. It's all a way to make sure that you don't come to what you really should be realizing. And that's that Jesus Christ is the Lord and the Savior, man. Amen. And that's really what it comes down to, man. Guys, I got to get out of here because I got to shower. There's some stuff going on. Um, great conversation. Okay, I can okay. to end the live, though. Okay, can I ask um, you one more thing before you head out? Yeah, of course. Okay, so, like, one question that I've been wondering. So, like, to those people who, who happen to be, like, you know, homosexuals or, like, even, like, you know, down to, like, you know, people who feel like they have to break up their marriage, you know, break up the sanctity of God and stuff like that because they feel like that's what they have to do. Mm -hmm. What would you say to those people? A homosexual? Uh, just, just in general, just people who are like, I live the way that I live and God should accept me, you know what I'm saying? Or like, God made me the way that I am. And like, this is this is what I need to be doing, you know what I'm saying? So like, people who are like, like I said, live these alternate lifestyles or like, people who are like, like you know, for example, I've talked to like ladies who ended their marriage because they're like, oh, I'm not happy. And like, I think that's what God would want me to do is to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that... It, you know every 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 conversation is situationally dependent of course um so you have to i i would be very careful about what i'm saying i i, I would try to know as much about the situation as i possibly can before i start to speak to anyone mm -hmm. um you know when i speak to people the first thing that i make known to everybody and i did a video about this is you have to make it known to them that even though you are a christian and you're a follower of christ and you want to speak to them regarding that you are just as much of a sinner Oh, yeah. Because you don't want anyone to feel like anything that you're saying and is a is is in a judgmental manner, right? You don't want people to feel scrutinized. Um, you want to be able to relate to people. You want to be able for people to understand that they're going through things that millions of other people are going through, and and that you've gone through similar things. If that may be the case, right? Mm. Um, if it if it be a woman, the Bible does make it clear that a woman is not to be abused. A woman does have the right biblically to divorce her husband um if there is infidelity or if there's abuse right now god frowns upon that now it doesn't have to be only physical abuse it can be any kind of abuse right spiritual or mental you don't have to be abused the bible does not allow for a man to abuse a woman or a woman to abuse a man no matter what number one so if that's the case and she felt that god spoke to her and that she wanted to be happy and she didn't want to be abused then she's absolutely 100 percent biblically within her rights to do so and so will a man now, as far as homosexuals, you have to understand that if a homosexual individual were to ask you that, you would have to explain to them again the very same thing, that you are not better than them. Because you have to humanize the Christian faith. And that it is about love, even though the world wants you to believe that it's about hate. Mm -hmm. Because if I didn't love you and I didn't want you to spend eternity with God, I wouldn't be spreading the word to you. I would let you just keep doing what you're doing. Fair enough. Okay, so the thing about marriage, number one, is that it's a sacred institution between a man and a woman. There is no such thing as a, as a same-sex marriage because the Bible does not recognize it. So even though the world decided that there is respect for marriage, marriage is between a man and a woman. Two men living together and having a piece of paper saying they're married in the law may be recognized by the government, but it'll never be recognized by God. Mm -hmm. That so makes sense. When you, yeah. So when you say... And now that that's when the conversation starts becoming more, you know, harder because you are explaining to this person who's struggling with homosexual tendencies that they are struggling with a sin that is a sin. But then you expose yourself for, you know, but, but I struggle with this. It doesn't make you worse than me. It doesn't make me worse than you. I struggle with, like, for example, drug addiction or alcoholism. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make it any worse than what you're struggling with because everybody struggles with different types of sin. Okay. But at the end of the day, homosexuality is a sin that you can turn away from just like people do with drug abuse, just like they do with theft, with anything. Infidelity. So so you right? feel like people who have those urges to just ba basically fight those urges, kind of like... I mean, there, there's a... Yeah, you have to fight the urge because it's not to say that you're not... A, a, as a person, uh, what did I say earlier? That we are born into a fallen world, Right. right. So you are inevitably going to struggle with sin. Oh, of course. It, we, we all do. It, right. It's going to vary from person to person. You may struggle with just with, with lust for women that are not your wife. You personally, let's just say, 
but that doesn't make it any worse than a person who's struggling for lust for the same sex at the end of the okay. day yeah any any sexual contact outside of marriage is a sin any and all and by marriage i mean the marriage between a man and a woman the bible is very clear about this okay so, yeah that's that's the thing is that but especially with in a world where where people who struggle with homosexuality are told that this is the greatest and the most heroic thing that you can do you're fighting against that right but the best thing to do is to humanize yourself and the word and say hey listen i'm not i'm no better than you i'm, I'm struggling just like you are yeah but when you but when you trust in god and you trust in prayer right and you trust in the holy spirit and you develop a real relationship with god and i'm not talking about those little stupid things that people like to say like pray the gay away or any of this other crap <laughs> right it's right, about right pray the gay away it's about the fact that if you trust the holy spirit he will help you to fight your sin period you will struggle you will stumble you will fall but at the end of the day does the holy spirit recognize the effort in your heart that's what it's about. amen so having said that gentlemen it has been amazing we are at four hours of the best conversation probably i've ever had in my life but i need to go take a shower um before my mother-in-law locks up the door because our hot our my my uh um the hot water heater went out so we i have to take a shower downstairs before she locks the door for the night so i gotta get out of here otherwise i would stay longer um until i get my hot water heater fixed so but other than that guys love you guys man hey, god bless you guys uh, I'll, I'll be going i'll be going live tomorrow so let me know if you want to join I uh, for sure will. Maybe we could play some Bro Force tomorrow for real. Yeah, so we play something, something, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. You take care. God bless, man. And we'll talk again soon. God bless. Be easy. All right, yes, guys. Sir, later. It's been a pleasure. Likewise, yes, sir. Likewise. Good to meet you, man. All right, you Blizz. too. Blizz, you going to be around for a while? Um, actually, I'm probably going to dip out myself not too much longer. Okay. Uh, catch up on no, that was uh, definitely an experience. I'm very happy to be able to sit in and chime in on that. Yeah, definitely. You got anything to add? Anything to? Any profound words for the chat? Well, I, I get. Yeah, because I, I, I would, I would love to um, be in another chat with you guys because I do have a couple questions that all that would be kind of in agreement to what he was saying. Because mm -hmm. um, kind of like how you guys were talking about the trans um, people. Uh, I'm going to try to word this the best way, but checking out early, uh, essentially a lot of the, wait, 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 um, what, do you, what do you mean checking out early? Um, like, like, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of a, cause like, uh, kind of like how he was saying, like, uh, I guess better wording, but like, um, leaving the planet, uh, before your time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. Okay. But yeah, so it's like a lot of that, I would wonder what all would be um, the statistic where like the the mutilation statistic and kind of the um, all the surgeries and stuff that they um, are, they put themselves through and such. And so I, I was, you know, I just had a lot of um, curiosities myself, but um, so, no, okay. So, so as far as like, on. um, as far as like you know trans people like being attacked and like killing themselves and stuff like that you know I, i'm not i'm not worried about being monetized so you can say whatever the hell you want you know i don't, I don't give a damn uh self-deletion oh, okay. yeah i mean committed suicide self and you know whatever yeah real quick let me catch yeah. up on, on chats real quick seven says share with you again i passed away in a hospital seven years ago i was in abraham's bosom yhvh gave me the mission put me back in my body and told me the staff said running around but my eyes were taped closed oh damn i've been sharing holy scripture ever since mr m and then they, they're using different words for self-deletion and stuff like that which which i mean like i'm i'm kind of like if you guys have ever have you ever read 1984 by uh george orwell uh, no Blizz. that's when you told me i definitely need to read the i i, I think you should look into it like, definitely um stuff mm -hmm. like that because it, it, it talks about, like, that's where the whole Big Brother thing came from. And uh, I, I think you would like it. It's really good. It's, it's one of my favorite books. Um, and it's, like, it's uh, very relevant, even more relevant today. But, like, a lot of it, like, what, what it comes down to is, like, how the people above us trying to control us, they control us through language. Right? So even this whole talk about, like, self-deletion and yada, 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 like, we're not saying it's suicide. You know what I'm saying? You're killing yourself. 
So like the moment that you try to right. take away those words and you tr you try to control it, you try to make something else, and they're not doing it with just suicide, but they're doing it with like everything, you know. Um, yeah. But anywho, so you were saying that you were you were more interested in the stats behind that. Yeah, uh, kind of the stats of everything he talked about, cause like, um, and, and like I said, not in disagreement, but in agreement, because it's like, no, I mean, more uh, like you well, you want to be more educated, understand. like you want to know more. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like, like kind of like he said, if a, if a lot of the stuff we're hearing, especially through mainstream media, has been kind of butchered and chopped in such a way where it's like well everyone's gonna agree with you if they hear it like this then i'd like to kind of know the more raw statistics of it where uh also like he was saying with um the babies uh being aborted so much and it's like i've heard that from quite a few people and i i love i, I love hearing stuff like that in the simple made fact that it's um it, it needs to be heard especially if Absolutely. it's the truth and i believe it's the truth otherwise you wouldn't hear it all, so much right Right, right. Yeah, and, and so, it, it takes a, a little bit of research on your own, and it's like, honestly, I'm there with you because I don't know where to find these stats. You know, I'm like, right. uh, I, I really don't. But you're, you're right. Like, we, we need to look more into it and figure out these stats and figure out where they're coming from, you know. They're, they're not coming from thin air. Yeah. And I guess my... One of my last things would be is... um kind of like how you guys were saying it's like a lot of people especially nowadays live their lives the way they want to live them with um no regard of if there is anything like you know like with no regrets and i don't feel like that's necessarily what we should be doing unfortunately i think we should have you know rules and regulations and if there's a specific guideline and that's why i say i'm really spiritual because it's like it's not that i don't believe this stuff it's that I guess I just need a pushing in a direction that warrants me to believe it to the extent that other people do. Right. Okay. Give, give me one second. The Pi asks, would you mind if I toss you a YouTube channel your way and shows that they might interest you? I, absolutely. You know, a anything that you're interested, um, anything that you think will give us more, you know, information and stuff like that, throw it our way. I have no idea or no, no idea. Listen, <laughs> no qualms about that. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm with you. I mean, and that's kind of what I was saying about you and Bender and stuff like that. It's like, you know, I, I know you guys are open-minded, you know, and, like, that's kind of why we get along so well is because, like, you know, we may believe in different things, but, like, just because we believe in different things doesn't mean that we can't get along and we can't talk about it. And, like, one thing I'm, I, I, I do want to ask you is because, you know, you said you believe in, like, you know, not necessarily, like, a god, like a, um, like an ethereal being. But you believe him as more of an ethereal, like an, like an alien that's like more advanced than we are, right? Right. Right, like so, someone so, that's, that's not like worthy of our worship. No, I wouldn't even say it like that, because that, I, I, when you put it in that kind of perspective, I, I, it sounds kind of cruel. <laughs> well, well, no, I mean, but, not, um, not, not really, because I mean, you know, like, you know, I, I think about it a lot, too, because if you think about God and like the Old Testament and stuff like that, like... The idea of a god is kind of cruel you know what i mean so like I, i'm not judging you for it well, yeah, in that yeah, way it's, yeah. it's just like the way that you're saying it, it's kind of how i'm understanding it is that like you feel like more like we're in a, a science experiment and it's like the people that are in charge of us aren't necessarily better than us is that is that what you're kind of saying uh actually that yeah that kind of hits the nail on the head and kind of to alter it just a little bit not necessarily that they're not worthy of our worship or whatnot but it's like oh uh, this I, uh give me give me one second i'm okay. gonna try to word this the best <laughs> I can. Not, not a problem let me catch up on chat real quick slurpee's back thank you thank you uh the pie says the youtuber is named uh coxim division and he does stream with a bunch of people called yelling at parked cars. <laughs> they cover a lot of these sorts of things. Okay. I'll, I'll try to remember that. Um, send me a message through Steam. I know I just friended you. And I'm going to send you a, um, an invite, the pie, to our uh, to our Discord. To our like more private Discord. Where we have these kind of talks. Sorry. Co comics Division. Okay. Alright, word. Seven says, so sad. Hey, a Slurpee, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, Slurp. 
Uh, so yeah, so you were trying to reword it, um, Blizz. And I'm not trying to put you on the spot or anything. I'm just trying to like get more of an understanding. Oh no, you're good. Yeah, I guess a better, a good way to word it would simply be the fact that it's like, I feel as if, like if almost like if I created you, I would not. Ex right. And I guess that's just my mentality and my morals. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't expect you to sit there and be so grateful to me that you would have to worship me and like you know live by almost these guidelines but Fair then enough. i guess the more i think about it like i guess for more like a mass it would be a completely different situation right. like uh having animals or something like having a dog or a cat mm -hmm. you don't expect that animal just because you give them food and water every day to sit there and like okay now you need to do your 30 minute get on your, you know like to worship me and i know you're worshiping me right and but like once again as i said as i see it more from a perspective of like as a betting process it actually makes a lot of sense like like a lot of sense yeah and and, and it's crazy once you start you thinking about it right word be of your time yeah yeah yeah, yeah you know and, exactly um uh, what was it Mike Tyson even put it best? He's like, you know, he's like, you expect like, you know, God to show himself to you, but he was like, if he does that, then that means you have like domain over God. Which, yeah, if once you have domain over God, then he's not God anymore. You know, and, and well, like, that I, he'd probably just get rid of you. Or, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. He could just, like, yeah, get rid of you. Yeah, and like I, I get what you're saying is that like. You know, because we, and it, and it kind of comes down to, like, you know, I was even thinking about this when Mav was talking about it. I just didn't want to get too, because it's like, we can go on for hours and hours about this shit. But, like, you know how, were you around when he mentioned about how when God takes a life, it's not a murder? It's just him, like, taking yes. back what he created? Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, like. That, that's, and, that's what a lot of women are, like. like go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. Uh. <laughs> Oh, you're breaking up a bunch. Oh, I apologize. What were you saying? Well, no, is that like, that's kind of what a lot of the women are talking about with this whole abortion thing is that I'm like, like I'm creating this life. So it's basically my, my right to take it away. You know, this may be going to like a whole other different topic. No, I think but, it, I think it's kind of they fall parallel to each other, but it it's kind like of is, it's yeah. almost. I, I guess my the way I I feel like is is almost like how dare you think you have so much power, because it's like mm -hmm. and, and one thing um I was gonna try to add on um to what Maverick was saying, especially about um gender, was that um yeah there honestly is uh, two genders and anything. And I like, okay, let's go with the theory that there's more than two genders in any other species. What you're saying in theory is that 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 variation of gender of whatever species died out. So what you're actually proving a heavy negative for what the, the point you're trying to make, because what you're I'll... saying is it's something. Oh, yes, sir. I I'm going to have to read you back in. So so say that one more time. Y you're going to have to, like, reword that one for me. I'm not understanding. Okay, so, um, no, it it essentially in agreement to what he was saying about just there being two genders. Mm -hmm. So if we had more than two genders, right? Right. Like, if we had more than a male and a female that could reproduce, it would be something that could not reproduce with what we have here <laughs> on Earth. Right, so... So, so what... People so it, are it, arguing is yeah oh what's up so it, it'd be pretty much a mule or like a liger where it's like yeah it's something that's created but it can't reproduce itself yeah so essentially what you are what their argument is is something that you you like we already have proof of what that would be if it was a real like if it was a reality right so to be in denial with that is almost um asinine well, so so what's that proof? Like uh, the the proof of that? You're saying we have proof of? No, uh, essentially what I'm saying is, let's say there is a third gender, but like if there was a third or fourth, like whatever beyond the two that we have on our right. planet Earth, beside male what it and would female, mean yeah. is that it's something that wouldn't be able to progress. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you okay. wouldn't have necessarily a bloodline or anything like that. Right. Like, you would start what you finish, just like you said with the mule. You wouldn't be able, like, the argument that they're making is like, oh, yeah, we have so many genders, but it's like, but, like, as science has proved to us, if that was the truth, it would start and finish right right then and there. Yeah, okay, so, yeah. Like, would you really want that kind of life? I see yeah. what you're saying, because it's like, okay, so males and females are necessary because they breed together. But if you have this fourth, fifth, yeah. fifth, 77th, like, what the hell is their purpose? Yeah. You know, so it's like essentially it's it's like not even a gender. It's like a one-off thing, right? Like you're not you're not exactly yeah, and a gender. It's no offense to anyone believing. Oh, what's up? It's it's like you're you're kind of your own gender. At, at which point, like if you're yeah. if you're your own gender, then like you're useless to mankind. Exactly, and I'm not like, and it's not even to knock people who want to be trans or anything like that. It's, it, it's not it's a put just, down scientifically speaking it's like you it's like they want to sound extremely intelligent but their intelligence backfires on them because <laughs> we can prove that it backfires on them right right no I'm, I'm with you there brother uh let me see let me catch up on check the pie says abortion is an odd topic but women claiming they have the right because god does no the best as i could describe is what god is to us is a computer program it's not the same level, in my opinion. Okay. I, I, I think you're gonna have to describe that that one a little bit a little bit deeper to me. Let me see. I could describe what God is to us, to a computer program. It's not the same. You, you're gonna have to describe that one to me, Pi. I'm I'm a little bit more interested in what you mean by that. And then seven says, for me, I just read Holy Scripture, harlots, close study it every day. I stopped going to all churches for seven years. It's spiritually heraldry. Tested them all in the spirit with the Holy Spirit showing me. Some churches approve LGBTQ lifestyle and marriage. Yeah, yeah. Um, that kind of uh, goes back to what I was saying earlier about churches. Is that like, yeah, I've been trying to find a church that I, I agree with. But like, there's not a whole lot that I'm finding that I agree with. You know what I mean? Like... I'm I'm sensing I'm able to sense the wolves in sheep's clothing and there's a lot of them. Yeah. That's one reason why I I guess I've been turned off to religion myself because it's almost like church is a place of judgment whereas you know it's supposed to be a place of people coming together to worship God. And that, that's I think a, that's so horrible that it turned into a status. That, that's a good way to put it. And like, that that's basically what turned me away because I grew up in like a fire and brimstone type uh, church, right? Where it was like literally everything that I liked, uh, Pokemon, Transformers, Karate, Ninja Turtles, everything was of the devil. Like I couldn't do anything right. And everything that I did was gonna send me to hell. You know, so eventually I got to a point where I was like, why would I even subscribe to this kind of religion where where no matter what I do, I'm wrong, you know? Yeah. So I, I, I don't blame uh, a lot of people for not being religious or like, you know, not necessarily believing. Um, shit, I was there. I was there not that long ago, you know? Yeah, and I think that's the weird thing about church because it's almost like they, it's like the things they claim they stand for, they almost deter mm -hmm. children away from they in do. an instance. So a, a lot of them, yeah, at least in, you know, in my circles. Um, okay, so the pie says, LOL, okay, the best description of God compared to humans on the abortion subject. God is the creator, like a human making a computer program, but God doesn't kill god he kills his creations like we do to computer programs okay oh okay i got you I, I can see what you're saying yeah so it's like it's, it's the master computer and it's like basically any files that are not not useful to the computer he gets rid of um which right. i you know I, I don't really want to word it like that because it's not like any none of us are, are useless to god i don't believe you know no but and I guess my comment to that would be is like it's really weird that people would think abortion would be the way to go because kind of like um I think Maverick said this as well but it's like you 
and that means everyone everyone on this planet especially in today's society was literally one scalpel away and your your mom being like yeah but i don't think i want that one yeah and if you really look at it like that then human life what what is the value of that like oh so i can i can get rid of this one and we're, i mean we're not fucking pokemon cards here we're you know <laughs> everyone is shooting individual. <laughs> like yeah right it's, it's like that people can drop up doing shit like that it's just wow that that's where your mind is uh, okay i guess but yeah you know i, I definitely i i see what you're saying where it's like you you feel like you're you're high enough to decide who lives and who dies you know and who deserves life yeah it's like know? no no one should yeah i mean no. i i understand be getting pregnant and going through all of that is unfortunate but at the end of the day it's really weird to just think and I, and I know a lot of people are going to argue because I, I guess we're talking about the more civil side of it, but then you have the people that argue, well, what about the R word? The, the, the rape. Yeah, yeah that's no, the, I, I'm not using yeah, rape. No, I'm, I'm saying rape. I'm saying sexual assault. Like, I don't give a fuck, you know. So so say it all. But, yeah, like, you know, I mean, I, I, like, I, I understand. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Go, go ahead. Oh, yes, sir. Go, go ahead, finish up. Oh, and I was going to say, and I understand for those instances, yeah, depending on the situation, may, maybe abortion should be an option. It, sh it definitely should be considered. But for most of the pregnancies that aren't like that, especially in nowadays world where most people with common sense know that's not how this, how it is. It, it's just, oh, I don't want this baby. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. I, I just it, don't. It becomes I, I a lot of like... But and, and kind of like what Maverick was saying was that it's a lack of accountability. Like it's like the, yeah. these these ladies want to be able to fuck whoever they want. And, and, and forgive me for using ladies because like I mean dudes do it too. If we had the option, we would. But like people fuck whoever they want, and then expect there to be no consequences. But it's like no, there's there's consequences to your action, you know. Yeah. Uh, so let me catch up on chat here. Oh, the, the pie says, uh, to computer programs, lol, a bit too in depth of a read into that. And then Seven says, Yeshua Ham Hamashe Christ Emmanuel hates abortion, can't forgive it. It is written in Matthew 8 6, or 18 6, Mark 9 42, and Luke 17 2, that Christ is the Lord and a Savior. Yeah, I mean, I, I can imagine that. You know, our our God, our our Savior would absolutely hate the killing of the most innocent beings that come onto this planet. You know, because because let's be real, what what was that um that he said? You're past the point of ascension. Yeah. So it's like you know. I didn't what, really understand that. Well, well, pretty much it's like you know how like they say when you're young. Um, basically you, like we live in the matrix right so it's like when you're like basically the first seven years of your life uh your entire world view is based off of what you learn what you download for those first seven years right and right. then after those seven years you, you kind of start learning like okay you can think for yourself the point of ascension which i don't know what age okay. that is but that's that's the point where it's like you can understand who God is, who Jesus is, what the sacrifices were, and what what life is all about, you know. And, and oh, like okay, I, got you. I, I I don't know what age that is necessarily, but like you being thirty, that's well beyond that point, you know. And like I mean, I I really want to say the age of ascension is right around like like thirteen, fourteen, maybe. I I don't know. Like I I don't have kids of my own, so I couldn't tell you, but. There, there's definitely a certain point where you start thinking for yourself, you know? Yeah, your, like, and, awareness starts to pick right, up. Right, right, And it's it maybe even less than that because, like, I've been thinking about it, you know? And, like, parents get mad at me, man. Like, my ex got so mad at me. My ex's mom got mad at me because she kept telling me, she's like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to teach Marissa to do this and that. And I was like, I told her, I was like, you know, like, y you're not, like, really her parent anymore, right? Like... There's a certain point where it's like you stop teaching your child and it's more like you need to be a guide as opposed to a teacher, yeah. if, if that makes sense. Uh, she, she didn't like that much, but I was like, if you think about it, you really only get seven years of innocence. 
Because like once you start hitting that eight, nine, ten year old mark, you know, you start becoming influenced by the world. Aware of what, yes, yeah, going on around you. Yeah, exactly. You start getting the the hints of like all that stuff. So you start breaking away from your parents, and you you know you start like doing different things than your parents taught you. And like I said, right. parent, parents hate when I say that stuff, especially because I'm not a parent myself. But I'm like, I I do like seriously remember when I was around that age, and I was like, yes, yeah, it's, it's true. You know, you only you only get so many years. And then after that, you're more like a guide, and you just gotta be careful how you go about it. Yeah. And I think, especially in today's world, it's almost as if, since there are so many single parent uh, households, it's almost as if you can't, a parent necessarily can't do that the way they can with like two, um, a two parent household, or even in the sense where it's like you have, um, enough of a luxury to not have to work so much where you can give that child the time you need to right and nurture them instead of letting social media be such a prevalent thing and especially in the younger years mm -hmm. it's almost as if um kind of like how you just said with um how you have your seven years of innocence it's almost as if society has begun to take that away from um children yeah yeah it, it really has because i and that that started with the whole women's movement the whole like you know women we need to go out and work and stuff like that real quick seven says scriptures cannot be broken written to john 10 35 said by christ oh, but yeah, and i'll be you... right back all right oh yes sir oh, no, no, i'll go, be right back go ahead seven said it's like when you learn about santa or something or, i'm sorry the pie says it's like when you learn about santa or something there's a point where you begin to formulate opinions on your experience and they begin to form your worldview yeah ab absolutely absolutely you know and it was like i i can't attest to that because i was brought up in a household that didn't believe in santa uh we we weren't allowed to believe in like santa claus we weren't allowed to celebrate halloween you know that kind of thing because it was a little overly religious i believe in my opinion um, and my mom even said straight up, she was like, I'm never going to let my kids believe that, like, they got toys and stuff like that from some fat white guy, you know? So I was like, all right. So I, I never got to experience that. But I, I truly believe, you know, and I, I still do, like, look back on those days. And I'm like, there was a point where I do remember being highly influenced by my parents. And then, like, eventually it got to a point where I was, like, my friends started being more of an influence in the, the things around me. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, yeah, and, and like, you're right. Return. Yeah, welcome back. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I, I, was, I was just saying about how, like, you know, I remember the days where... Uh, my innocence was a lot more intact, you know, and it was like, <laughs> it was all about Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles for me. Yeah, I think um, Family Guy actually has a really good skit about it where, um, I guess Peter was playing with his friends and he was like, hey guys, you want to play baseball? <laughs> and then it was like, yeah, I'm going to go masturbate now. <laughs> like, yeah, kind of like, you know, there honestly is that fine line where it's like yeah you get to an age where it's like yeah uh, this isn't so fun anymore and i mean like some people tr try to extend that as long as they can but it is your is your responsibility to grow out of that and understand what you have kind of been placed into exactly so. you know and i i think i feel like you know i i held on to it and like I, i've been telling my mom my mom kind of like she was surprised that I told her, like, you know, Star Wars and stuff like that kind of repulses me now. Like, it's weird because it wasn't all that long ago that I was super into Star Wars, you know. And now, like, I look at all right. those kind of things and I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of repulsed by it. And, like, I don't know if it's because I've just gotten older and that's, like, how things are. Or if it's, like, I, I feel like it's more of a... Um, like a natural process that should have happened but quite hasn't quite happened yet and has been stifled because of like 
the the way that things are going these days. You know what I mean? Whoa! It's. I guess I have kind of two points to make on that, but it's like I, I guess my first point is um. Yeah, I guess my and I guess my first point would be is one. This a lot of that stuff's not necessarily designed to grow with you. Which yeah. is why, I guess, as you get older, you get into more like... Because I remember being scared as shit over Resident Evil when I was younger. <laughs> right. But now it's like, hey, yo, that's my jam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, I think it's a lot of, um, you know, as you get older, you try to... Since a lot of things don't grow with you, you have to find different things to kind of explore and go down different rabbit holes which i don't think is necessarily a bad thing and then my other point is um i think a lot of that stuff really is designed especially nowadays kind of like that video you sent me it's more of a cash grab that just stabs at your nostalgia, nostalgia it doesn't even yeah. have to correlate anymore they're just trying to since this they know star wars is a title you like they're gonna name it star wars but it's not star wars it's just named star wars Right, it just has Star Wars elements to it. Right. But I think um, we, we talked about that yesterday too, where it's like, I think it'll go to a point where it's like, you'll have so many X amount of Star Wars movies that's like, okay, this isn't the Star Wars I grew up on. This is just called Star Wars and has characters that are somewhat relatable. Right, And then right. it's like, those five or six movies are going to suck in a row. And then it's like, okay, now we'll take a chance and... We'll have to call it something else. It can't be Star Wars anymore, but just so that we can survive, this is going to be a really badass movie that we're going to give you. Word. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm right there with you, bro. I, I, like I said yesterday, I, oh, yes, sir? No, I'm, I'm right there with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to say, like I said yesterday, it's just sad that it has to get to that point where it's like you can't give someone a product that would actually just be progressively better it's got to be something that meets a, mu a financial quota. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. You know, and it was funny because, like, I sent that video because it literally topped on all the, all the topics that we talked about as far as, like, the gaming industry goes. Like, li literally everything that we've talked about, he brings up. You know, so it's like we're, oh, we're obviously... sure a lot of people... Oh no! Uh, what were you saying? I'm sorry. No, no, we're obviously the only ones. Not the only ones. I feel that way, you know. Yeah, and I was just about to say that it's uh, it's more prevalent now that um, every game essentially is the same. It's like you can literally group games together in not only a genre but a subgenre as well. And some people might think that's a good thing because it gives you diversity in that topic, but I think that's a scary thing because it means you're going to get, okay, well, this is going to be a title, but this is also going to be a title, but they're going to be the same because they have so many subcategories that correlate and you get the same game. Mm -hmm. But, okay, this one's a little more tunier animated than this one. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like, at that point, why even make two different games? Why not just make, you know, meet in the middle or some shit like that? Right. And I, I will also say I don't believe that's the best way to go because then you end up with um, almost companies like Square Enix where it's like it's it, you you get the best of both worlds that can't do the best of both worlds that are nothing that can't do anything. Right. You get the two sides that all kind of do the same shit. Yeah. Kind of like how we were talking about the um, two headed dragons nab net nibbing at each other. Yeah. 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 Let me say, Seven says, I'm not religious at all. I just love pure, complete, holy Bible scriptures. So when priests or pastors or preachers don't teach you the complete word, you run. You leave and they teach another gospel. Written in Galatians 1, 6, 9. So yeah, I, I think, I don't know what your experience with the, with the church thing is, uh, Blizz, but mine was pretty rough you know like i said like my my church experience chased me away from the church i would say mine in a sense did but not necessarily in the ways directly of uh like the religious aspect of it like um i'm sure most people know like because why my, my church did a lot of fundraisers and stuff right and so 
to see the corruption at that level because it was like um i remember my first niece was doing a um fundraiser and like this was at the time like my parents were really super passionate and i remember we uh it was like we raised uh the second place amount it was either a second or third place amount but the whole time you could see this uh, this, uh member of the church like you know they all had official statuses in the church but they would all go in this back room oh where yeah, all yeah. The money was and yeah, then they yeah. would come out and then someone else would oh uh, you the smile on their fucking faces and it was so sickening to see that at such a young age i was like yeah you know i'm kind of done with this uh that, like what did we why why are we sitting here busting our asses for you guys to be so happy and so proud and then it's like you you kind of learn what that's you know that side of churches and i'm not saying all churches are like that mm-hmm. but that and, was my experience with it. and here and, and i've, I've had a, a similar experience um i like i said i grew up in a church where it was like everything that i did was wrong even when i like i started karate for a little bit uh the pastor of the church was kind of like lecturing me talking about you need to be careful because i'm meditating like to like satan worship and yada 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 and i'm like fuck man i can't do anything right i can't like watch any cartoons i can't do this i can't do that so like i'm i'm with you there and um let me catch up with what the pie says the pie says the difference is when it's resident evil being resident evil you expect that but when five different games are resident evil but with different names and the only difference is the characters yeah it gets really bland and it's uh, and like we all know these companies can do better because I, I and once again like i know we touched on this a little bit yesterday but it's like when nintendo made a game you are like nintendo we'll take early nintendo like an nes cartridge or a Nintendo 64 cartridge that game better be damn near fucking perfect because you're not going back to fix your mistakes so that yeah. means if uh fucking uh, i'll take uh I can't really think of a game off the top of my head. Uh, Z targeting or something. If, if the Z camera doesn't go onto the enemy, I promise you they sat there and they made sure that fucking can't. Whenever you push that Z button, it touched the enemy in a way that you could know, hey, this is what we, this is our purpose here. Okay. Not in like today's world where it's like, oh, and I'm. I'm at the end. I'm done picking on Legend of Zelda, but it's like okay, let's take off with you something. Or it's like we can give you this, and you're gonna have to stay in maybe in two or three days because now the new apps we put in just don't work with what right, we, right. our foundation. Hang, and it's hang, just like hang, hang on, how, hang on, how hang can on. you? Oh, sorry. Yeah, hang on. You you're breaking up there, so you're gonna have to like start start that last sentence over. Oh no worries. Uh, where did I break up at? Uh, j- just start the whole sentence over. Because you were saying... Okay, but, um, yeah, I was just saying, like, so, essentially, like, games nowadays where it's, like, you have the leniency of people being able to download updates, you're gonna milk that cow for what it's worth, but that's... Every, like, people from an older gaming perspective know that's not what makes a game. Right. And knowing that you're trying to push these releases so quickly just so you can get a cash grab and then go back and fix your mistakes. It's almost as if you're taking a test and you made like a 50 on it. And they take it so you can get a 75, 80, which isn't good, but it's still enough to pass the class. Right. I hear you. So just like doing the bare minimum, right? Not even the bare minimum. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that actually that is the bare minimum. Just yeah, yeah just enough to get it to a uh, production stage so that people are buying it. Because we know most people aren't buying these things because they're good products. They're just buying it based on hype, right. or because their friends have it, or what you know. It's not because it's in any benefit to the company. It's almost as if they've created a religion in themselves where it's like, yeah, if you don't keep up with our times, then you're going to be playing the older version, but no one's going to be playing that with you. Fair enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear that. Uh, real quick, Seven says, Mega churches or any churches who sell books, music, tickets to events, not a good church. Remember, Christ turned over the tables in the temple written in John 2, 15 to 16. They made people into merchandise. Peter 1, 
one through three yeah so i mean so that's true to kind of go on like you know what seven's saying here um kind of like, like to go away from what you're saying there uh blizz but uh she she's talking about how like you know these, these mega churches right about how they're like money essentially money hungry um and there was a uh, there was a scripture in the bible where where jesus like you know saw the offering tables and started overturning them and stuff because you know it angered him to see them turning god's temple into that kind of thing so you know i'm i'm, I'm right there with you you know seven we we need to figure out a church a place that we can get together and kind of talk about these things and i think that's that's what the stream is going to be just that kind of safe place where we don't have to but worry about money we don't have to worry about what we're doing or like even like you know how we're worshiping and stuff like that you know and i think that's a good haven to provide as well i will say um i and this will probably sound a little conspiracy but um i think final fantasy tactics said it best there was a part part in the game where essentially you get this book called the germanic scriptures mm -hmm. and it was talking about how people believed in this guy how he was supposed to be a child of god but he was just a simple human being right and the issue was was that essentially that played on their emotions so much that um they believed everything he said and it got to a point where his uh believing and worse following was so big he um told everyone to drink from this uh well and they would you know prosper and stuff little did he know the well was poisoned he died along uh, along with all of them oh. and so i guess along to say with the uh, religion it's like the one problem i have with the church as well is like it almost is this as if it targets people who have a weak mind like that and get rounds them up to do um corrupted things not necessarily saying that's what happened in that that particular game but it's like i feel like churches can kind of like um oh i can't think of the church now but they they call themselves the church but they go around patronizing people i, I know what you're talking like about to where it's I like can't. and seeing yeah. like me, me and maverick were talking about that earlier and that that goes more because when you have churches that do that kind of thing that's really more to blame on the people who follow them because they're blindly following you know what i'm saying like maybe the the leaders of these churches churches happen to be charismatic enough to where you believe them but you're the one who decides to drink from the well you know what i mean and i guess my only thing to add to that was like because um my i guess that would be my only argument with one thing maverick said because um kind of like how he said Maver it doesn't matter how on. you get there as long as you get there right oh oh yes sir and no, no, so, i'll uh, say hello to me that, so, yeah, that go would ahead. be my only somewhat of it oh yes sir I i'm sorry go, go ahead i was saying hi to meaver oh what's up meaver but um yeah i was gonna say that would be my only argument for that was um sometimes i think how you get there is just as important as to why you are going there because it's like um so so you like uh how you say oh yes sir so you feel like it's more important the reason why you go into like into believing what you believe not necessarily the reason but ne your purpose kind of behind it is very important yes fair enough it's like um, um oh kind of like how he was saying like that was a really good example of you know like if you got he pushed you out of the way of the car was completely different as to the reason why he um saved you from you know like saved you by pushing you out of the way of the car right so it was like falling over and just indirectly so but you... especially with, with mel gibson's movie i think the reason why south park made the episode they made on it with like um cartman ended up ending up being hitler and kind of corrupting all the people that were like well i'm here at the church because i saw the movie and it was like well <laughs> right. yeah that that okay. you know the, the, yeah. G your, those give, are going to be kind of your suckers unfortunately give me one second i'll i'll, I'll catch on that when I, I catch up on um our chats here uh, the pie says, wow, Blizz, that's some damn good recollection. I barely remember Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics is one of Blizz's favorite games. He talks about that one all the time. So uh, you, you ever want to yeah, talk about Final oh, Fantasy oh, Tactics? Oh, I, I, I love that game, but he's like he has a real deep, intimate knowledge of that game that I don't understand. 
Uh, but he absolutely loves that game. And in fact, that I mean, I, I would even go. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like his bible like he he looks at a lot of like how the civilization yeah. go, is going is based off of that game and he's not wrong he, he's really not wrong um but did, did you have anything to add to that oh i would say um uh who said that uh the pie Pi, if um, you send me a Steam invite or something, because I think um, Marauder's uh, going to send you a Discord invite, but if you want, we can sit down all day. That game is, <laughs> is like Game of Thrones is fucking Final Fantasy Tactics right, made right. for an audience. Yeah. And so, yeah, I, there's so many comparisons I could give you. Yeah, he, he will talk to you about that shit all day. Uh, Seven says, about religion or fake churches with priest, pastors, preachers, here is a scripture, Mark seven seven, Amen. Uh, you may have to describe what that is. Like I, I don't, I don't. I mean, I have a Bible right here, but I don't feel like reading reading through it. Let us know what that scripture means about the fake pastors. Meaver says, "What's up, guys? What are you up to?" Uh, not really. We're just kind of talking really deep today. Um, kind of not even really playing games today. Just kind of mostly talking. Real heavy stuff. Uh, the the content's changing. You know what I'm saying? Meaver Shalom, hello Pi, hello Seven. Uh, Moving in a good direction. I we I we definitely, yeah, we definitely are. Um, I can kind of see what you're saying. I, I can kind of see from both ends. You know what what Maverick was saying about how it doesn't matter how someone comes to Christ, um, or like it does and stuff like that. It really, I think I lean more towards it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, if it wasn't for the passion of the Christ or something like that, maybe those certain people wouldn't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get. And I mean, as an argument, I guess my whole position would be like, since Pete, because I know there are a lot of weak minded people, and I'm not saying that to be a douche or anything. No, I'm saying no, that no, it's no, like, no, you're honestly, right. A, like, people know sometimes it doesn't take much. Mm. Yeah, and so that's my whole thing on it, is that, you know, like, all it would take, like, for the people who are weak-minded, all it would take is that one, once again, I'll use Eric Cartman, but, like, it'll take that one Eric Cartman where you're trying, your intentions are, I saw the passion of the Christ, I want to get more in tune with God, I want to, you know, go about this the right way. Right. His intentions are, oh, we got another sucker in the line to, mm. you know, work for my army. And it's like, right, right. Sometimes, yeah. especially with weak minded people, you don't have, they don't ever reach that conclusion until it's the end. And then you have that shocked person, you know, that's got his hands on his head. And it's like, oh my God, I can't believe I did all that. <laughs> and it's like, come on, dude, re really? Well, okay. So, and, like, and like, here, like, I, I see it even. Oh, yes, sir. Here's what, what switched my idea, what humbled me about, like, Maverick's opinion about it, is because he was saying, basically, Mel Gibson was like Eric Cartman. So it's like, it doesn't matter the fact that he was in it for money or the fact that, like, Eric Cartman wanted to kill the Jews or whatever it was. You know what I'm saying? He, right. he brought those people closer to Christ. Now, whether or not they continue to follow Mel Gibson, because, like, it's, it's every, like... They have every uh, option to be like, okay, well, here's Jesus. I want to look more into him as opposed to like, okay, here's Jesus. Here's what Mel Gibson said about it. So I'm just going to follow that. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, because I guess uh, at the end of the day, it's like I've seen – because even in anime, they cover this topic a lot where people just blindly believe and like follow these people. And oh it's like God. you see some of the dumbest shit. Like, they did that in Gundam. The dude sat in a fucking corner fetal position. Like, no, no, we're going to live. We're going to. And he, he got blown up. Like, that's what that's what the fuck happened. Like, once these people's world comes crumbling down around them, you see them in the most, like, ridiculous positions. And that's yep. why I guess it's, that's why I stood against it. But it's like seeing it from your perspective, it's like, no, it doesn't have to be that much of a negative. It can right, be that negative right, right. for one or two people, but not for the majority well and, and here's the thing or it may majority, it, it yeah. may not and like his thing is that like it may even be that negative for the mass majority like maybe most people come to it and seeing that like you know that raw visceral part of it 
and that's what it is for them but then like you know there's that one or two that's like wait a minute there's something deeper here and that's kind of what he what, what maverick like promotes is those one or two you know the the one or two that's like okay i was brought here maybe for the wrong reasons but it's like now i'm looking deeper into it and i'm getting my own opinions and stuff you know, okay, so it's more like a filtration at that point. Uh, like you, kinda, yeah. Essentially, that you go into it knowing there's going to be a lot of people that turn away. Exactly right, and it's like you know, of, of course, you know, like he was using the example of Mel Gibson because, like, I was kind of with you until like Maverick kind of reworded it for me, and I was like that because, like, you know, I was like I was against the idea of people coming to to Christ through the Passion of the Christ, just because, like, like South Park said, it's a smut film, you know. And it's just like an hour and a half, two hours of just some dude getting his ass beat, you know, and like bloodied to death. And um, at first I was like, that's wrong. But then it's like, well, if they came to him and they found him through that, then is it really wrong? Yeah, not really. I get, yeah, no, not directly, no. Exactly, but yeah. yeah. That, but it's, that's it's all, like, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. It, it may be wrong on the person who created it, but not so much the person who found it through that person who created it. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, that gets really deep. <laughs> uh, let me see. The pie has a lot to say here. He says, it's hard to quantify as the human element. We approach things from our own experience and understanding right slash wrong slash whatever so i definitely understand your thoughts of the two opinions is it them going to the to the bible because someone told them and do they really believe or understand those are the people we question but do we have the right to say they believe for the wrong if wait they believe for wrong if they do or if they actually believe yeah and that that's kind of what we're getting at it's like well and that's what i was saying at first i said it was wrong because they came because of that reason. But then, like, you know, Maverick pointed it out. is like, hey, they, they came here. So, like, you know, they, they got there regardless. It doesn't matter how they got there. So it's, it's kind of kind of weird. He, he continues to say, try to be deep and, 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 and uh, encompassing and check. is sort of difficult. <laughs> I mean, you, you got it, bro. You, you, you said it straight up. Like, I couldn't have worded it better myself. And then Bender says, not at all. See big brain crown tonight. Big brain crowd. Big brain crowd. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so it sounds like I mean. I will. Go, go ahead. Oh yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh no, what were you saying? Go ahead. Oh gonna... no, I will add this, to, and this is why I'm so spiritual. But it's like once you realize kind of the mortality of people. Like, and I'm not talking like, you know, you live, you die. But it's like, once you realize that your purpose here is like, I, I wouldn't even know how to put, honestly put that into words. But it's not what you can, it's not just everything you can make of it. Like, it's not right. everything you want to do and such like that. And it's, once you kind of become aware of just that, it makes you want to li like live differently, become spiritual and do all these kind of things. And okay. one, uh, you could kind of blame Final Fantasy Tactics for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I got a question for you, uh, Blizz. So you, you yes, say sir. that you're spiritual and that you believe in, like, okay, so, so God to you is, like, more like an advanced version of us, right? So advanced, you wouldn't even be able to put it into words. Okay, like, it would so, almost be like a child meeting Superman or something for the first time. Right, right. So it's like, you believe that our creators are an alien species that's, like, basically beyond comprehension. Yes. Okay. And, like, you don't believe that they, that they, that they deserve to be worshipped? Okay, the reason why I say that is because I believe that, once again, I'll go p kind of back with weak-minded people, right. but what worship is for us is not the... I don't think it translates to be the same as what we believe it is. So it's like, almost like when... Um, like when you think you're having a good day just because you 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 know like you you gave that homeless person five bucks or some shit mm -hmm. and like the the rest of your day 
he turns around and you're like, oh, wow, you know, that I did that. It's like, I really don't think you have that much influence. And to translate that even into uh, worship and such, I don't think your wor people's worship goes that far. It's more like a, a mental thing for people just for them to feel comfortable or good about themselves, in a sense. Mm -hmm. And, like, I, and I kind of base this off of like essentially to go into theory if like let's say god is a super advanced like version of us knowing like how this world works and such like that i wouldn't necessarily say that god lives on a planet or whatnot but it's like if he is a once again if he is a completely advanced version of us he's gonna probably live somewhere amongst people similar to him if that makes sense yeah so I would say where, especially even once again, like how a lot of people think God is just maybe even just one being, it could be a whole alien species of something, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. It's funny because I hear you talking about God and it's, it sounds like we believe in kind of the same thing, you know, because you believe basically like when it comes down to it, because like if you look into it, what an alien or what an extraterrestrial is, that's what God is. Um and it's not like putting it down right. and like saying God's an alien, but like the definition of an alien, the, the definition of an extraterrestrial is a being that doesn't live on Earth. Right. So we, we can well, see, agree. No, I, just to cut you off there. Oh, yes, sir. No, no I, I was saying that we can agree on that, right? Yeah. And I was just going to troll really quick. But um, if that Joseph guy was still in here, I'm surprised he didn't come up and say like, oh, no, God's like those Paul aliens. <laughs> uh no but like not by the slightest my dude but yeah right right not not even close but yeah so like i, I hear what you're saying so like it, it sounds like honestly like what we believe in god is not all that far off you know it, it's like because i i truly believe in like wh whether god's like a single being or like a species of being like there's one thing for sure that there, it's completely un incomprehensible to what a human is it's almost like Absolutely. it's almost like a human trying to understand what a fourth dimension is you know because we can understand what a one dimension is two dimension is three dimension is because that's what we live in but we can't comprehend what a fourth dimension is absolutely you know and I, i'll even say i'm gonna just say hashtag Final fancy tactics because um <laughs> <laughs> they touch similarly on this one. No, you get the holy fucking stones, and it's like one guy actually describes to you what the fuck happened when he touched the stone and got all that unlimited power. It was like being a fucking human at that, and that's why I said about mortality. It was like being a human at that point was so fucking irrelevant to this guy. And and if you um, play the game, this is the same guy that chases you for murdering his sister. Right, so right. So it's like, he has passion. He has reason. So, so it's him. like... And after he touches the stone, it's like, nah, fuck all that, dude. Dude, what you do in a lifetime, I can literally do in seconds. <laughs> like, why, why do I care anymore? Why, so, why I mean, do I care about any of this? So, so that's a good point to, like, you know, like, separate, like, kind of like us from, from God. Because, like, you know, we, we can only understand things from our plane right from like where we are and we can't understand yeah. like i mean so whether you believe in god whether you don't believe in god that whole concept is unfathomable to us and that's that's kind of right. what like maverick was talking about earlier when when i asked him because i asked him you know he he asked he, he mentioned some stuff and i was like how is it that the bible is not corruptible you know what i'm saying and he he mentions it he's like ba basically like it checks itself i i still don't fully get it i'm gonna have to do more research and stuff like that but like somehow it checks and balances itself and stuff like that and i was like he was he was mentioning about how the the bible tells a story about the savior who was um sinless right and it was like right. if, if if the bible was created by anyone other than god we wouldn't be able to come up with that story because human beings are so tied into sin that we wouldn't be able to come up with a story of a sim sinless existence. Yeah, it wouldn't even come across our body. Exactly, and like I, I can't comprehend that. But like what you're saying about like you know this guy you know in Final Fantasy in this video game. 
Final Fantasy VII, who's chasing after this goal, like that's his lifelong goal. And then he he gets to godhood, and then he realizes he's like, this is so much more than what you humans can think. Yeah, and it's like, like it, and that's why I, once again, I'll say that's why I'm spiritual because shit like that really resonates with me simply because it's like human beings what we only have access to 10 15 percent of our brain that, that's what, well, well like that? they, they say that that's all we use not necessarily that we have access to but that's all we're like willing oh, okay. to use pretty much but it, even even that proves my point in saying that it's like think if we were to use more of our brains like not saying like okay just because that's how much we use like we physically can use more but it's like no one knows how to turn their brain on and off like right that, that it's just a gimme but what i'm saying is think if we actually could use more of our brains and like i'm not saying shit like that would be possible but it's like one could only think you know what i'm saying yeah yeah and i think that i guess resonates with me more as a realism as something i could get behind and follow than uh religion and I, like once again i don't knock religion because i think it all really ties into one right but it's just like from someone's it's almost like uh you're going into a cave from different angles and yeah, yeah. this angle works for me instead of going in this way fair, fair enough um I'll, i'm gonna like touch on that i'm gonna catch up on uh on chats real quick Seven says, Mark seven seven. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are merely human rules. Ooh. Second Corinthians eleven four. For if he who comes preacher another Jesus, whom we have not preached, you receive different spirit from another gospel. Okay. Uh, the pie has a suggestion for you, Blizz. He says that you may want to look up Jungian psychology. He might find that an interesting read, if nothing else. So that's Jungian, J-U-N-G-I. You may want to write that down. No, I'm going to... Uh, oh, shit, I'm on my computer right now. What? Okay. You said J-U-N... G-I-A-N psychology. J-U-N-G... G-I-A-N? Ah, I see it. I got you. Yeah. He says, I think it's pronounced Jungian. And seven says preach. Bender says hi. Made some changes. Oh yeah, to the uh, to satisfactory. I hopped on satisfactory. Uh, the pie says, "LOL, did you leave all those presents, Bender?" <laughs> now the devs did. Yeah, Bender hasn't hasn't turned off the presents yet since, uh, since the holiday events over. Holiday still going. What are you talking about? Uh, it's, I'm on a satisfactory. Christmas right never now. ends around here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, seven says fake churches that preach teach another gospel receive another Jesus you receive another spirit written in 2nd Corinthians 11 4 you do not receive the Holy Spirit but something else hey fair, fair enough amen you know if you're not taught the proper actually, word then you're receiving different spirits yeah and actually to poke on that a little bit because um okay yeah go for Maverick it. was saying about uh human human made diseases a lot of stuff that people do um because i know that is one big thing when people get really sick they they're like yeah where is god why why am i getting you know cancer or something like that but humans need to take accountability for creating those diseases oh like bro. a lot bro, of be, um, be, be careful what you say you're gonna get us uh, you're gonna get us canceled okay. <laughs> oh, oh, <my> <laughs> i'm fucking my with bad. you <laughs> <laughs> i'm fucking with you go ahead keep going but yeah i was gonna say Stuff like stuff like Agent Orange and stuff like that. Oh yeah. To think that that has not had long-term effects on people, and it's like you got to think. Uh, like, and I'm not saying this in any kind of disrespect or anything, but it's like Down syndrome is a very more recent illness. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like this, like look back before Vietnam, before oh, they used Agent Orange, and y you'll see it's not there. You don't see it as prevalent. So it's like. For people to not take responsibility and the one just sit there and hide behind God with that, that I think that's really pathetic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna touch on that too. It's like the the whole human-made diseases. First of all, like I, I truly believe. So like I suffer from depression and like um, I've I've had suicidal ideation since I was like eight years old, right? 
and like I, I truly believe that that's all man-made because if you look like a hundred like 50 years ago 100 years ago we didn't have these issues yeah you, you know what I'm saying so like even today so I, I'm, I'm gonna be like dead up like straight up honest I've, I've been having some issues with like my hormones and like you know stuff like that like my muscles diminishing and all that stuff so I go to the hospital today to the VA hospital and I'm talking to the dude and, and I'm telling him I'm like look I, I think is this I think is that I was like generally I'm a pretty healthy dude but I was like lately I've been having hot flashes I'm like my my sex drive is low and stuff like that I was like I really feel like it's a hormone issue or something you know going on and like basically he spends like 20 30 minutes trying to convince me that it's it's all in my head it's anxiety issues you know he wants me to take anxiety meds and I'm like fuck bro like what 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 the fuck like anxiety is a, a hundred percent human created disease yeah you know cuz like I mean granted like you know there was a point where like our anxiety was used to, to save our lives like you know there was a point where we needed our anxiety but now now it's just like we're, we're anxious about fucking everything I mean, we want to throw pills at everything. Well, think about this. Oh, sorry to cut you off there, but think about this. We're so ang we have so much anxiety as people in today's world. Our animals become anxious. Oh my God! Look at dogs. People get so mad at me. Yeah. That I tell them that they shouldn't have dogs. But I'm like, look at, look at the lifestyles that most of us are living. Most of us are living in like one, two bedroom houses, and we go to work for eight hours a day. Then when we're not at work. We're either on the computer or we're like going out with our friends or some shit like that. Like, why why do you think a dog's happy just fucking sitting in your apartment waiting for you to get home? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, cause these dogs, animals, like especially dogs, especially dogs. Dogs chose us, brother. Like, let me tell you, humans didn't pick dogs. Dogs chose us. Okay, and like, yeah. Was it? Oh no, I I was saying, I'd agree. Yeah. So like, you know, and like they chose us because they, they wanted a purpose. They wanted a purpose with us. And now we're, we're giving them this lifestyle where their purpose is to live in our purses and like, and look pretty, you know? So it's like, of course, and like, I'm, I'm with you right there. Our, go ahead. Oh, you, oh uh, I was going to say, but you have to also think of how society has gone. And that's why I brought up, uh, I'll bring up the woman thing again, I, it, giving, okay. It's not just women. But it's like okay. giving the wrong people money right. essentially directs things where okay, like, let, 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 it's just not going anywhere. Like, let, let me oh, stop you right there. I'm going to catch up on chat and then we'll, we'll continue with that conversation. All right. Uh, okay. The Pi says, oh man, I'm an agent. Orin Baby Pops had it. He was a strong man, but that is one of the things that I've lived from and fear in the rest of my life. Yeah, I mean, Agent Orin, like any kind of like man, man created like chemical like that. Is, uh, is, is the issue. Oh, oh, Bender says low testosterone, a very common. Yeah, and then that's the thing, you know, I was looking it up, and the problem is, is that, like, I was telling him, I think it's low testosterone, and this, this guy, and, like, okay, I'm going through the VA, and the last two doctors that I had were a female, and this last one was a gay guy, and he kept telling me, he's like, I don't want to do the testosterone on you because it's going to be, like, you know, too convoluted of an issue. I think it's anxiety, and I'm like, bro, like, you know, like... <laughs> chill out with trying to give me these pills you know um let me see at that point it's just someone not doing their job that, that's really what it comes I think we've talked about this. oh what's up that, that's what it comes down to he doesn't want to do his job and i think we've talked about this quite a lot off stream but it's like it's all fun in games until people are in positions where they're getting other people killed Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Until like those those medications aren't working anymore, and not only that, but they're like making you crazy and want to like attack people and shit like that. Let me let me keep going with the uh, the chat here. Uh, the pie says sounds sort of like Bender. Bender says except the ball guy. LOL. The pie says big old beard but almost nothing up top. LOL. Did the mullet way too much, and that pushed it over the edge. Bender says my cat guilts me all day long to play with her. I love it. <laughs> that sounds like you, Blizz, with ear cats. Yeah. No. I I avoid eye contact. It's a Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, Bender says that's a shame vets deserve better. You know what? I I'm not gonna complain. I I I'm like I obviously I'm a veteran. I, I did what I did, you 
know, I serve the country and stuff like that. And I don't think I deserve anything more than anyone else does, you know. But if they're gonna like, and and it's it's free healthcare, but it's the the fact that like. I go in there and I tell them what I think is wrong. I tell them what I think is the issue and they look at me like I'm an idiot. And like when I told this guy that I didn't want to take antidepressants, he basically like, he, he got all snobby with me and stopped basically talking to me. And I'm like, fuck man, like, so, so now I am going to have to go find my own private doctor or something like that. But like, I don't want to make it a vets versus a civilians thing. I think just in general, like we need to have a better healthcare system. Like, we all need to be treated better, you know? Like, if I say, especially someone like me, like, I'm very rarely ever in the hospital. I'm very rarely sick. So when I'm like, something's going on with me, I want to look at it. Like, you should listen to me, you know what I'm saying? Um, Ben, everyone is so lazy nowadays. I've been, I've always been lazy. <laughs> the places they do, doesn't matter what Uncle Sam sends them to do. And then Bender says, riding that train, high, low, cane. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of, doing whatever right now putting some background stuff while we talk about some serious stuff on the chat right here um but i don't know if i was cutting you off there uh blizz i was just kind of catching up on chat oh no you're good i was gonna say um it like i said it's it's all funny games until you have people in positions where people are starting to get killed and stuff and it's oh, yeah. like well I, like you say, you don't care about the monetation, so I, I, I am going to bring up the Uvalde school shooting that um, happened not too long ago. The, the what school shooting? Like you had a whole bunch of police officers. Oh, what's up? The, the what school shooting? The Uvalde school shooting that Uvalde. happened in uh, Texas. Okay. But yeah, a lot of, um, you had a lot of police officers that were scared to go in there because the guy had a gun, but it's like, okay, as your job, your job as a police officer is you get paid to deal with it. This is just one of the things in your job description. Wait, wait a minute, so, wait a minute. The, the, the cops were afraid to go into a school shooting situation because the guy had a gun? Yes. Were these women cops? Like, <laughs> like, like, I'm for real. I don't think so. No, I believe the dude was, uh, yeah, there was a dude that was the chief, uh, chief of police over there. I, I'm scared because he has a gun. See, and that, that's the kind of pussy ass shit that we're getting to. And like, you know, I, I keep bringing women into it and it's, it's, it's not the women thing, but it's really like the whole bringing down the the standard to where a woman could, so kind of like the Navy SEALs, you know how like the Navy SEALs had to bring down their physical standards in order to bring a woman on board, right? Yeah. Have you, have you heard about that? A little bit, but not much, but so, so yeah, so I, basically, I know what you're, uh, yeah, basically, there was a Navy SEAL, a, a lady who wanted to be a Navy SEAL, and in order for her to make it, they had to bring down the physical, like, the testing for her, in order for her to be able to make it. So it's like, you know, we're, we're, we're taking all these feminized people, you know, these, these quote-unquote women who want to be masculine, and, like, a lot of, like, very feminized dudes, and we're sending them into the police force and into our militaries, so much to the point where, like, they don't even want to go into the line of fire. That, like that's sad yeah that's real sad well, let's even take it from a different perspective it's just a simple made fact that our police um paid by the government so they're paid yeah. with our tax dollars so you mean to tell me you, my tax dollars are going towards you being a, a big sh about doing your job right right real quick like, ben there, there's a reason why i i'm not a police officer because yeah. i don't want to get shot at you know yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 as simple as fucking that you know like it, it, it's like it's nice because yeah that job pays nicely but I, you i'm not here to pay you nicely i'm here for you to do your job right well the here, way, here's, here's the thing is that you're getting paid nicely to do your job like you're getting paid that much money in order to jump in front of that bullet right so it shouldn't even be a second guess. Whereas right. in today's world, it's like, eh, and it's like, uh, no, bro, what, what the fuck's going on? So real quick, the pie says, yeah, we do need a, uh, some healthcare reforms, especially when it's related to the government. Man, that's a whole other issue that we can talk about for days, <laughs> for days. Um, Bender says they hesitated for over an hour. How do you hesitate for over an hour? There's a fucking school where 
kids are being shot at how do you hesitate for an hour to run into there like do you think anyone's gonna get more hurt if you're gonna run in there like you know you're, you're afraid of your pissy pussy ass getting hurt is what it is uh yeah. seven says just get a request another doctor mr m most of my families are on the u.s military yeah i i have i've requested a different doctor three different times and they the problem is that the doctors all work on the same team so they all work the, they, they all think the same and like it, it's gotten to a point where i'm like i just can't trust the government anymore even though i do get like free-ish health care through them i just don't trust them anymore and if it's for something serious i'm gonna have to go out and get my own private thing uh, the pie says that was one of the dumbest moves the army like dropped in the recruit recru uh, Requirements like five times just to get a mediocre about of women to pass just stupid as heck. I'm right there with you, man. It's like Not only are they, they having to drop the requirements for women to be able to to join uh, but like they they the the way even those who do join they, they can't even make it on top of that, so like they have to make it even less. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, Bender oh, says, I, I was... Got, what I would like to say about that is um, it, it's almost like, like this is my problem with things in society is because it's like we have facts behind these things to disprove this. Right. Has, mo has everyone seen 300? Everyone remembers the Smeagol-looking guy who oh, couldn't yeah. hold up his shield. Yep, Leonidas yep. came to him and was like, yeah, no, fuck this. He didn't say that to be a dick. He said that because in the formation, if you put that guy there, he can't hold his shield high enough and someone's going to get killed. It's, and if one person gets killed, they all get killed. You, you are as strong yeah. as your weakest link. And that's like, that. that is yeah, a good... That, like, that's not an offense. No, that, that's... Oh, uh, I'm sorry to keep cutting you off. Uh, go on. That, that, that's a good, like, you know, lesson for life is that you're strongest as your weakest link. So, like, if you have a bunch of people around yeah. you and one of them is a, a, a whiny little pussy who says that, oh, like, my back hurts, I can't work and shit like that, that's how strong you are. The, these women who go out yeah. there and they, they have, like, you know, sex with all kinds of dudes and shit and have, have, like, babies with, like, these losers who can't pay their rent and shit like that, that's how strong you are. You're as strong as your weakest, weakest link. Yeah. And I think that's why so many people are stuck in not not successful positions, but it's like you essentially corporate America knows how to keep someone in a position so that they can make money off of oh, you. Yeah. Whereas yeah, yeah. you can do so much more for yourself. Let me see. Bender it's says hard to step out. Yeah, it is. Uh the pie says that was a. Uh, oh wait. The bender says I will turn around soon after something terrible happened. <laughs> the pie says, yeah, bender. Just wish people could pull their heads out before it gets that far. Oh yeah. Like me, a brutalish train. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. I'm digging the train. I'm digging the train. What are you doing over here? I'm just kind of following. I'm just, I'm mostly just like fucking around as I'm I'm talking to Blizz here. But um. Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm mostly with you there, Bender, or uh, a Blizz, like, a lot of it comes down to the, the followers, you know, it's, they, there's a guy that I've been listening to named uh, Earl Nightingale, and he talks about a lot of these, like, philosophy things, you know, and he talks about, like, you're only as strong as the people around you, and yada, 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 but he even mentions there's 5% of people, there's the 5% and the 95%, right, there's 5% of people who think outside of the box and this and this and that and then there's 95 percent of the people who are basically sheeple and they follow whatever they hear and uh they they end up turning on like the five percent of people which is basically why jesus got got crucified you know what i mean yeah, and I think that's kind of sad because it's like... Oh, it's very sad. All it takes is a little bit of... We're not even asking people... Or like, you know, the world's not asking you to do much due diligence before you walk into something. But right. we've come to a time where people won't even do that. Right, it's just like a little bit of research is all you need. Yeah. Maybe just one Google search and be like, hey, is this like legit, you know? But there, there's so many people who are just... They'll hear what the first thing is, and they believe that. They, they, they run with that. 
Well, yeah, and I mean, sometimes it even takes more than one Google, you know, one Google search, but it's like, at least get an opinion. Don't sit there and, oh, the, well, since he's, Timmy said it, it's got to be right. And it's just so much of that where it's like, okay, I mean, I could tell you the sky's fucking falling, and are you going to sit there and believe me if I say it the right If I sing it, you're going to believe me? Right, if I, if you know, I like, say it the right way, if I have enough conviction behind my voice, you're going to believe me that the sky's falling? Yeah. And it's like, why are people so weak-minded with stuff like that? Whereas we can, like, especially things people are passionate about, you, you can't tell them wrong, you know, anything wrong. But it's so crazy, whereas um, things where, you know, it might be something you're a little bit interested in or this or that, it's just not uh, prevalent. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm right there with you, man. Like, we, we do live in a weak-minded society, you know, and I keep, like, looking at it, like, even, like, on, on Facebook and stuff like that, I'm like, how many people... Okay, so I, I'll admit, this whole Andrew Tate stuff lately has been, like, pissing me off. You know, just how many people are just, like, so quick to be like, oh, you know, he's a human trafficker, he does this, he does that. And I'm like, how many of you motherfuckers have actually watched one of his podcasts where he talks for more than 15 seconds? You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Well, I've seen a couple YouTube videos where um, people, where uh, I guess people walk around others and interview and ask them about him. Oh yeah. And a lot of people say he's a misogynist, but there's no. I mean, if you think he's a kind of a maybe like douchey person, I, I we can have that argument. Right, right. Yeah. But it's like misogyny. Like it's we people use these big words thinking that oh this is definitely what i mean but it's like okay if once again like you said a simple google search that's a definition that's a right. fucking definition <laughs> like yeah, yeah. we're not even asking you to do anything we're asking you to just know the definition of a word that you are using 100%, yeah exactly and like you know watching those tiktoks and stuff like that is funny because like they'll quote andrew tate and like these ladies would be like, oh yeah, that sounds really good, really. And then like they're like, oh, but this is who said it. And they're like, oh no, forget it. What he said was like bullshit, you know. And it's like, and like not not only this guy, you know, I hate to keep bringing him up, but he's like just the most recent example. Okay. Oh no, I'm cool with it. But just of like, you know, just people just not formulating their own opinions, not not being educated about things. Like I said, I've, I've watched a couple of his, like, first of all, I've watched some of his clips and stuff like that, and I agree with a lot of his clips. But, like, I've actually watched with um, some of his, like, long-form stuff, and he makes some sense. And, like, I'm with you that, like, I don't know if I can hang out with the guy. He seems like a douchebag. He seems like a cool dude, but kind of a douchebag, so I don't know if I can get along with him very well. But, like, as far as, like, all the shit that they're, like, accusing him of, I'm like, man, I don't believe it. You know, like, I can't. The Pi says, I'm not familiar with... Oh, what's up? No, no, finish up. Go ahead. I was going to say, me neither, because it's like, you can tell a lot of the stuff he's saying is so kind of based on fact that it's like, okay, well, if he's wrong, then he has no problem sitting there making the, you know, uh, whatever, argument, agreement, or whatever with you. That's not the issue with Andrew Tate. It's more or less like, it the people that are against him are always so rooted in their ways of just okay you're just wrong to be fucking wrong yeah, that's what I it is met a group of people so adamant about being wrong just to be wrong yeah 100 percent uh the pie says i'm not familiar with him so i can't comment but it sounds like a lot of stuff don't want to say gay bill what don't want to say gay bill almost none of them even knew what that was about yeah i don't know what the gay bill is no, like, I, I talk about Andrew Tate a lot because, kind of like I was talking to um, Maverick earlier, is that, like, men these days don't have any kind of positive role, male, role model to look up to, you know? Like, I've my whole life, I've kind of been reaching out to, like, a male to look up to, to be like, hey, this is what a man does, you know? And, though, like, even though, like, my dad was in my life, my dad was, like, a super simp. So he's, like, he's not one to emulate, you know? Right. I know, I know Blizz and I have, I... We've had this conversation, and he has, like, a similar situation with his father. And it's like, the, these aren't real men, you know? I mean, they, they happen to be men in our lives, but these aren't the men that we want to emulate, you know? And then it, it takes people like Andrew Tate and, like, Jordan Peterson 
and uh, Kevin Samuels to like to be like, hey, this is what a man is. This is what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I want to make myself something. I want to make me make it to where I can like cover my bills and all that shit. I I want to be a ladies man. I want to be the kind of man that that ladies come to. And like those are the kind of men that are getting attacked right now. You know, the, this whole the idea of toxic masculinity is only being perpetuated by by feminine by the feminist ideas. You know. Right. And I I would also say it, it's not that our fathers aren't successful men. It's just the simple made fact that it's not something. It's not a life I would want to live or be happy living. No, and, and, and here's the thing, like, you know, I, I may sound like I'm talking shit about our fathers and stuff like, but our fathers were raised by single mothers. You know, at, at least mine was. He was but raised I by was. a, was it? I was it. He wasn't? Yeah, so like, my, mine was, and he was, you know, raised by a, a lady, so like, it was like, a lot of his world views came from like, that feminine type view. And then that's a lot of what he pushed on to me, and then like, raised by my mother and stuff like that, you know? So I saw a lot of the feminist side of things. And that'll definitely change you, oh I'd say, God. for the worst, because it's like you don't really, kind of like you said, you don't ever really get a voice. Yeah. And everything that you're taught is like, you know, well, they know it's not wrong, but to an extent that they want to corrupt you, it's better to just tell you it's wrong. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Seven says, they cannot even define what a man or a woman is, Mr. M. Not the sharpest tools in the shed. Why ask them questions? We, we ask them questions because uh, as much as I say that I, I'm not trying to convert anyone, I do want to have these conversations because I do want people to come closer to Christ. And to, to you know, like, and kind of like I was telling the Maverick, I was like, you know, he says he will never do it. But if you take God out of the situation... You know, you take the whole religion thing out of the situation. A lot of these are still sins to mankind. Like, a lot of the things that are going on are stuff that, that's not going to help perpetuate mankind in a, in a positive positive light. So, like, we ask them these questions. We're, we're not expecting them to change, but we're hoping they will. So that that's why I do it. I, I can't speak for everyone else. Uh, I don't know about Blizz. I know, I know Blizz... Well, you're, you're looking to have a kid, too, right? Like, you're looking to have a family and shit like that, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so, like, you know, men like us... And, like, I would consider that a, a, a pretty godly um, objective, you know, is to, is to have a kid and and continue to reproduce, you know, and, like, continue to further, further life and society. The Pi says... Uh, don't say gay bill was a Florida bill... And I'll paraphrase to not let ed educators teach children about sexuality. It's a ton more specifics on who and what, but that's a super basic view of it. Yeah, we ask them questions in a sense to make them question themselves and hope they can come to some improvement. Yeah. So it's like yeah. a, a lot of the time, like you'll notice like even Maverick, like he asks a lot of rhetorical questions. You know, he asks a lot. That's why I'm so quiet a lot of the, well, First of all, he's pretty domineering, you know, he... He kind of takes control of the conversation, but uh, you, you know, like he he says the same thing. It's like um, he he asks a lot of rhetorical questions, but it's rhetorical in the sense that it's supposed to make you question yourself, you know. And yeah. it's not. It, it, go go ahead, Bliss. Oh no, I would agree. You're good. Yeah, so it's it's not so much to convince you or anything, convince anyone of anything. It's more of a. To be like, hey, is this really what you believe? Or, are, you know, like, maybe what you believe may be a little flawed. Maybe, you know, try thinking of it in a different direction. That's more what I'm doing. Because, like I said, as far as, like, anyone's salvation, like, I can give a damn. You know, like, I've struggled with mine long enough that I know how difficult of a process it is. That I'm not even going to try to, like, even coerce someone into believing what I do, you know? I just, I, I put my experiences out there and I let people come to their own conclusions. But man, we've been at I this think for... That's the, oh, oh, no. Yes, sir? Go ahead. I was going to say, I think that's the best way to do it simply because it's like a lot of things people say nowadays is in a position where it's like, 
you know it's wrong so it's like do you just need to hear it to hear yourself be wrong you know yeah. what i'm saying to yeah, yeah. agree or is it you know like are you just disagreeing to rebel or are you is this truly what you believe in yeah, you know, and and I mean that, that's tough to say. You know, I'm I'm sure there's there's people that like truly believe in it, cause you know I, I guess I was there too. You know, I believed in a lot of crazy stuff. Well, I mean, and I'm not saying that's necessarily the wrong thing, but I'll kind of go back to that Gundam Wing uh, uh theory that I put up, where Buddy he was literally just sitting in the corner because his beliefs came crashing down in front of him. If you know that it's gonna be something like that, why even put yourself into a position where that's a possibility okay um you know what give me one second i'm gonna i'm gonna smoke i'm gonna ask you more about that situation because like I, all i know about it is that you said there was a gundam wing episode where a dude like curled up into a ball yeah, and um so so, so like least, yeah. yeah so like i'm gonna ask you about i'm gonna go on a smoke bag real quick but when we come uh -huh. back to it, I, I want you to talk to me about that and like you know t let, let me know exactly what that's about you know like and why you keep bringing it up Okay, yeah. Right. Oh, absolutely. You did. I'll be yes, right sir. back.
All right, I am back. Welcome back. Thank, thank you. Let me uh, catch up on some chats real quick. The Pi says a good example is the Twitter crowd, as people call them. They say all of these things, but they don't say the same things when they are put in one-on-one -on -one situations with people who don't agree. And you know what, the uh, Pi. I agree with you on that one, you know, because I, I work as a massage therapist, both actually both me and Blizz do. Um, and like a lot of the times when you talk to people one on one, they're, they're a lot more reasonable than when they're in the crowd, you know, so I, I, I agree with you on that one. Uh, Seven says, teach children, and then Pi comes back with, and when those few that do actually say slash do the things they claim, they almost always end up looking like a total buffoon in front of everyone yeah it's true because you know and it, it kind of goes back full circle like what we were saying at the very beginning of the stream um hypocrisy says bender is that like you know if, if you are right if you are right in what you're doing why do you have to like try to justify it so much you know like if you know exactly what you're doing if you know what you're doing is the right thing to do why do you have to convince so many people of it you should just be doing it, right? Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, so Blizz, so you you keep talking about this this Gundam Wing episode, this character who believed in like a system that was so fragile he ended up in a uh, a fetal position. Yeah. I wouldn't say necessarily he believed in the position, but he created uh, the mobile dolls. So essentially, he, in, he created uh, the what? Just for a little bit of back. Uh, he could make the mobile dolls. So okay. in uh, Gundam Wing, uh, just a little backstory is essentially. Um, yeah, because I, I don't know anything to about do away Gundam. With people being used for. Yeah, that's why I'm just giving you a little backstory. So essentially, they're trying to do away kind of with people being used for war, and they're just trying to win war by massive numbers. So they okay. have Buddy create this. Um, and I'm trying to find this. I'm I'm trying to find this name for you. But um, he creates the uh, mobile dolls, which is essentially the end-all, be-all of people, you know, being used for war. And so they're, they're he called... is so adamant that there's no... Uh... Okay, hang on a second. You're breaking up a bunch. Oh, no worries. I can um, pick back up wherever you need me to. Yeah, so he said he created mobile dolls. Yeah, so they're just like essentially just ro pilot list uh, um, mobile suits, like okay. robots. Yeah, yeah. So, so he is, and he's so adamant in this system where it's like, okay, there's nothing, like no, no human can beat this. Like, there's no way anything could come in the way of this being the end all be all to conquer the world like plant the galaxy type of shit right and then in comes you know the gundams and shit and it's like he gets to the point where it's like you now either have to accept what you you know like that you're wrong you can so you can accept this and you can either figure out why you're wrong or you can go the complete opposite direction and do Double, triple down and know that you're just that wrong okay. and i bring this up a lot because i feel like in society especially now with the days there's a lot of people who is like even how we were talking about having people in just the wrong position and that gets people hurt it's like you have people in such a delusion where it's like okay you know this is just not anything that you should be a part of or anything you should be doing but you're so wrapped up in that delusion that you don't even care anymore and you're willing to go that complete raw opposite direction instead of trying to direct anything for whatever reason i don't know but you know okay. yeah it, that's uh just very part of that yeah you you're breaking up you're breaking up pretty bad right now but i i get what you're saying you're saying that like is these people that build these ships and they like instead of realizing that their ship is sinking they go down with it right Shit, it's, and at that, and when you say it like that, you could even say it's the tight story of the Titanic. Yeah, I mean, kind kind of, you know. I mean, they they wrote their own story, you know. Honestly, like I, I I hate to be the kind that says this, but like you know, when they said that even God can't sink the ship, like 
I, I'm not saying that like God is a super vengeful God or anything like that, but like when you invite that kind of negativity, you know, what I'm saying like it's it's yeah. one thing it's one thing to be confident in what you're doing. Like you could have been like, by the grace of God, we're gonna make it through this, or even like you didn't even have to bring it in at all. But to say something like, and like, what's funny, like, like look at John Lennon too. You know, from the Beatles. I was just about to bring him up. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, pretty much anyone who tries to put themselves on that level gets very quickly rectified. Right, and and it's one of those things, and it's like, man, I I hate to say that God is a vengeful God. But it's one of those things, like, if you, once you try to start comparing yourself, you're asking for a world of hurt. Yeah. Let me see. Let me catch up on chat. And I think, Go ahead. I was going to say, it's, it feels as almost as if people have gotten to a point where it's like, I, I don't think fearing God is a bad thing. It's, just, you know, like, to an extent, but it's like, we've gotten to a point where no one fear has that fear in them anymore. Yeah, and I I struggle with that because like I don't I don't believe that God wants us to be afraid of Him, you know. I I think okay. it's more... yeah. I think actually a better way to put it is um humble humble mm. people are no no longer humble. Yeah, like they they want us to respect them. They want us to understand. Or he he wants us to understand where we come from, and the fact right that like we can't do anything that we do on our own. And like, you know, once you start challenging him in a certain way, he he's going to show himself and he'll show that he's unbeatable, you know. And uh, it's always sad to see, but I mean, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, pick. Yeah. Uh, you you were uh, check, uh, picking up in chat. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was just the pie said not only do they go down with it, they try to convince more people to get on board. It's the whole crab syndrome. You know, like how you can have a whole bin of crabs and have a no top on top of it because they just pull each other down. It's yeah. m- misery loves company. And again, like, you know, we, we keep going full circle back to what Maverick started with is that like how people have to like make themselves so self-righteous and make themselves right. It's like if you have to convince yourself and convince other people that you're right so much, are you really right? Yeah. Well, and that's why I say it, because morally speaking, you shouldn't have to really convince anybody of anything. No, not it should at all. be maybe something to have a top topic about, but it mm-hmm. should almost be almost innate in a person's nature that, like, okay, I can tell you're you're right or you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, it shouldn't uh, ever really be such a heavy debate, especially the, the way we're having it now. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna tell you something, Blizz. God, God is telling me this. He's telling me to tell you this and everyone else who's listening is to not get stuck in the details. You know, so like, for example, you know, like I used to be the one that would like argue about the whole. You, do you know the whole Jonah and the, the, the whale or Jonah and the big fish story? Yes. Yeah. So like I used to be one of those people who would argue, be like, look, there's no such thing as a big fish. There's like, even like. There's no such thing as a whale that could swallow a person whole who could live inside of them for three days. Like, if you think about it, the largest whale in the world is a a blue whale, right? Right. And they could probably swallow a person, but even them, their mouth isn't designed for that, right? Right. And, like, there's no such thing as a fish that could swallow a person. So it's like, it's one of those things, but it's like... Jesus has been telling me, God has been telling me that like not to get stuck in the details of the story, but listen to actual the the message of the story. Okay. Right, because like the whole the whole thing was was that like Jonah was on them, and the storm that that or he was on the on the ship, and the storm came because of him. Because if I'm not, I'm gonna have to relook into the the story, but I believe he challenged God, and God was like, "All right, you want to challenge me? Here's the storm." So the storm came and everyone was complaining and he told everyone on the ship, he's like, look, the storm is because of me. If you cast me off of this boat, the storm will stop. And they did that. They threw him off and uh, the storm stopped. But he was in the middle of the ocean. But then that's when God sent the big fish, the whale, whatever it was, to swallow him. And he and he lived, right? He he lived in the in the belly of the whale for three days, apparently. Now... 
thinking about it logically, like I can't think of any animal that anyone can do that. You know what I mean? Right. It, he'd get digested. Something would happen. Exactly. And, like, even then, because, like, there, there was a story I heard the other day of a scuba diver who compla- who, who claimed that he got um almost swallowed by a, uh, a humpback whale. And I was like, those are, you know, not quite as big as a blue whale, but they're, they're really large. And even him, he couldn't fully fit inside of this humpback whale mouth. So I was like, if you oh, really wow. get if you really get caught into the details of this thing... Like, I mean, humans are large. We're, we're pretty large animals. You know what I mean? So, like, if anything could yeah. swallow us whole, like, literally, like, like if you think about it in our monkey brains right now, if anything could swallow us whole, it would kill us. Like, by yes. compression or something like that, we wouldn't be able to live three days and all of a sudden be able to spit out, right? But, like, what what I've been hearing lately is that, like, not to get up in those tiny little details and think about the message. Okay. You know, if I'm saying, if, if I could go ahead. Oh, yes. No, uh, what were you saying? No, no, go ahead. Oh, I really didn't have anything. That's what I'm saying. What were you saying? Oh, <laughs> that that was basically the end of my point. I'm gonna catch up on chat here. Uh, the pie says, "Yeah, crabs in a bucket is my favorite expression with these people, and that's most people. It, it really is. You know, misery loves company. That's come from a that 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 saying comes from a place." Um, because misery does love company. I mean, the, the crabs will pull you down with them. Um, Moby Dick, the original, is a great moral story. Moby, Moby Dick, huh? The the only thing I really know about the original Moby Dick was that Captain Ishmael became extremely obsessed with this white whale. And, like, uh, essentially, like, he hated that whale. And I don't know if you've heard this, Blizz, but I heard a, a saying recently that you become what you hate. Have you heard that one? Oh, uh, no. And I was like, it, it kind of makes sense because if you dislike something enough to, like, hate it, you, you kind of become obsessed with it, right? Yeah. And and eventually you'll become that thing. I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. But it makes sense to me. I have to think on it for a little bit longer, but it, it, sounds, some, it sounds roundabout right. Right, yeah, like but uh, intrinsically, you have to... intrinsically, oh, it yeah. sounds intrinsically, it sounds right, right? You become right. what you hate. But like, let me ask you something: Is there anything that you truly hate? Honestly, no. Like, yeah, I'm may... a pretty I mean... laid back person. I don't, I couldn't have the path. Like, I know I say I probably could like hate something in the moment, but that could just be the moment. I, right, right. I don't think I have the passion to hate something. Yeah. You know? maybe, maybe that's why you can't understand the saying, because like in order to understand it, you have to be able to truly hate something. Very true. Yeah. Cause I couldn't bring myself to, I mean, I, I understand it, but it's like, th- that's a lot of passion. In order to fully hate something. Absolutely. That that takes a that takes a lot of power. Like hate's such a strong word. Very true. And I think yeah, just even said it's a very powerful subject. You know what I'm saying? But it's not something that like yeah, I I don't th- I mean like I could think of people possibly, but at that point, it's like, is it bothering me now? No. So I right. I don't yeah so. Let me catch up on chat here. We we got a lot going on. Chat chat's loving this, by the way, Blizz. So. Very nice. Uh, doo, doo, doo. Moby Dick. Bender says you need to know when the details are important and when they are not. That's wisdom. Ooh, that's deep. Yeah. To know when the details are important and when they're not. Okay. I I, I hear that. I hear that. You know, and and like to me. I'm going to go ahead and touch on that because, like, for me, it's like, even though I, I'm a, a true man of God, I believe, and stuff like that, especially, like, what happened to me recently, like, I don't know that the Bible is 100% true. Like, it's, I, I don't know that it's a history book, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you take a lot of these stories and put them in any other kind of book, it would be a fable, if that makes any sense. 
so I'm yeah. like, I'm that, that's kind of what I'm getting. You, you, you hear what I'm saying, Blizz? Like, like it would it would be hard to hear the story of Samson right next to the story of Hercules and be able to pick out which one was fake and which one was real, right? Right. So that that's well, kind of. It's like, oh, I was not, gonna say, it, and it's also like even some um. Like, cause what? There's like Arabian Nights and a hundred Arabian Nights and stuff. That's a fairy tale, and it's yep. like, so what makes that so much significantly different? And I mean, like, I understand there, there's viewpoints, there's this, there's that, but th I just use that as a point to say yep. that it's like there's other like books like the Bible from other religions that we right. would sit there and be like, oh yeah, this is what this was supposed to be, what or this was the intention of this book. Yeah, 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 and that, that's kind of what I'm getting at is that, like, that's what I feel like Jesus has been telling me is to tell people not to get stuck in the details. You know what I mean? Like, look, read in between the lines. Like, read these stories and read in between them. Read what they actually mean. Like, don't get caught up on whether it's a big fish or a whale. You know, don't get caught up on whether there there was a great flood or not. You know what I mean? Like, right. start start looking deeper into it. Um, let me, uh, man, chats. I'm having a hard time keeping up with chat today. That's a good problem to have. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's a good word. Uh, Seven says, not me, self-righteous. I just love complete Bible scriptures, obey, studying it, and putting it to practice. The only one good or righteous is Father Yehovah or YHVH. Amen. Vendor says, Futurama, Leela hates the whale. When Leela becomes the whale. Ooh, yes. Futurama was a really good show. It really was. It was really deep. A lot deeper than people give it credit for, I think. Uh, there were several episodes that like were, were super like moving to me emotionally. Um, Bender says she even realizes it. The Pi says they're children's novels, but the Chronicles of Narnia is designed to teach children some of the Bible's lessons using allegory like a lion and a witch instead of Jesus and the devil etc I mean you know if you look back on it like the, all the the fairy tales and stuff like that were a lot darker than than people than than Disney than before they got Disneyfied you know what I mean like Hansel and Gretel and all that shit the Jack and the Beanstalk they they were meant they were designed for a way for children to be able to face their fears uh, in a safe way, so um, it makes sense that that Narnia would work that way, and I I can see it. I'd I'd have to read it again, but I can see it. Um, you have anything to add here, uh, Blizz? Before I'm I'm kind of dominating here. Oh no, do your thing, homie. All right. Uh, do 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 do. Bender says I hate animal abuse. Uh, yeah. You know, and and, and it kind of comes down to it. Animal abuse is shitty because if you think about it even in genesis the bible says that god was given dominion over the earth right so that means like all the animals all the plants are here on the earth to serve humankind and it's like when you abuse an animal even when you abuse plants and stuff like that like it's just it's just a shitty thing to do because you're put in charge of them it's almost like a parent abusing their child right like am i wrong I definitely can see the comparison. The Pie says, yeah, in the original Moby Dick, if I remember right, one of the crew was actually the devil encouraging the captain's behavior, and he even showed himself in the captain, and the captain persisted. Yeah, that's a very good point, Bender. It's not always easy either way. Then Seven says, do you think Christ can hate? Ooh, that, that I mean... For me, I mean, no. I, I know that it, it's impossible for Jesus to hate. But kind of like I was talking to, to Maverick before, it seems like God can hate. It seems like, you know, especially in the Old Testament, that God may be kind of a vengeful, kind of a hateful type being. I don't know. What do you think, Bliss? I wanted to say I don't think hate's like the proper word. I think it's more like... Uh... Almost in a sense, like, essentially, like, if you're not going to be grateful for, back to the humble thing, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, if you're not going to be great, I can show you ungrateful. It's like, I think, and that's why I say, like, 
with humans, it's like I don't think people really like people want to live their lives so adamantly that we don't really realize our places. Like may, maybe we do have not not necessarily specific roles in society, but it's like maybe we do have things we're supposed to be doing that we're just, hey man, screw this. And it's like, so just understand that God can play that game better than you, like, way better than you. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean he's the one that created it, right? Right. And that just fall even that falls in line with like everything I believe, even down to like the alien stuff. It's like okay, like okay, a human versus an al- uh, like advanced race. What do you think's gonna happen? Yeah, fair you enough. Know, I, not something and, I want to find out. And, and, and hold on to that thought, because I'm gonna ask you about that here in a second. How, how much longer do you got? Oh, I can stay for another 10, 15 minutes. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna ask you about that thought, and I'll let you go. Oh, okay. let me catch up on chat real quick. Um, you do, you, you do. The pie says, "Yeah, that's a very good point, Bender. It's not always easy either." Um, Seven says, "Do you think Christ can hate?" Uh, yeah, and, and kind of like you know, Blizz, Blizz answered that pretty, uh, pretty eloquently. It's, it's not so much hate. It's, uh, it's like a, um, you know, kind of like you know, if you were ha- if you had a child and you're like, hey, I gave you all this stuff. And you're trying to divorce me because you think I'm a shitty per- parent. You know what I mean? Like, not necessarily hate, maybe contempt. You know, I don't, I don't know if that's the right word. But yeah, I wouldn't even know what would be a good word for it. It's just like essentially, you think that you know, you, you think you know, but you, someone knows way better than you and can do, execute things way better than you. Right, and it's it's kind of like it's obvious they're right there, they're doing better than you, and you still think you can yeah. do better. Okay, so yeah, Bender- like, I, I would never want to live in that delusion knowing that a force could come and crush me just because of my ignorance. That, right. that just doesn't seem ideal to me. <laughs> Bender says, I have no religious experience, but I think Jesus does not hate. I have two plants that are over 17 years old. I will never throw them away. Okay. Very nice. That, yeah, that, that's a little, I mean, that's awesome. 17 years old, like I, I've never been able to keep a plant longer than a couple months but bender asks, isn't that jesus thing no hate absolutely yeah G- jesus is all about love and that's kind of where a lot of people get confused and that, myself included because it's like you know if you look in the bible even like the the book of nahum that i was reading it's like god god is real vengeful he's real jealous but it's like only to his enemies and i think that's like that's the important part is identifying who his enemies are you know but at the same time it's like who am i to say who his enemies are and then you go into the new testament that talks about jesus and about jesus's life and about how he lived and about how he lived a sinless existence and First of all, I can see what Maverick was saying. Like, it, it's almost impossible for me to wrap my head around a sinless existence because our lives are so ingrained in sin. Yeah. Like, do, do you agree with that, Blizz? Like, what do you think about that? No, I definitely agree. And it sounds like some, like, almost like God Emperor type shit where it's like almost like how everything's placed so properly. It, you couldn't replicate replicate if you wanted to yeah you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. it's so weird that it it's almost like inarguable and then the simple made fact that you have so many people or i say three is a lot of people especially for the time period that are able to conscript such a um common you know like the the um information is um very common amongst the um written dialect that they put out right 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 like how can you do that three times in a row ever because like you got to also think about like the ironic thing is what is it like especially in the more recent society it's like three wishes three strikes you're out it's like three has been a very <laughs> commonplace thing and yep. like, so, so you know like you, you know that it's a lot of coincidence but you know that that's a good that's a good thing to put out or um, a, a good point to bring up too is that like our minds tend to like think of numbers and like patterns and three is a very common pattern for us to, to think about like even look at the Holy Trinity God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit there's three of them 
you know, that create one being. Yeah, that's it's, and it's been very com commonplace even since like I've been a little kid. Right, right, right. Interesting. Um, I forgot what I was gonna ask you about. <laughs> I told no you to hang, I told you to hang on to something, and I forgot what it was. Uh, something about a the alien portion. Oh, oh yeah. So I, I wanted to ask you before you left, like how you believe that we should go about it then because like you know you had mentioned that like okay so we we had that common ground that we believe that whoever created us is far beyond our comprehension right right and you said you don't believe that we should go as far as like worshiping so i guess my my question to you is like what do you consider to be worshiping oh uh, i don't really have a answer for that i apologize oh, oh like okay. i guess no, i mean don't don't, don't don't apologize like if if it's a tough question it's a tough question you know oh uh, yeah i because I, I guess like the way i think about it is like because like especially the way people like kind of like how i said earlier where people think of worship more or less like okay this is like in not necessarily an end-all be-all but this ultimately makes my life significantly better than if i had not done this mm -hmm. and i don't necessarily think it's something like that i think it's more or less that it let's say like god does come to this planet it's not going to be because you were like you know on your knees praying every night or something like that i don't think those things those two things correlate okay so you think I don't think it's a bad thing to do necessarily, but it's they don't necessarily correlate. I got you. So, so, so you believe God's gonna be God whether you worship or not? Right. Okay. Kind of I mean, like how you guys were saying um, along the lines of like to get to where like to get where you are or where you need to be to be into heaven or whatnot. Mm -hmm. You, it's not going to necessarily affect it your decision as much as you think, per se. Okay. So, so you think you can kind of, let me see if I'm kind of getting you, you, you feel like you can earn your way into heaven, like it kind of like doesn't really matter what you believe, like at the end we're going to have a chance? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that because that sounds kind of like bribing and it's like, I, I wouldn't say you're doing it that way, it's just more or less along the lines of almost like if you're if it's meant for you in a sense it's going to be like if you you know you've done the right things or in your life in a sense mm -hmm. it'll be um it, you know you'll you'll have a knowledge of it beforehand okay if that makes sense yeah yeah i got and it I, i'll kind of break oh what's up no no so, so let me ask you this then so why wouldn't you worship then if there's a being that's so far above you that created you that you can't even comprehend, what would be the downside to worshiping them? I don't think there's a downside. I just don't think it, there's necessarily an upside as much as like, I think the, oh. the upside of it would be skewed. Like the so, way so, people, or, or what's up? Go, go ahead. I was going to say, I just think the portrayal or the way people think what this ups, the upside is, is it's it's definitely not that. And that's why I guess that's why I don't do it. Okay. So you, so you feel like whatever we're going to be judged as, we're going to be judged as across the board, no matter what we do. Yeah. Okay. Kind of um, going back to how we brought up the Titanic thing. Like, essentially, it's like, if you already have the knowledge that this is going down mm -hmm. it, it it's already too late at that point and so it, okay yeah so it's like it's one of those things where it's like and that's why i say it's like i don't necessarily think how people th like have the per perception of uh worship and such i don't think that necessarily does anything Kind of, we can also tie this in with the um how I said uh Buddy became a god essentially in Final Fantasy Tactics. It's like mm -hmm. the things that our human mind portrays as oh yeah, dude, th we are doing the most. It's like that might come as little to nothing. Oh, so, 
okay. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to touch on that. Let me catch up on chat real quick. Uh, okay. Seven says, I have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit guide me to the Holy Scriptures with the proof. Amen. The Pi says, Trimutative. I'm not sure what that is. The Trimu. Or, or Trimu. Verate. Trimu. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, hold on. I'm retarded right now. <laughs> the the trim, Trimu Verit. Have you heard of that? The Trimu Verit? The Holy Trinity as others use. Oh, okay. I never heard of it called the Trimu Verit. I oh. have not. Yeah, me either. I've always called it the Holy Trinity. That's the only way I've heard it. Um, That word made me sound stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Seven says, Bender, you can look it up for yourself. It's true. The Pi says, sound like Blizz is saying you don't need a church to pray and worship. You do it through your daily activities. I'm trying to remember the proper way to say it, but I've heard people yeah, say no, a few actually, things That's like a that. good way to sum it up as well. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll touch on that here. Let me finish what Seven says. At Bender, no holy trinity. This is also being preached by the false churches. I have scriptures to prove it. So there's no Holy Trinity. Okay, Seven. We're, we're going to have to put a, a bookmark on that one. Uh, because that may be a little controversial, even among Christians, there, that there's no Holy Trinity. Um, but yeah, um, Blizz, you were saying that Pi, Pi worded it really well, that you don't need a church to pray and worship. You do it through your daily activities. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, essentially, like, looking at, uh, like, worshiping as, like... I, I think a lot of people skew it as this thing where it's like, oh, this is the end all be all. Because I've heard a lot of people say like, oh, well, it, their argument is like, well, if I'm still sinning, I can just go home and pray. And then everything, you know, it all balances out where it's like, I, I really don't think it carries that much value. Or we can even say where people build deities in, you know, in honor of gods and stuff like that, where it's like, like I said, if you have the... It, like almost infinite power and in, or what we would perceive as infinite power and knowledge why would you sit here you would you would sit here and you would probably like fly by and be like oh nice and then keep going it would be second years of someone's life is seconds of your time right okay so i i, I, I think i see what you said so are, are you trying to say that like you believe that god would consider us so insignificant that it doesn't matter if we worship him or not in a sense yeah and it's like not not even to say that as an insult it's just hey, if he created this planet who's to say he didn't create another planet who's mm -hmm. to say he doesn't have better things to do and that's right. what i'm saying like and if he has infinite power once again like i said years of people like we'll take the pyramids or let's say he was very fascinated with the pyramids years of someone's life it took to build those pyramids he's gonna go through that in mere seconds right and it's not a diss it's literally the power he has mm -hmm. yeah so and, it's, and like, it, it's kind of like oh. saying you know because like they they say in genesis you know that it took him seven days to create the heavens and the earth but like people also say that like a day for god is like an eternity to a human exactly and i don't doubt that at all okay Okay, I, I think I see what you're saying, but so so, you believe that we don't matter to God? Not necessarily that we don't matter, because He obviously, you know, created us for a reason. But it's uh, like, but what what our we significance for that? Like, it's almost like we are a speck in a picture. Mm -hmm. It's not that we're not getting admired, because like we're a speck on the Mona Lisa. Right. It's not, like I said, it's not that we're not getting admired in our entirety, but it's like, hey, there's so much more that goes to the Mona Lisa than that one drop of ink. Okay. So it's like, okay, like, okay. That's I'm, what I'm saying. Like, I'm, it's I'm, like, I'm, I'm getting what you're putting. I'm, I'm getting what you're yeah. putting down that, like, God is so, so un, unfathomably large for us to understand that, like, we have no bearing on what he does. Yeah. So it's like, regardless of if we're like pretty much like look at it, like if we're grateful or not like if we're not grateful okay just get rid of it and restart mm -hmm. but if, since we are grateful people and he sees that we're worth this time then it, it's not it's not a diss that and that's right. what I'm, saying. I'm not saying this as an insult or anything like that i'm just saying this as a means of 
it like what people think they're doing that's so significant like wrapping themselves up in mega churches and all that kind of shit you're doing that in a sense to like and it's a lot of people who are weak-minded and are so scared where it's like i really want to get into heaven i know i've done bad things but i hoping that you know god will see me for what i'm worth and such like that okay. it's like at that point it's like dude it might be a little too late like what you're trying to portray through what you're saying you should have been portraying through your actions okay 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 so i i hear you so it's like it's almost like like he's so big he already knows what's gonna happen like whatever you do it's almost too late yeah okay and it's like and that's why i that's why i kept bringing up buddy that like sat there in his delusions before he got blown up because it's like you have people that'll either sit there and it's like hey you know like they'll really sit there and think about it like okay maybe i should reconsider what i'm doing change my lifestyle and this or that or it's like no i'm good man I, i'm not doing nothing wrong i i i'm living fine as day because it's you know it's not raining today or so you know whatever right, and right. it's like I feel like that's really where society has kind of been pushed, and it's not not a good thing at all. Okay, I'm I'm hearing you, yeah, and it's funny, Blizz, because like the more that I ask questions and the more that you talk, the more that I feel like you're aligned with the Christian ideals than you think you are. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. It's you know, just that, like I said, I guess like it, it's just. I, I guess the wording I put behind it and that's why I say like it's like I don't want to ever be in a position where I'm like wrong as fuck so I'm like hey yeah <laughs> I, I I agree with you and like I'm, I'm with you there and like you know I, I agree with the the fact that like we're so insignificant that no matter what we believe God's gonna do what he does right like it's, it's not like the the Greeks or the Romans believe or it's like we had to believe in God in order for that god to have power you know what i mean right like whether we no, believe or not he's like extremely omnipotent and mm -hmm. like i said our influence isn't gonna it, it's not that it doesn't matter it's just like we're not making a fucking spirit bomb here that that that's not what we're doing <laughs> he, he's gonna do, do whatever what he wants when he wants like and but like i say that and you know we can laugh about that but i can promise you there's so many people that'll sit there and be like no no it, it's all me baby and it's like okay if that's what you want to believe right okay I, I i hear you i hear you so do you think that people should be worshiping god or i don't think it hurts or a I higher power that's your morals Oh, yeah, I, th I don't think it hurts. I think if it helps you sleep at night and stuff like that with the fan on warm, mm -hmm. uh, by all means, it, it's not I don't think so... it should, like especially the way how some people look at it. And it's like it's something that's vilified. No, I think it's if you can use it and it's a bit super benefit to you by all means. But if it's not something that can benefit you. I, I don't necessarily know exactly where I stand on that position okay. because it's like. It, it it sounds like it benefits me, so I, I'm I'm not objected. So I, I was gonna ask you that that was gonna be my next thing is that like where where do you stand on it? Like, do you worship God? Do you think it's kind of a waste of time? Do you think that He's like not even hearing you? Oh, I think He hears me, but it's uh, and I don't think it's a waste of time either. I think it's just like like I said, it's it's almost like uh, let's say Santa Claus was real for a second, right? And okay. With the list of how many people, like, you know, how much stuff people want for Christmas, you think he's really going to sit there and go through a yes or click a yes or a no for mm. everybody? Okay. Okay. I, I, I see what you're saying. And, like, here, here's like, where, I, where I'm going to argue cool. with you on that is that you're thinking as being a creator through a human's eyes. Right. Right. Like, you're not thinking through a god's eyes. No. Well, you know, I, I believe that he he does like, you know, he does go through those lists and stuff like that. Because like, even though, like you said, like a, a lifetime for us is like a blink of an eye for him. He, he has that time to analyze us and look at us and like, you know, and scrutinize and stuff like that. Because like as much as like, you know, time flies for him, it's kind of the opposite way too, where time is absolutely standing still for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
I could see that. Well, then I would say at that point, it's not necessarily that. And I, I would like, it's not that he doesn't care or anything like that. I don't want it to sound like that. It's just right. simply made that, like I said, for, for you to get, and I, I guess this was the point I was making, but for you to get everything you want for Christmas, do mm-hmm. you think that's going to happen? No. Not saying you don't d- d- deserve it, but it's like, uh, well, no, actually, I am kind of saying you don't deserve everything you want for Christmas. <laughs> Absolutely, we don't. That's my point. Okay. That's my point. You're not okay. supposed to be able to get everything you want. Right. Right, right. Let me uh, catch up on chats real quick because it looks like Bender's leaving. Seven says, no, Holy Trinity. This is also being preached by the false churches. I have scriptures to prove it. Pi says, free um virate it's roman so latin but it's the system that people were ruled by the three cream i'm gonna have to look that one up politicians effectively okay then seven says who leads the mega churches do they obey christ of the holy bible if not who do they obey and then bender says good night and then probably says later bender all right bender peace out thank you for joining us for this very interesting conversation here yes sir have a good night so okay so I, I i i can see what you're saying that you feel like we're we're insignificant enough to where god doesn't really care right not or, necessarily care but it's just like, like, it, it's, like it, it doesn't matter what so like, matters to us mm-hmm. would it matter to him i guess in this like Oh, that's 100 i'll take the christmas thing for example it's like okay like i just said you don't you're not going to get everything you want but if you were to get that xbox or whatnot you're still going to be happy mm-hmm. it's just it th- this it's probably someone that's so advanced at knowing what we like need and want that we can't begin to fathom everything right no absolutely like, not yeah so it's like i'm trying to think of a good way to put this into words um I, I think you're doing great you know i'm just trying to like get to like a, you know an understanding here okay um honestly i don't know how to put it into words so, and i do apologize no but no, I, I, I guess i stumped myself <laughs> no it, it's a big question you know and th- that's kind of the whole reason that i'm doing this forum the way that i'm doing is because i'm i'm looking to question people and like get them to question themselves and like you know like actually like question why they believe what they believe you know right because for the longest time you know like i mean there was a point that i didn't believe in god and then i got to a point where i was like okay well i believe in god but i don't know if i believe in jesus you know and then that's oh, when God. jesus like showed himself to me and, and and all this stuff and i was like you know but i've only gotten to that point because i was questioning myself the whole time and I was like, why do I believe what I believe? You know? And right. like, like, like I said, I think you and I are kind of aligned in, in, a, in a lot of ways. You know, I, I really feel like, you know, you're, you're saying that because God is so powerful, what we do doesn't matter to him. Yeah. Well, like, I guess, yeah. Yeah, in a sense where it's just like, essentially we get to live our own life and that's why we get to live with so like no restrictions like there's nothing stopping you from doing anything you want to do in this world absolutely besides ourselves Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so it's like that that's pretty much exactly what i'm saying whereas it's like a sense of um just like him having better things to do and that's once again like i said no disregard <laughs> to any human being it's just hey dude if you had unlimited amounts of power you're not going to sit here on one planet and work the jobs we work you just wouldn't yeah. money would not have a significance to you no, not it, the way it does to anybody it, it, it doesn't and like you know and like you know i, I kind of struggle with this too but like you know it's hard to like think how god how a god would think you know right to like put himself in that in that situation because like you know like i said he does have like you know all this time to do everything but at the same time he has all this time to judge us you know and to like scrutinize what we're doing so let me ask you something then so you you believe 
instead of like God being one being, you believe like he's like an alien race, right? Yes. So would you call him a, a they instead of a him? I honestly the the gender doesn't use or the pronouns don't even matter. Don't, don't even like, matter. I, I I actually I, I love that answer. The pronoun doesn't matter. So so let's say. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Go ahead. I would just imagine once again where is you have if you have that much power, you're like uh, okay, yeah, wh whatever you want to call me. Because it, it, it wouldn't even like you're not. I, I don't think you would be so sensitive to be like. I, I don't know, like, oh, you said you you called me a this instead of the, of a this. Okay, well, I'm just gonna snap and you're gone. Right. <laughs> okay, yeah. So so I hear you. So like, I mean, basically, you're saying the pronoun is it, God doesn't care what you call them, right? Right. Okay. So let let me see what Pi says. Pi has a big one. Now I'm all over the place, but one of the things I would challenge Blizz on with this. Uh oh, you got a challenge here, Blizz is thinking of it like the fourth dimensional being what concept would trim scale etc matter theoretical infinite amount of ability to manipulate their creatures or creations hang on one second let me see if i can do you understand that in a sense think of it like a fourth dimensional being like we are kind of uh well like yeah we're we're god's creation and it's like you know this is I wouldn't say it's his playground, but you know this is his creation. Yeah, it's a sandbox. This is something yeah, something he has complete governance over, and yeah. I get that. Yeah, and and Pi, like I I actually mentioned this earlier. I was like, us trying to think like a god would be us trying to think of like a fourth dimension. Like humans are incapable of understanding what a fourth dimension would look like. You know, so with that, that's kind of what we're getting at. You know, this, this whole thing is that like you know trying to figure out what it is that like I guess that that God would even care about like why he would even care about us worshiping him you know or like what it is that we do yeah so and I know you were going on to something interesting action... there oh. oh I'm sorry no you, you were going on to something interesting there yeah and I would even say um that it's like probably certain actions way have more value but and that's why I say like I think just worshiping by itself does probably doesn't do much for you. But as far as you know everything in in its whole entirety, yeah, you want to be able to present yourself in a better light than a negative light, of course. Right. So so what does I kind of go back to my first question? What does worshiping me, mean to you? uh i honestly couldn't i i honestly don't have an answer for that one unfortunately okay yeah i mean i mean think about it you know and then come back to me whenever whenever you know you do answer because like I, I wouldn't be able to i mean to me if you would ask me that question worshiping is basically just being gracious for for everything all the opportunities okay. that we we've been given you know and to understand that we don't understand everything to understand that why we like we don't understand what's going on in the world or what's going on in the universe and stuff like that um and like kind of giving it to the higher power you know being like hey we understand that you know what's going on and that you're you're allowing us to live and to exist in our space doing what we're doing here you know so to me that that's that's kind of what worshiping is to to kind of giving all of our gratitude away and being like you know just being happy for the things that we do have you know for for example this morning i took a shower and like i don't know if it's because the the pipes around my apartment building are frozen or whatnot but like i had very little water pressure right and it was just like trickling out almost and for a second i was getting upset you know i was like man i pay all this money to live here and like we don't even have the right kind of water pressure yada 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 but then at the same time i was like well there's people who don't have hot water at all you know so at least i could stand yeah. in the shower with a, a little a little trickle of warm water which is a lot more than some people have you know so to to me that to me that's what worshiping is to understand that like we we're, we're privileged in where we are that we should be grateful for what we have and to know that it could be taken away from us at any point okay
Okay. Well, yeah, when you put it like that, I guess worship, yeah, worship to me would mean just simply living your life to the best of your ability, knowing that you're doing the best you can, not okay. trying to keep people and be sleazy and such like that. Right. And I mean, I, I there's a lot of influence out there in the world, so it's really hard to do, but I, I think that's really, people should be able to be and true to their, you know, innards and beliefs, mm. straying from that is uh i guess not you know kind of failing in that aspect yeah so you know it's, it's interesting when you start like talking to someone and you start asking them these questions and you like really kind of dig down to the like to the core of it you know kind of like i was saying someone else said yeah, it earlier yeah. well, oh go ahead say that go ahead I was gonna say you get a much different approach because it's like you can almost really break down where they're coming from. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it was kind of like someone said it earlier. Like even with me and my clients, it's like a lot more people are a lot more reasonable, and we actually agree with a lot more things than we realize once you start asking those questions and you start listening to each other. You know. Yeah. Because you know, you, even though. I'm, like you may not believe the same things that I do that like Maverick does and stuff like that and honestly like I don't even believe everything that Maverick does you know so like he may be my cousin and we're very closely aligned and stuff like that there's still some things that he says that I'm like I don't know about that bro you know but it sounds like when we get down to the core of things like we all kind of agree on the same things you know and like uh, essentially it just comes to, comes down to like being better human beings and creating a better life for the future you know Well, you'd be surprised how many people would want to stand in the way of just that. Oh, yeah. And, and it's, it's been proven, you know, time and time again, you know, the whole, you know, so we're, we're living oh, in we're, we're living in the beginning of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know. So it's, it's been proven yeah. that there are people who are who are wanting to stand in the way of that, that kind of progress. Um, but let me go ahead. I'm really and, uh, sorry to hear that, though. Uh, it is what it is and you know that's that's why we need to keep this channel up that's why we need to keep these kind of talks up that's why i appreciate you being here and like being there with you know mav i was actually like a little i was a little nervous that he like might be a little bit much you know a little bit overbearing for you but it seemed like you know he he took the lead for the whole conversation and we were just you know absorbing you know so that was that was very good yeah and um uh, you know I, I look forward to the next that's one man no like complaint. Yeah, like you and I, we're, we're going to have to set up a, a regular stream, I think. Oh, and, sounds uh, like a plan for me. I got no complaints. Yeah, let, let's do it, because I'm, I'm really digging this this new, this this more updated style. And we even got a new subscriber, AO219. What's going on, everybody? Uh, the Pie says, perhaps challenge was the wrong word there, but it was an interesting thought exercise, if nothing else. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we know what you mean. Like, I mean, yeah. we, we don't take the term challenge as, like, you know, you're, like, legit, like, challenge. You're, like, beating your chest and stuff like that, you know? It's just a different way of thinking is all, you know? I'm, I'm sure Blizz would agree. Yeah. Yeah, I've got no objections to people approaching things with a civil mindset it's yeah. when it like kind of like when you just get to a point where it's like you you guys aren't uh debating anymore you're arguing and it's like yeah i'm not here to do that exactly yeah 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 i mean that, that's more what this is about we're just having the conversation and if you have you know good points to throw in we'll we'll, we'll uh we'll always accept it uh seven says exactly mr m everyone yes, is in the building might have the same shower problems too not only wait wait uh, Seven says exactly, Mr. M. Everyone in the building might have the same shower problems too. Not only agreed, some people don't have what you have, and be thankful for that. Amen. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, that's on, and like, I really attribute a lot of that to me going to Iraq and seeing how people lived over there, and like even the way that I lived out there. You know, it was a little, it was marginally better than the people than what they lived out there. So like that was, that's been a lot easier for me to kind of put myself in a different position you know and and understand that what i have not everyone has uh the pie says now this is stepping away from the christian model of worship but i have seen people talking about how worship is a way of bringing yourself back from your daily struggles into your beliefs uh that's an interesting thought 
you know, and in a, in a way I agree. Um, but do you do you got a go bliss? Oh, I can. I I got a couple more minutes, but I was gonna right. say just to add to that. That's what I was um uh getting at a little earlier, where it's like, yeah, if it's something that can be used to benefit your life and make things better for you, by all means. I don't think anybody should take that from you. Yeah, so I, I, I agree to an extent that like worship, is, uh, like part of worship is taking care of your body, which is part of like why I work out, why I eat, I try to eat well, you know, stuff like that. Um, and like I also take care of my mental health and stuff like that because you really you you can't help anyone else unless your own garden is taken care of. You know what I mean? So unless you're doing that kind of work to uh, let me let me see exactly what the pie said talking about how worship is a way or bringing yourself back from your daily struggles into your beliefs yeah yeah so that and, and of course that's part of it you know that's uh, a part of it is uh is the journey is the is the struggle to get there um yeah i mean you're not you're not wrong i have, I have nothing nothing to say against that um yeah, you have anything else to add there, uh, Bliss? No, sir. Yeah, so it, it seems like we kind of agree, you know, we kind of align. Uh, you can't really take care of anyone else unless you're taking care of yourself. Um, yeah. You know, I, I wouldn't say self-worship. That's not that's not the word that I'm looking for, but like, you know, like self-respect, I guess. Um, understanding that this body that we have is, is our only body. Like, oh, uh, Bliss, have you heard about that story? Because you, you know the whole body dysmorphia thing, right? You, you've heard yes. about that, right? Where, like, people, like, feel like their bodies need to be different and yada, yada, yada. Have you heard about that lady who who made herself blind? Yes. Yeah, how and she, I like... I thought that was one of the absolute saddest things I've mm. heard. It, it really is. And it's one, because someone assisted her with it, and two, because it's just, like... I understand that you can want something that bad, but it's like you are completely disregarding the fact that you you have properties that you, you're a human being. Right. You're not supposed to. It it doesn't matter what you want. Like especially if it's something that causes self harm, and that's it. Kind of goes back to what I was saying with the um simple the thing about people just um being so delusional that they they can't um you know like uh, i'm sorry what well, give me a second to catch myself no no you're, you're all right and like i, I was kind of going into that because it, it's weird because it has no effect on me right but yet it pisses me off more than anything like it really like the fact that this lady had two good working eyes and she decided to make herself blind because she felt like a blind person like that that really seems like the most evil thing you can really do you know what i mean because like there's blind people out there who wish they could see you know you know what I, and and it's like it, it, it was hard for me to wrap my head around this because i'm like it, it has no effect on me she did this to herself right so it really has no effect on me yet like it, it really boils my blood at the same time because i'm like she had this perfectly working body and she decided to like blind herself because she just felt like being blind, you know? And uh, it's like, I have no sympathy at all. Like she, she almost, it's almost like she shouldn't exist to me. Yeah, but, uh, and I guess this is what I was trying to say before I kind of got like Hank Howard there, but, um, <laughs> fucking, loyal, like, loyal, loyal, school, loyal, loyal, people. Yeah, <laughs> well, a lot of people don't realize that it's like you like even with trans people, it's like you get so wrapped up that you need this so bad. And it's like these are things you can't come back from most of the time. Right. And you're like so dedicated to it. You go so far down this rabbit hole where it's like, OK, well, now you can't go back mm -hmm. and you you end up in a almost victimhood mentality because it's like, well, what, what 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 do you want us to do you know like there's not much you can do after you've gone put past a certain extent right you know? right 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 
and I think a lot of people just don't even like factor that in anymore. It's like you want something so bad that you don't even realize what know why you want it anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I kind of like you know I, I try to like rationalize it in my own sense because like you know I I know that for me like the the whole tattoo thing like I I, I think I have a, a, a form of body dysmorphia right um hang on a second the pie it looks like you said something pie and it's not like registering in my chats for some reason if you could type that again anywho um so there and there's even like people and like especially christians and stuff like that who would look like someone like me who gets all these tattoos and kind of look down on me right because they're like oh you weren't born like that you're doing that for attention yada 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 whatever the case may be so it's like i get mad at this lady who blinded herself but at the same time it's like am i much different i would say yes because it's like I understand you look at it as a sense of body dysmorphia, but some people don't necessarily see it as that much of a, to the level of harm that she's caused. It's like, and that's what I'm saying. It's like, she's caused something that she cannot come back from. She's going to be permanently blind for the rest of her life. Technology nowadays has even gotten to a point where it's like, even though you have tattoos, you could get those removed. Worst case scenario. Yeah. Yeah. fair, Fair enough. Uh, I caught a little bit of what the what, what the pie said, and he was like, the pie said that uh, the people who convinced her to, to that 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 was a good idea were morons, and that was like the gist of what I got. And yeah. Like, yeah, you're absolutely right because the, she did have a whole team of people around her saying that it was a good idea, and decided to pour like what was it like battery acid in her eye or some stupid shit like that. Um, yeah, and it was just like, come on, man, like, th- and and they made it seem as if it was like this totally safe thing to do that you should be on tv promoting this to people and it's like what honestly what the fuck is wrong with you guys yeah 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 but yeah, as yeah, a yeah. person that needs some has some mental disorder needs some level of help you guys are promoting this. yeah i mean that and that's a really good you know thing to bring up because like you know it kind of goes to the whole as controversial as it is, you know, the, the trans thing is like, you know, the, these people are looking to mutilate themselves, but it's like, is that really what they want? You know, but yeah. here we here we are cheering them on and it's like, oh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Do this. But it's like, hang on a second. Is this really the answer? Because like, I mean, I, I, I totally, you know, agree. I accept that there's some people that that is the answer for them. Right. But especially with the way that things I are mean, going but at this point. Yeah, like in today's society, it's the first answer. And yeah, I, yeah. I don't think that's what it should be. Yeah, that that's a good way to put it. Is that it, it is the first answer, um, and it shouldn't be like that. Uh, let me see. At seven, as when did you get cut or get your tattoos done, Mister M? So uh, when did I get cut? I don't I don't know what you mean by cut, but I. I got tattoos. Uh, my first one was like when I was in the military, so like I mean I don't know, close to 15 years ago. But I really started getting a lot of them in the last couple of years. Um, just like a- after my divorce is when I really started like you know on the whole journey, started really getting my sleeves done and stuff like that. And I, I bring this up because like I truly believe that people who feel like they have to have their tattoos covered up, even people who are in the gym and stuff like that, they have to have their bodies look a certain way, that they have a, a certain form of body dysmorphia, right? Okay, like, do you agree with that, Blizz? Or? I agree. So like, my yeah, question. I don't think it necessarily has to even be a negative thing. Okay. Okay. Even can can, can you elaborate on that? Consider something negative. What's up? Can can you elaborate on that a little bit? Because you don't think it's negative. Uh, the reason I say it's a, I don't think it's a negative because it sometimes it can push you to give you the body you want. So I don't and and in that aspect, I don't think it's a negative thing. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. You know, because like I I have looked at like you know my tattoos and stuff like that, and I'm like, I I really just like, I don't feel comfortable in my own skin if that makes sense. You know, I, I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, even though I have a nice body and all that stuff, I have nice skin. I'm like, I, I, I picture myself as covered in tattoos, right? So right. 
I guess my question to you and even the chat and stuff like that is why would that be more socially acceptable than someone who wanted to cut off an arm or someone who wanted to make themselves blind? And like, you know, and like not not even like, you know, take away the technology thing from it, you know, because like, you know, yeah, the reason why I say that is because, oh, I was going to say it's just simply for the fact that once again, you can come back from that. There's nothing stopping you from getting your tattoos removed or, you know, putting yourself in a position where it's like, OK, if you want to keep the tattoos, I would not necessarily say it's a bad thing. It's something that you went through yes but at the end of the day you didn't dismember yourself or put yourself in a position where you've now put yourself at a liable liability okay if that yeah. makes sense i, I can see that and like, like i mean i i agree you know to a certain extent but it's like like I, i'm happy and i feel better with my tattoos and my body looking a certain way but so does old girl old girl feels better with herself being blind you know uh, actually, so, if you watch the end of that uh, interview, no, she doesn't. Oh, she, she actually does. regrets it. She doesn't. That was okay. my. That was one of the biggest things that pissed me off because it was oh. like. So you're still. That's why it's like that. Why I didn't understand why they were one promoting it, and two, it was a sense of like, okay, you're doing this, but you're doing this because, one, you're passionate about it, but because you have a team behind you, and the second oh. that team stepped away, it was like. Hey man, uh, 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 and it's like, no, no, bro, it's, it's too fucking. Keep that same energy. We're not playing it. this fucking game. <laughs> no, I don't have any sympathy for this bullshit. Okay, like, no, okay. Uh, and I like, it's, uh, am I sorry it happened to you? Yes, but at the end of the day, it's like you, you chose didn't want it. This. Yeah, yeah, you you wanted this up until people stepped up, and that's the thing that gets me with trans people too. It's like, okay, so you want to be a woman, you want to cut your dick off and all this stuff until everyone steps away, and then it's like, until oh, so since no one's looking at you now, now we have a fucking problem. No, no, keep that same fucking energy. No dick for you. Next. <laughs> <laughs> You're not fucking doing. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm, I'm hearing you. So it's like, cause she was almost coerced, you know. Like, like you said, she had a team behind her, and, and like, instead of being, and what's up? Oh no, no, keep. Go. I'm sorry to cut you off there. Please keep going. Yeah, no. And so instead of her team being like, hey, maybe like you know, going blind isn't the, isn't the worst. Cause like me with my tattoos, I didn't have a team behind me. I don't have people being like, oh, that's a good idea. Like I'm doing this for me. And like I know, thirty years down the line, I'm not gonna regret my tattoos. You know well, what I'm that's saying? That's the other big uh, argument too. Is that, like you said, you're comfortable with your decision. She's not comfortable. Most of these people are not comfortable with these decisions. It's like you're being hyped up, and it's like when it happens to kids, I feel the utmost. I, I'm I, I I truly do feel sorry for them mm -hmm. because it's like as a kid, you really don't even have a true mentality of hey this is right or hey this is wrong Amen, but as yeah. a grown ass fucking adult it's like no dude just because someone tells you something and you don't have the ability to tell them no i can't sit there and sympathize with you because if i was to put myself in that si situation and some shit like that happened I i'm shit out of luck right and i know like, i uh, put that into a realistic perspective and Amen. i'm not gonna toy with that in any way shape or form Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. Let me let me catch up on chat real quick. The I, the pie says, I do know two people that fits the trans description. One waited till the age of fifty to make that decision. I disagree with it, but at least it was a lot of thought. And the second stuck on being different. Uh, I mean, at least fifty. They they lived a full life, you know, and they they know more. Like by that point, you're like, all right, I I probably know what I want, you know. So you can't really. I think we're talking about more of the yeah, young. I would even, oh, I would even, comp I would even add on to that. Yeah, at fifty, it's like you, you know, this is what you want, and it's, it's not, it, it shouldn't be something. I, I don't think transhood is something that should be frowned upon. It's just, it, like I said earlier, it shouldn't be your first choice. It shouldn't. Like, and like going through 
surgeries and all that stuff shouldn't be like, oh, this is number one answer for me. <laughs> Something completely irreversible. And and, and I'll I'll even add to it that like you you should be looked at because I mean if you're born as one one say if you're born as something and you feel like you're something else, there's probably something wrong. You know. Right. Um. So I'm gonna keep going. Uh, Seven says. Uh, getting cut, cutting uh, the skin to make tattoos. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the last couple of years has been my real journey, and um, I still have many, many more years to go because I am gonna get covered. Eventually, I'm gonna be covered in tattoos. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't feel like stopping. I really feel like stopping isn't something God, that God wants me to do. Not necessarily that God wants me to get tattooed, but me stopping isn't something that He wants me to do. If that makes sense. Uh, the oh, pie says. I don't think anybody should stop you. Yeah, the pie says. I would say part of it is definitely general social acceptance, but tattoos, in theory, does not stop you from working, providing, etc. While blindness is disabling, and that prevents it. And that's a good point too. Yeah, because like me getting tattooed and scarified and stuff like that. I mean, quote unquote, it may stop me from getting like corporate jobs and stuff like that, but it's not stopping me from doing anything. Whereas becoming blind, you're basically becoming dependent on people. Like, I mean, granted, there, there are, you know, blind people that are independent and yada, yada, yada. But you really are depending on, because, like, again, 50 years ago, I could have tattoos on my skin and still survive. Whereas if I was blind, yeah. it'd be a little harder, you know? Uh, the pie says, and I don't... No. Oh. Go ahead. No, no uh, what were you saying? No, go, no, go ahead. No, you could go. I was going to say, and it's no offense to anybody. It's just like, you know, it's unfortunate that some people are blind, but it's like at the end of the day for you to just willingly do that, knowing well, that, okay, you are making your, you, you know what you're doing. Like, yeah. and, and I know I say, you know what you're doing a lot, but it's like, it's, it's honestly something I honestly shouldn't even have to, begin to, <laughs> need to explain. Like, this, is, this is the common sense 101 yeah, word here. And it it like, really is. And like, you know, to, to touch on that, you know, I mean, like, I can almost guarantee that 10 out of 10 of those blind people would kill to have their sight back or have the sight period. Right. You know, so so I, I get that. that. That's the part that really upsets me. Uh, I'm going to continue with chat here. Uh, the pie says, I would say part of it is definitely general. OK, yeah, I read that. As animals, we leave behind things that slow down the pack, that blindness being disabled it's partially social but also partly animal instinct to survive oh, okay and then pie says good one blizz one of your one of your jokes got to to the pie <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah i i agree that, that's another good point is that like you know it i guess it would kind of be the same thing as like you know comparing getting tattoos to cutting my left leg off you know like yeah, like, why would you want to jump around? Exactly, like, oh, yeah. I want to be a pirate. Okay, well, <laughs> let's be a fucking pirate. Like, like, like there's plenty of people, plenty of people who don't have a left leg who are living very prosperous lives. But like, if given the choice, I'm sure they would have their left leg. You know, so yeah. so for like for me to like just voluntarily cut off my left leg, it is a waste. And like, really, I, I guess it's if almost you, borderline disrespectful. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then that's kind of like, I guess that kind of comes down to the whole worship thing, like the whole taking care of yourself equals worship, you know, because it, it is. It's like it's like God has given you all of your limbs, all of your sight and stuff like that. And here you are, like not only taking it for granted, but taking it for so much granted that you don't even want it anymore. Yeah. Well, and that's why I say it. it's like, that's why I feel the way I feel. It's like you like shit like that honestly will just piss me off all day. Cause it's like, so you're a perfect human. Like you're, you don't have it. Not saying you don't have problems, but it's like, uh, and, and it's not, and I say these things not to disregard mental, like, you know, mental illness is very serious. Of course. It's uh, all mental, yeah. If you can't figure out the people you need to sit down and talk to and then also to just sit down and understand hey maybe this guy i'm talking to isn't for me maybe someone who wants to pour battery acid in my fucking eyes <laughs> maybe i should hang out with them okay like maybe i need to be social circle that's what's wrong with people too because it's like i understand people are lonelier than they've ever been but it's like fuck the like so if charlie says hey i want to stick dynamite up your ass i'm gonna hang out with charlie like fuck man 
Hey, man. No, I hang out by myself. I you got know what? Cats. Dude, they make me very happy. It, it happened to Mr. Hands, man. He let a horse fuck him, and people around him thought it was a good idea. Is that the guy that got his colon ruptured? Yeah, he, he got fucked by a horse and got his colon ruptured. Yeah. And the people around him were yeah, filming him. They're like, oh, yeah. Horse video, yeah. yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah. Like, what, what common fuck? And it's like, but that's <laughs> what happens with weak-minded people. And I feel so bad because it's like, I understand people want to fit into society very badly. And like, when I say very badly, I cannot express how badly or like, you know what I mean. Because right. it's like, people will do some fucking, some shit just to sit there and be like, yeah, I, I was a part of that. Or yeah, I, I fit in. And it's like. I couldn't fathom doing half of that shit, but mm -hmm. you know, you've got people that'll do it. Amen. And it's, it becomes such a virus that people will risk bot my body, limb, anything just to do that. And it's like, I'm you gotta be able to be strong enough to stand on your own two feet. Right. 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 All right, Blizz. Well, I'm going to ask you, do you have, do you have any last thoughts before we, uh, we head on out of here? No, I had fun. I had fun a lot at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I could tell, <laughs> man. Yeah, but yeah, you, you kind of went off, and then and this is kind of what I'm, what I think my my channel is gonna be about is just like getting people on here, and asking them questions and just letting them go, you know, because like, it, it's true when you when you let people talk, man, they come to their own conclusions, you know. And like, yeah, I I, I really oh go, go ahead. I was gonna say just the one thing I love is that it. I don't feel like I'm in the wrong or any way, but if it is, I feel like the, your chat is strong enough to tell me, hey, hey, you're wrong. <laughs> if I'm wrong, then hey, I'm wrong. I would be more than happy to be wrong and talk about it just so that I can be right. I don't I don't have a problem with being wrong. I have a problem with being wrong and being just so far up my ass about it. That's a problem. <laughs> but I have no problem with being wrong and rectified. So. Right. And, yeah, and that's kind of the community that I'm trying to build around here is just like, you know, like I said, bringing people on here, getting their opinions and like having people talk about it and be like, hey, you know, this is wrong. And like, it, it's hard to say if someone's wrong or someone's right, because there's so many variables that we really don't know. You know, like it's just more about just having the conversation and like letting people come to their own conclusions. Yeah, but I mean, like. You're good. I feel like eventually as as your um channel gets bigger, you're going to have some just like how we had I, I can't even Joey buddy or whatever the fuck Johnny, his name was. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're going to have people that are going to come in here to troll. Oh yeah. And it's it's going to get it's going to get worse, but it's like I I'm hey, I want the smoke. Fuck it, bring it. Let's it, go. It's it's going to get worse and it's also going to get better. Um, I'm actually yeah. gonna, while I'm here, uh, Pi and Ab and Seven, while you're here, would you guys like to be moderators? You, you guys, uh, stick around. I'm also gonna make you a, a moderator, Blizz, if you, um, put a, a chat in the type, in the, in the, in the chat, I can get your name. Um, you would, well, I, I'll talk with you after that, because otherwise I'll say some shit that'll embarrass me, knowing that I have no knowledge on technology. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll talk about it later. But yeah, all right, my brother. Well, yes, thank sir. you so much for stopping by. And uh, shit, oh, we'll no. get together oh, later. Um, I hit you up. I'll be. I'm. I'm open tomorrow and Thursday, so I may even go. Uh, go live and actually like play a video game or something. Yeah, let me know. Um, I'll be home a little later Thursday, but if anything, I I could just pop in, slide in on you guys. All right. What about tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? I'll be working as well, but All like right. I said, just uh, I'll, I, if anything, I'll just slide in a little later. Word. All right, my brother, will you be easy? I'm probably gonna play some some games for a little bit and actually like you know do something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. All right. Well, you have a good night. Thank you, chat. You guys, be easy. Be this easy. I'm gonna... signing off. Take care, Blizz. I'm gonna catch up on chat. Seven says, getting cut during sure. getting tattoos, you bleed, right? And then when done, they scab over, right? Then heal, Mr. M? Yeah, so it, it is. Like, you, you actually, you do bleed uh, a bit depending on, like, where it's at and what kind of tattoo you're getting, how deep it is. 
uh, you will be bleeding. I, I wouldn't call it cutting though. It, it's I mean it's definitely like you know needles going into like you know a few layers of skin. It's more of that kind of like irritation. So your your skin will get swollen. Um, it will it will scab afterward. Let me see what, what does she say the the exact. But up but but up. Then when done, they scab over, right? So yeah, so like they will scab over and then uh, do the healing process. It takes a couple weeks. Now what my uh, tattoo artist has me do is she actually covers my tattoos with Saniderm, which is like a um, a thin like fake skin. So what we do, and like with my skin in particular, we've kind of found a different process of it. Is she'll tattoo me, I'll cover it for that day. It'll like draw out all the pus. Um, I'll take it off that day and then I'll cover it again for another two days and then I'll take it off and then it'll take about another week that it'll like it won't really scab over if I do that but it'll like get dry and like the tattoo will like start peeling and stuff like that now I have done it to where I've healed it like more naturally without the uh, Saniderm I don't like it as much because it takes a lot longer it takes a couple weeks and uh, it, it looks real ugly for a little bit now, like, the one that I did do it, like, my praying mantis on the inside of my arm, uh, I let it scab over like that, and it looked real ugly for, like, two weeks, but she looks beautiful now, you know, it healed over really well. So, uh, yeah, there, there is that kind of process to it, though, but, uh, I, I wouldn't consider it cutting, I wouldn't call it cutting. Uh, the Pi says, a channel I watch sometimes talks about how when he was younger, he got involved in a cult because the positive reinforcement tactics they used, he realized it and bailed, and he equates it to much of the modern mentality being used. Ooh. 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 That's a good one. That's a good one to look into. That, that positive reinforcement type mentality. There's a lot of that going on right now. The Pi says... Oh, wait, seven says... Uh, practicing Sodom and Gomorrah stuff. Wow. Practicing Sodom. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah, no, honestly, Seven, like, that's that's the one story that's really resonating with me lately is Sodom and Gomorrah because it, it almost feels like our society is really headed that direction, and I really hope I'm wrong. Uh, the Pi says, I'll take it. I'm not sure how much I'll be around, but I will try. All right. The Pi says, all right, Bliss, have a good one. Seven says, wow, I'll be honored, Mr. M. Hope I can do the job and responsibly given to me, says moderator. All right, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Let me go ahead and give you guys a uh, moderator. They're, they're, I mean, don't don't feel like you like, you know, you have to do anything special or anything like that. Like, it, it really is just like, because you guys are around and because I trust you guys, you know, you, um, you, you make a lot of sense. I, I like how you think. You guys will be able to catch on, like, the, the trolls and stuff like that. And not so much even the trolls, but, like, just the, the nastiness that, that needs to go away. I don't expect you to be here more often or anything like that. You know, but if it, if it happens to be like, hey, I need a mod, be like, hey, kick this guy, block this guy, something like that. You know, I just want you guys to know that, hey, that, that I do trust you. I, I appreciate you guys being around. And uh, I trust you enough to, to be able to do that kind of stuff, you know. I've asked, I've asked Bender too, but Bender feels like he would abuse the power. <laughs> but, uh, anywho, thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate you for the help. I appreciate you for, for sticking around. I'm, um, I'm actually going to play a game. I'm going to go take a smoke break. And I'm actually gonna pick it. Oh, the pie is a blue with the with the with a wrench. This would be my second wrench, so I'm sort of familiar with the process. Usually, it's the sex bot. <laughs> and seven says, "Wow, okay, thank you, man. No, 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 thank you guys. Honestly, for real. Like, I mean, it, it just so happens that you guys are around, you know, enough that like, you know, you're you're the normal viewers. And um, I, I like again, I trust you guys. You know, you guys have have good heads on your shoulders." You guys have good conversations, very mature. And uh, you're, you're right, the pie. It normally is sex bots. <laughs> there's, there's very few people. I actually, I don't think I've actually ever kicked anyone out and was like, you know, you got to go. Uh, mostly because I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty accepting of most, most views, even if people try to troll. I'm like, whatever, you know. But um, it's 1140. 
I took tomorrow off. So I'm actually going to play a game. I'm going to go step away, smoke for a little bit, just kind of give myself a break. I have <laughs> I have a lot to reflect on right now. Man, that was um that was some deep conversation, man. What do you guys think? Go ahead and text me, let me know. I think it's still like 7 in the pie there. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, you guys have stuck around for this whole time. Uh, and like you've been engaging this whole time, so I'm sure you've enjoyed. But man, like I'm, I'm really enjoying this, the this line of questioning, this line of uh, of what's it called? Uh, like this interview style, you know, this more serious type instead of just gaming. Um, it would have been nice to get a little bit more gaming done, but man, like once you get to talking, it's like it's hard to do anything in game, you know. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll be back in a little bit.
Hello everybody, I have returned. Seven says, see you after the break. The Pisces has been very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, bam. Without smoke break. Bam. Uh, I'm interested in hearing people's experiences and thoughts on subjects as a part. It's a big part of learning the world from something other than my own experiences and lenses. I also think Blizz is a good second slot so far. He's got the younger perspective, but his head isn't lost in the clouds and he's not wearing the echo chamber headphone. Hey, you know what? <laughs> That's awesome. You know, I'm, I'm glad to hear that, man. Blizz is, um, he's a good friend of mine. I've, I've met him some years ago and he, he's matured quite a bit, even in the last couple of years, just, just like me. Like we've both kind of grown quite a bit. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad to hear that you enjoy his uh, his presence. Um, I've always known he's a solid dude, and I always knew that he would be a good, like, kind of like a co-host, or even a host of his own show. Not saying that he couldn't do his own host, but um, he, he does have that that personality where he's a good second slot. You know, he does have his good, you know, his own good opinions and stuff like that. So I, I appreciate him. He's a good guy. Seven says, true agreed, Pi. Interesting stuff, seeing how fresh new eyes with the Holy Bible scriptures as a guide. The truth comes out all of the time. Yeah, Seven, so I, I'm very curious. When I was out there, I was highly thinking about that whole um, Trinity thing being being false, being a falsehood that's kind of spread. Uh, I, I really want to hear more about that. If you have any more information about that, send it to me, or if you, like... If you feel like talking about it, I would love to hear about it. Because, you know, I always grew up with the whole, you know, got, got the Father, got the Son, got the Holy Spirit. And, uh, not that it necessarily made sense to me. But I'm like, you know, that, that's what I've been taught. So here I is. Seven says, yes, right now I'll share the Holy Bible, Holy Bible scriptures, Mr. N. All right. Can't say that I'll look into it. I have been reading the book of Nahum. For some reason, for, for more than one reason, the book of Nahum has been the one that stood out to me. So, um, I've been reading that a little bit. See, I kind of jumped into this in a hurry earlier today. Let me see if I can figure this out. So I don't know what this box is about here. It's a locked door. Start picking up, I guess, body parts. Yeah, I know when I was doing this earlier, we were kind of having some some serious conversations about. Okay. About what's happening in the world right now. Not even about the world. We didn't even talk about the world today. We literally just talked about the Bible and about, like, how we know it's true and all this other stuff. Um. No, 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 no. There we go. Put you in a biohazard. We talked about a lot of things today. Uh, and my cousin, like I said, he, he's very passionate about what he does or what, what he talks about. Uh, but I'm very glad that I talked to him about it today. Maverick. If you guys haven't followed him, go, go follow him. He's got many, many, many more followers than I do. Um... And he's a lot more passionate about this stuff than I am. He's, he's a lot more knowledge. And, 
Yeah, he's he's all he's all around a good guy. You know, he he's a real good guy. All right, so let me see if this works. Oh, it's messed all out. All right. Come on, you. Yep, yeah, just dump it, and then if I hold the button, I can rotate it and make it tip. Did it all just fall out? Okay. Well, I guess that works. So just. Okay. Oh no. Don't, don't do that. It needs to open. Seven says, Remember first the Proverbs 26 28. If they lie to the hate. Wait, wait, wait. If they lie to they hate you. Proverbs 12 22. Lying lips. Our abomination to the Lord. Okay. Remember this. First, the Proverbs 26, 28. If they lie to they... Wait. If they lie to they hate you. And then lying lips are an abomination of the... Okay. That first one, I'm not sure how it's worded. It, it's worded a little funny to me. If they lie to they hate you. But I, I I understand the second one loud and clear. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. Yeah, and that that's absolutely true. That's absolutely why I try to uh, be as honest as possible. I'm an honest man. I I stay honest as I possibly can. I'm not saying that I am totally. Um, if I were to say that I don't lie at all, that would be. That, that, that would be an issue. Uh, Seven says, if they lie to you, they hate you. Oh, okay. If they lie to you, they... Oh, 100%. 100%. I agree with that one. You, you don't even have to tell me a Bible verse for that one. If someone, if someone lies to you, they hate you. And, like, you know, you, you maybe get those people that say... Oh no, well they they're lying to, to like save your feelings. It's like no, if someone lies to you, they hate you. They they don't respect you enough to tell you the truth. I totally agree with that. That is again and again I'm no I'm not high and mighty. I'm no better than anyone else. But I try as much as possible to stay honest. I'm not saying that I'm always honest. But I do my best, you know. If they lie to you, they hate you. Yeah, that's deep and that's powerful. says this is the worst job in the unreal tournament universe hello <laughs> uh, I don't know man is would you rather be the one cleaning up the mess or being the one that was the mess I can understand being the one that caused the mess like you're the reason why everyone's down but uh I think I'd, I'd rather be the one cleaning it up And you know what? I bet this janitor guy, I bet I bet he has a, you know, he has a, a 401k. He's got a good savings. You know, he probably tries, drives himself a little Toyota Corolla. Uh, maybe about 10 or 15 years old, you know. He doesn't have a car payment or nothing like that. Um, he's got his, you know, he pays his cell phone bills. He's, he's got his own little one studio apartment with his little Murphy bed. I think this guy's doing good for himself. You know, he's, do, he's doing pretty all right. Now, if you were, if you were to ask the ladies, be like, no, he's not six foot, six inches. He don't make six figures. Hey, you know, that, that is what, if that's, if that, if that's what you're looking for. But hey, 
you know, they nothing wrong with this middle class job of picking up torsos and picking up legs and tossing them in the incinerator. It's, it's, it's really not that bad of a living, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm getting overtime. Overtime's time and a half, you know what I'm saying? Christmas is, is, is right around the corner next year. I got to pay for the the four kids and all that. Go to, they, They're going to private school this year because we don't trust the public schools anymore because we all know how that's going. So, you know, I got to gotta work a little bit harder. Blue collar, you know, nothing wrong with the blue collar work. I've been working on the cleaning up crew. Oh, the live long day. I will pick up this a torso and toss him in the furnace. Say, you know, I'm sure he. I mean, I have good, good in health insurance. I have dental. I have vision. Um, like I said, a 401k. You know, my family's covered. Uh, we're good because you know we're we're working on building generational health. You know, we're working. On, we we got our own property. We got a we got a house. Um, this guy's doing good. He's going. He's doing good for himself. Uh, the pie says, well, in theory, if you're one of the ones that made the mess, you're resurrected, LOL, because you're a TV star, but the people you were tossing in the fire looks a lot like you. I have the Shadow Warrior version of this game, but never played it. Yeah, that one came with the, um, uh, the sale. So I have the Shadow Warrior, I also have the Christmas edition, and I think there's a Haunted House edition and a couple other ones that I want to check out, but, uh, I really, I, I gotta figure out, it seems like this game's harder than it seems. I believe this game is a little bit more in depth. Oh, and you know, you gotta consider life insurance too. You know, I got life insurance just in case anything, in case I end up like one of these guys who look like me. Oh, oh, no, 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 there we go. You ever played this one, uh, Pi? You ever played, uh, Viscera Cleanup? You ever seen it before? Seems interesting. Seems cute. It seems cute. Boo -doo -doo. He says, yeah, making a mess with the mop and footprints, then jumping in the dirty water, but oh yeah, 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 that, I, I learned that the hard way with Maverick, Maverick spilled so many buckets over, uh, I've seen it only briefly before, this is probably the most I've actually watched though, okay, and then Seven says, Act 755, but Stephen, oh, uh, but Stephen, Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, locked intensely into heaven and saw the glory of God. And he saw Yeshua, Christ the Lord, standing in place of honor at, God, at God's right hand. Okay. Uh, well, are you, are you trying to prove against the Holy Trinity? Because that kind of sounds more like a verse that would be fighting for the Holy Trinity. Um, and also, Pi, I mean, it seems like a cool one. It seems like a, a cool, chill one. Although it's a, it's a bit deeper than, than I think I give it, I gave it credit for. I mean, it's different. That's for sure. Looks like my water's getting dirty. What do I do with dirty water? Do I just leave it? Do I dump it somewhere? I don't want to dump it all over the fire. And it looks like it's all like watery. It's all like bloody now. So let me... Let me put this back in here. Now I'm going to make this the, the dirty bucket pile. Seven says, Holy Spirit one... Glory of God 2, Yeshua 3, and God's right hand 4, more scripture, Mr. M. Interesting. Uh-huh. I'm going to have to do a, a, bit, a, deep, a, a bit more research into that one. 
the pie says, yeah, seems like one of those more relaxed, fun games with a bit of tongue-in-cheek humor about the situation. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we need these every once in a while, right? Go, blah, go, blah, go, blah. So how'd you end up with the, the one DLC version and not like the full thing? Says, I have no idea. I think I bought Shadow Warrior and it came as a part of the bundle. Shadow Warrior. Uh, oh, yeah, that is a game, ain't it? Oh, and like in Shadow Warrior, you're cleaning up after Shadow Warrior. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. I understand why it would be called Shadow Warrior. Warrior. says the green book reminds me of some stuff I've I've heard getting pulled out of some of the freezers it's wait, 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 wait. the green book reminds me of some of the stuff I've heard getting pulled out of some of the walk-in freezers at some place oh ew <laughs> that's gross is that is that what what walk-in freezer gunk looks like That's disgusting. Give me another bucket of water. I'll move it over here so I can clean the blood. Ew. Oh no, no, no. It's spreading. Yeah. Wherever you've heard of the, uh, uh, like, that there's a place where the water bucket looks like the green one over there, do, do not, do not go to that place. I don't know if that made much sense. Didn't make much sense to me. But I'm still mopping. Cleansing all of the blood. Oh yeah, not good. Ew, it's orange. That's even gross, right? Hit. Oh, look at that. I got the, the whole rainbow here. Red, yellow, green. Never ends. The pie says they're supposed to be clean regularly, but the walk-in freezer isn't super cold. As they... Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's disgusting. I've watched enough... I've watched enough Hotel Hell to know what's going to happen next. Ugh. Stop it. You're near. Oh, no. Oh, testicles. Okay. You're never there. You were never, 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 never there. Pi says, yeah, I'll stop. It's not fun to think of of your food like that. Right? Do you do you work with like walk-in freezers? Are you like a chef or something? Are you, are you a line cook? Do you clean freezers regularly? 
I used to deliver beer in the big freezers like that. I found some some pretty gross stuff every once in a while. Uh, every once in a while. Seven says, Behold, I am sending an angel before you to protect you. Pay attention to him and listen to his voice. Uh, do not defy him, or he will not forgive rebellion since my name is in him. Glory of God. Deuteronomy 23, 20, and 21. Which which angel was he talking about, do you know? Or if he was talking about a specific angel in general, or if he was even talking about an angel at all, it could have been like a metaphorical angel. Then again, God doesn't do anything metaphorically, so that was probably not the way, the, the correct term to phrase that. Uh, the pie says, no, I worked in a truck stop cashier last, but a friend was a dishwasher at a few of the local places I've heard about. Others say it wasn't pleasant in a specific place before ownership changed. Mm. Seven says, four, not a trinity, that there are four, four beings in the holy trinity, so I guess it wouldn't be a trilogy. Trinity. Oh, it keeps on this water. Isaac, what's going on, my brother? How you doing today? You missed a very deep conversation. Very, very deep conversation. Hey, I'm going to be playing for a little bit. Uh, you in for, like, some deep rock or something? You, you in for a, uh, a round of deep rock? This is the game. I thought it was going to be chill. You're actually on Discord. All right, you're down for deep rock. All right, let's do it. Let's do some deep rock. Yes, I didn't want to interrupt your conversation. <laughs> oh, you got. I'm, I'm having a conversation by myself, my brother. So, how you doing, my friend? Ah, oh, good, good, good. Yourself? No, I'm pretty good. You missed a, a super deep uh, stream. Like I kind of went like six hours of the stream, not even playing a video game. Uh, uh the pie says all right deep rock angry angry court angry dwarf galactic i love deep rock seven says that's holy scriptures not my word but god's word i'm not fair enough feeling too well today fair enough seven like i like i said i'm gonna have to look into that and, and do more research how you doing there isaac i'm doing fine i just up, had my coffee. Word. Yourself, like, you had a good uh, evening, I'm assuming? Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty late right now, actually. I was getting ready to, like, wrap up and go to bed, but then I was like, you know what? Isaac's on right now, so I'll play a couple games with him. Ah, I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, I got to, uh, I took tomorrow off, so I was like, may as well, you know, you do it for me all the time, so. Ah, uh, true, but it's fine, you know, I'm used to that sort of shit, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, like I said, I'm not working tomorrow, so may as well, I'll be able to sleep in again today. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, we just said it was me, uh, my cousin Maverick, and, um, Blizz, and, uh, we were just, like, talking for, like, hours about, like, all, <laughs> just all kinds of shit, you know, just religion, and, like, all kinds of society no. stuff you know so it was a deep one so i'm ready to just kick back and mine some some stuff no I... oh we got eight likes five viewers though man that's crazy still five viewers what's no. going on how y'all doing i feel loved Alrighty. Ooh. The subtle music, and I've not played it at Christmas yet, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, check it out. You can smack the, uh. 
No. All right. Um. So you have. Do you want to try to unlock some of the Christmas stuff before it, it ends? I don't know how how far along we we'll get. But... I don't know. Is there anything to really worthwhile? It's like an elf suit. So... Nah. Yeah, I think the elf suit isn't like adorable, especially on Bosco. No. Uh, Seven says if they teach Trinity. When there is four, what else do they teach that's not true, Mr. M? Please research. Amen. Pray about it, too. Hell yeah. I will do that. I'll do, I'll do that, Seven. I appreciate that. The Pi says, Did you manage to kill any elves recently? Bloody nuisances they are. <laughs> yeah, the Yuletide elves, yeah, they're kind of pains in the asses, but I've been able to kill a few of them. You're making management consider canceling the holidays, mine included. Please stop vandalizing the decorations. Whoa, oh, what the hell? <laughs> What'd you do, Isaac? You fucking everything up over here? <laughs> I just kind of lagged and spat around the room. <laughs> so is this side inside. And the pie says, yeah, here in the future we'll have to see about getting me. Do you want to jump in now, the pie? I mean, we're friends on Steam. I think you just join. I just uh, join, uh, if you want to. I'm gonna send you an invite to our. Um... Hey, hey, mm. hey! Fuck off. Vandal Give me the. Can and will result in a significant <laughs> fine. Fuck off. Consider yourself warned. Hey, oh, I'm not me. Keep it up, Lloyd. Yeah, come on in, pal. Why not? Like I said, I've been wanting to uh, invite you to the uh, the circle into the into the to the Discord. But uh, you should ju you should just be able to join like Isaac did, just like right click on my name. <laughs> yeah. Long live the dwarves. Yeah. There he is. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to get my drink. And there's another one. Oh. Is that him or is that someone else? Easily the best beer I've had since coming is that, out here. Is that you? Hang on. Rock and stone. The pie says, yeah, I do have the mic, but it's not something I use without previous setup because I've got to be respectful with the others. Yeah. It's fine, even even if you're just like listening to us. Rums, I want to hit us 536. Say it again. We've got a fi level 536. Easy. Alright, Pi, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you, uh... An invite to the, uh... The Discord. I always get confused on how to do this, hang on. Stop it now! He says, stop it now! All right, here we go. He is Mini McMonster. All right, Pi. Fair warning. Any vandalizing or destruction of company property will be deducted from your pay at the end. Alright, Pi, I sent you an invite to the uh, Discord through Steam, so you should. Now quit it. You should be able to get that. Rock on! Hey, Isaac, I'm gonna I'm gonna disband the team. I... Or actually, you know what? No, I'm just gonna kick these guys. Do friends only. So they're just random as yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've been kicked. I kicked you. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I'll just rejoin.
Drive Pi sent you a um, an invite. Seven says, "Sorry, Isaac. Shalom, greetings. Had the scriptures for Mister. Oh, not a bit. No, I'm, I'm sure Isaac doesn't mind. That's no worries at all, eh? Weird. Every time I try and join you, it doesn't let me in. Is it because I kicked you? Perhaps. Let me try yeah. inviting you again. Yeah. Alright. If not, I'll just turn the game off and back on again. Take two seconds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pi says, muting, muting stream, so I'll listen in Discord for better results if Discord didn't crash. <laughs> yeah. That's because enough for doing that every once in a while. Still not letting you in. I'm relaunching the game though. Yep. Okay. Rock and stone, everyone! No, no, messenger pops up and this flashes very fast, so I don't even get a chance to blow the read order trying to tell me. <laughs> Pi says, alright, I'll set up on my end to listen. Alright, so Pi's in the uh, the Discord with us. Welcome, welcome, Pi. Uh, he's not going to be uh, talking because he's <laughs> got other people in, in his house, but hey. Welcome to the Discord. How you doing, my friend? All you got to do is hit that B, Rock, rock and Stone. Rock and Stone! Alright, so he's <laughs> joining. Oh, I'm banned, apparently. You're banned. Oh my god. Okay, you so banned me. <laughs> how did I do that? Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no. All right. Um, I'm going to try this. It blocks me by mistake. How do I unblock you then? Uh, hmm. That's a question. All right. You know what? I'm, I'm going to restart. Uh, we're going to have to um, to come back in. There, Pi. Restart the lobby. He was kicked from... Oh, okay. Well, I just actually re restarted the desktop. But... My fault. I didn't mean to ban you, Isaac. That's all good. You pissed me off for not being here. I'll stream is what it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How dare you be in Scotland in another time zone? Oh, yeah. yeah I know. Ugh. How dare you? Treacherous, so... though. <laughs> He's a treacherous. <laughs> I could use a day off, but not today. All right, I'm gonna try re-inviting re y'all's y'all's fellers. Invite and invite. There he is. Okay, you're not perma banned. So. Fantastic. Come on, guys. Rock and, Rock, and Rock and stone. Rock and stone. Stone. Oh, okay. You know what? No, I mean, I got to do this. Well, since uh, since Pi decided he had to do it as well. Hang on, I'm changing to the elf armor. How about this? No, do I have anything festive from last year? There we go. Uh, I've got something festive. Yeah. Rock and stone, yeah. the prince Let, let's, uh, of teamwork. Let's unlock your stuff, man. Let's unlock the. Uh, let's, uh, let's, rock and stone. Yeah. As far as we rock can get, anyway. Stone. Uh, and then let me just change this out because that's not the right one. Unless I can't. No, pardon, I can't cancel this one. You should be able to. Seven says, Mr. M, did you get a chance to see my comic strip? On the other channel, Marvelous Seven. No, no. Like I said, I've, I've been looking. Uh, I've been looking for Marvelous Seven, but for some reason, it's still not popping up. 
I'm having a hard time finding your other channel. Uh, seven for some reason. But uh, you you can't change your mission. I... Uh, apparently not. That's fine. To the fallen. If I wanted to do this one. Hello, darkness, my old friend! Oh, low oxygen. Oh. Yeah, it's not so bad. May your beards be thick and your gold satchels heavy. Seven says, that's okay, Mr. M. Yeah, I don't know why. I know you talked to me in the other, um, the other account. Carl would approve of this. Rock! But for some reason, I still can't find it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get in my butt. Rock and stone. Leave me for order. Drop sequence initiating. Fasten your seatbelts. Time to play dice. Got a three-man crew, man. We only need one more. Oh yes. It's, it's good to see that um that Pies put some work into the game too. Level 61 is not bad. No, you can oh, tell I've not been playing that much. I'm only level 102 still. Well, I've been playing a lot. Remember, it wasn't that long ago that I was like level 61 myself. No, true, true. Straight up. No oh. Okay, team. All right, good luck. Have fun, boys. Court duty. Our target is an Omron Hearthstone. Oh yeah. Your job is to protect and maintain the drill dozer as it makes its way there. Get ready. Weapon ready. Stand clear of the landing zone, team. Drill dozer coming in. Oh right, yeah, don't forget about the low oxygen. Uh, I'm just scouting around for resources. Seven says, You two problems, Mr. M, for me and Marvelous Seven, like God says, all good. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get to it sooner than later. Anyone needs ammo? You know, man, maybe, keep, maybe put up a couple more videos. Over here by the marker point. I was going to say, you can probably zip line on top of this uh, platform here and mine it. Yeah, I wouldn't waste a zip line. I mean, like yourself. You oh, know. yeah, yeah, no, I, okay, I got you. You're right, you're right. I don't need no platform. Maybe if you post up a couple more videos, I'll look it up again. It'll uh, it'll put you up. Because like I said, every time I look at Marvelous 7, it comes up with that movie. Uh, that cowboy movie. Magnificent 7 or whatever. All right, y'all ready? Is, is, that, is that everything over here? Molly, over here! I just like it. There was nothing over there. All right, well, let me deposit real quick. All right, let's go ahead and hit it, boyos. No, I think I've seen some spare pipe rails lying around the station. Just saying. The drill dozer is en route to the Hearthstone. Expect heavy resistance. Oh, that's some gold right there we missed. That's all right. Uh, and noted. I'll stay with the dozer. Sounds good. Ready to protect the drill dozer. Let me an NG handle. Kind of the gatherings. Thank you. 
cover. Hello. Yeah, we do got a cavern over here. Oh, there's a lot of them. We're on a lot of thorns. There we go. Now I have spiky things that are bursting everything that's right now. That's alright, well, we'll have to come back for this room. Here. Oh, it's a bit lower. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Where's he at? I got it. It was literally right there. The bulldozer is out of fuel. We need to refill the fuel canisters mounted on its back. Use the canister. Alright, fellas, I'm, I'm gonna run back real quick. We'll have the Get that, like, uh, nitro that's back here. No There's a lot of it back here, actually. There's like four or five veins. Good lord. Alright, I'll stay with the dozer and keep it alive. Reloaded. One sentry gun ready to be built. Sentry gun. Uh, Seven says I have four up right now in the channel and the movie and some shorts. One movie. Just enjoy the game, gents. I'm gonna work and lurk. Hey, thank you so much, Seven. We appreciate you. Thank you for being here this whole time. It's it's actually, it's, it's an honor, you know. It's an honor to have you guys around. Hey, you two, you know what, you two, Isaac and uh, and Pi. Appreciate y'all joining me here in the game. <laughs> no problem at all, man. Have you met Pi before, Isaac? No, I have not. No. It's been a pleasure well, meeting you. Isaac, this is not Pi. Not get a bit of pleasure. <laughs> Actually, I haven't talked to him yet either. Um, he's just been in the uh, in the chats long enough to know that he's a he's a solid dude. Uh. Key here. Ooh. Yeah, let's do it after the uh, the mission. I mean, it's literally in front of the dozer. It's the one that literally throw bombs at the uh, crystal. I mean, if, if you think we could do it before, yeah. No, I'm down for it. I just like to uh, not have to worry about the, the dozer. Ah, oh, yeah, true there, true there. So it's the quickest try late key one. That's the uh, basically the pile of crystal that you throw the charges at. Right, right. Lighting. There's no problem doing it after. Yeah, I, don't, I don't mind either way. Oh, I'm ready. I just like to get Dottie taken care of first. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna find Rock more nitro down, here. Was that it? Yeah. Oh. Ah. It's up there. My the bad. Oil shale. Oil shale. Oh, I'm out of here! So, oh yeah, it's, it's like deep in there. Damn, I'll right. try to hide all this fucking nitro from me. Okay, let's see how it is. Protect the drill dozer. It's being attacked by wildlife. Is it? Yeah, well, I'm not. <laughs> oh, it's the first fossil, too. Oh, we got a, a crisis. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
got me past this. We're gonna have to pull that away from the door. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do what I can to keep him busy. I can keep him marked, not just wail on him with my freaking real gun. Because, you know, this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got his attention. <laughs> Mark him again for me. Oh, he's almost down. Oh no, he's too close to the dozer. Don't shoot him. Alright, yeah, no, no, no. I, I got his attention. Let me get his let, let attention. Hey, big boy. You want me to show you some leg? Ooh, I'm down. He got me. <laughs> Whoopsie. Getting the dozer back up to health and then legging it. Alright. Back up the tunnel. If he's still alive, guys. <laughs> Alright, he's uh, he's following NG. Alright. I'm gonna mark him so I can wail him for a wall when he gets far enough away. Alright, he's good. Go for it. Didn't kill him? No, he's, yeah, he's done now. There we go. You got Dory a little bit, but not much. Uh, Thank you, sir. No problem. Good job, gents. Let them Good team work. Alright, where did I put my canister? <laughs> there is red sugar over here! Oh, that's okay. Can we get a uh, platform on some of this red sugar so I can get healed up? Slurpee says, uh, hey man, what's going on, my friend? How you doing? Born ready. Uh, can I get another platform right there? That should be good, thank you. Yeah, haha, <laughs> perfect. Yeah! So long, suckers! Damn, full day stream. Yeah, you know, and honestly, like, more than most of this hasn't even been, like, gaming stream. It's been legit just, like, talking about real world shit. Not that I'm complaining, but, you know, I've, I've had the time off. I took the time off, and God told me to, to make good use of it, so here I am, you know. Uh, we had a lot of good conversations earlier today, and now I'm just playing video games. Lighting! How you doing, my friend? Thank you for joining again. I'm on repairs. Alright, I'm just grabbing the last of this, uh... Dope. Slurp say he's good, just had dinner, hell yeah. I would ask to join, but I'll respect your request of the age stuff. Yeah, you know, I, I appreciate that, my friend. Sweet. Unfortunately, it's the day and age we live in, you know. Light is up. Where's my... Ah, Dory doesn't have a uh, O2 canister? That was yes. At the back. I'm not. I'm not getting the benefit of it. The pain. Oh, it's like it should be right here. There we go. Okay, I got it now. How'd it go? Walk out. I need more oil, oil shell. Where does it? More oil shell. Uh, let me see. Uh, looks like someone got something marked. Oh yeah, right here. Oil shell. Keep the dozer running. Ah, yes, Grand Danka. Hey, uh, we got some red sugar right here, bro. NG. Got a mini horde coming in. We got it, Isaac. There we are. Ready for Perfect. Help me protect the dozer! I'm oil shell like a scrub. All canisters fueled. Drill dozers ready to make more progress. Slip says, hey, if you change your mind, let me know. Thumbs up. How's your day been? It's been, it's been awesome. Right, we're ready to go. 
Oh yeah, let's do this. Oh yes, yes. Uh, actually, I'm gonna call Molly over here. Just take your sweet time, old friend. Wife got all tired. Yeah, I hope you're doing well, Leo Slurpee as well. Yeah, same, same, same. Yeah, I've made a, a kind of a new rule on my um, stream, Isaac, since I'm going to, you know, like with a lot of controversial topics and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That uh, I just don't want my minors in voice chat, you know what I mean? Like playing games and stuff. Yeah. Unfortunately, because Slurpee's cool as hell, you know, it'd be, it'd be cool to have him, but, you know, I'm, I'm glad he's sticking around, though. Uh, a lot of good messages that he could pick up on, too. I don't think he was that young, was it? Uh, high school age. You know. ah, it's not that bad. Was it? I think they hear it worse from the playground, though. Yeah, no, it's, it's not even that. It's like, you know... My, my, basically anyone under 18 is my rule. I know, I know, I get that entirely. Oh, because I know, trust me, I mean, shit, even when I, when I was that age. By the way, I'm out of flares. So. Right. Even when I was that age, I've heard way worse. There's another big cavern we're gonna have to come back to. Yeah, there's a lot of fossils here. Oh, I might have let me in. Oh, good, perfect time. Look at my real gun, but that's it. Oh, he's I'm taking some of the ammo. Yeah. Grabbing ammo. I'm gonna need two containers, unfortunately, guys. <laughs> completely dry. I'm gonna need to take two containers because I'm completely dry on ammunition. <laughs> uh, go for it. We got enough, enough for another one if we need. Flares up! Alright. I'll shale again, the Lucifer. Oh, if he goes high. Yeah, they're, they're all up high, so we're gonna need some uh, some platforms. Like, Let's get the right oil here. We do have a um, Torian coming up on you. Now, there's another piece of oil shell right there. Now, we're going for the Praetorian. Weapon ready. Oh, it's the elf. Stop the elf before it gets away! Where? Stuck on this, you freak of nature! Where? I need air! Ah. Need to shoot him. Oh yeah, he's, he's, he's way up there. He's hard to get a hold of. I got my rail gun. Let's keep him more. Let there be light! Uh, where'd he go? It's trying to deflate me! Attention! Pick up the elf! I was oh, born! There he is. Good mark, good mark. Bam! Got his ass. Oh, I'm not Ooh, a balloon! Oh, need to get back. I'm suffocating. <laughs> Say that again. I need to get back. I was suffocating. But there's a piece of oil shield right there if you want to get a close one. The drill dozer is under attack. Get it fixed up before we lose it. Ooh, thank God I was on repairs. Oh, 
Oh, shit. I shot Steve in the face. Sorry. Oh. He won't be too happy with you. <laughs> He'll be alright. It's not the first time Steve's been shot in the face. No. That'd be a hard one to get to. We need another platform here. And I don't even know if you can like throw it up to me that high. I made a platform. Maybe do a zipline. Uh, a zipline would work. Or I can start breaking it while I'm here. That might be slow. I don't know, do you want to try or what's it? Go into try for or are you good? Uh, I'm good. I'm, I'm already breaking. I've broken up like half of it. So. I found a chunk of nitro and some more fossils. Ooh, mark it. I'm dropping down oil shale to you guys. Two chunks of nitro. Nice. You got what? <laughs> Two chunks of nitro up here. Okay, I got a bunch that I'm about to drop down right now. Angle as well, I don't know if I can even use the zip line really. We got seven viewers, nine likes. It only took me six hours of streaming. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, Abel. Oh yeah. Got no ammo left. Rock and stone. Yeah. I called for the mule. All right. I'll stick with Molly here and. Oh, There's a lot of it over here. Prepare to be shot. Oh yeah, give me some platforms, baby. Uh, I have no more lights. Can't hide from this. Donkey, come here! Ow. Oh no. Have you made it to the, uh, the hearthstone yet? No, no. Just set off. Uh, oh yeah, I, I think you can go ahead and go. Oh. 
Let's get this mission rolling. Drill toes are operational and homing in on the Hearthstone. I'm glad we have someone to carry our rocks and stones. <laughs> Rock on! Rock and stone! It never gets old. There's a present. <laughs> oh, a what? A gift box. Present thing. Up here. Oh, a present. I thought you said a prison. That was like a prison. Oh, I find the pumpkin right, let's see. How do we do that? Give me fresh air! Born ready! And just marking it for my own visual reference. Alright, do it. Get over there, you need help? Ah, oh, I'm good, I'm good. There Only have like an occasional little bug, but we're all good. It'll find, don't worry about it. Say it's only a little uh, swarmers so right now. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and head on back. I think we got everything, and if not, then we we'll just have to go. Well, we gotta come back for that tri light thing anyway. No. Many eggs. <laughs> I know, I see you getting He's running swarmed by the, by the little swarmer, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I was born ready. Bounce of nitro. Oh, I can't breathe. I found a gold lane. Keep the drill dozer operational at all costs. I was born ready. All up in here. Oh, yes. Everywhere. Let there be light. Reloading. Cover off. Hey, if either you buy the uh, by Dory, go ahead and call in another re resupply. I got the nitro for it. Where's that freaking thing? Get back. Breathe. 
we go. Team Rock seriously needs to invest in some better. Set, uh, mining off. Uh, yeah, I mean, oh, hang on. There's a uh, green crystal up there. If you're interested in that, is that you know, the green crystal chunks? Oh, uh, the jaddies. That's the one. That's right, it. it's up there. Well done. Secondary objective completed. Flares up! Oh yeah, it's gonna be hard to get to. Oh, nice. Can you put a couple more down there? Ready! Uh, we're good. Nice. We also, we also got some nitro. Oh, good. Jet bus kicked in at least. <laughs> right. Oh, the thank God I have those. If I can get another platform right here. Look over here. Thank you. Alright, I gotta come back down. I need O2 from A to D, skipping B and C. You got shield boosted. All right, we're ready. Uh, you you can go ahead and start it, but I still gotta get. Be sure. Well, no, I can wait. I can wait. There we go. I just got these daddies to get. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Somewhere. There it is. Throw it. I'll catch it. <laughs> yeah, I'm throwing it right on top of Dory. You ready? Yep. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. It hit a side. Hit a wall. My bad. <laughs> it's all right. All right. Leave it for like a late ah! sort of it. Ah, I already. Wally is on. It in. Drill dozer has begun cracking the Amarun shell. If you lose the dozer, you lose the mission. So guard it well against any hostiles. Incoming swarm, keep the dozer safe. Swarm, they're here. Pressing that freaking player. Oh, got proximity mines. That's that's dangerous. What'd you say about the uh, what'd you say? Uh, I keep throwing my freaking grenades instead of my uh players. I do that all the time. I'm getting that bug where I wasn't getting oxygen. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you kind of just gotta walk away and come back. Alta crust has been breached. Keep defending the drill dozer. Slurp says, I better get going. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Have a good day, man. All right, Slurp. Well, thank you for stopping by. All right, take care of yourself, man. I appreciate you. We'll catch you next time.
Get on repairs. Well, <laughs> don't know how I want to there, but I got one. Stop getting launched, Isaac. <laughs> Ooh, ouch. Swarm approaching the drill dozer. Hunker down and load up. The drill dozer is at the halfway point. Keep it running. Get that damn roller. Oh, yeah. More ammo. I'll take some of the ammo. Better than me going out there smacking it with my, uh, my sledgehammer, my pickaxe, and uh, got another one right here. There you go. Oh, behind us. Grab this shit, let's grab Dowdy's head and get on out of here. Grab that trilla light. Oh, yeah. That, that trilla, oh, careful swarm. Ah, I found the little guys up. I need the mule right here. Right. Yeah, they're annoying in small numbers, but in large numbers, they're deadly. Nicely done. Armor and heartstone secure. Let's grab him his last uh, supply pack. Find another one here. Hang in there. Supplies are on the way. Oh, Did I'm the only one that needs his head. Was it? Did someone pick up Dorita's head? Uh, Put it down next to the container. Arrive, I haven't seen. I haven't I'll touched it. Some of the ammo. Ah, I can't even see it there. <laughs> Much better. Ready to kill some more crates. All right, let's I can head on up. A bit more, I suppose. I've only got a thousand rounds, so fill yeah. myself up, I suppose. Yeah, take it. Whatever <laughs> you need. I took the two I needed. We need to get back to that trillo lights. Reloaded. Pie's got Dottie's head. Lights up! Can't hide from this! Zip. A little barley bulb right here. Lighting! Weapon ready! Hate to wait for flare charging! 
Somewhere up here. Not important. Uh. Let's keep on running. Find that trill of lights. Take it out! Ugh. There's something down here that we haven't uh, collected. Is that right? No idea. We'll find the trial light was on the next chamber. Back. Right, right. It's, it's saying there's something here that we haven't collected yet. Like what? I don't know. It's, a, it's like a yellow orb. No, that's pilots? the resupply box, I think. Is it? I think. Huh. Mm, must be. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't see Maybe anything else. Oh, hang on. There he is. Right there. How do you fucking bury himself over there, you bitch? For rock and stone! Where is that man? Leave no dwarf behind! Elf down! We gotta deposit it to get the performance bonus! Go find Isaac. Lock and load it. There's charging. That looks deadly as all hell. Look at that spike. <laughs> You're deadly as all hell. Let there be light. By the Man. beard, Trinity, I'm feel right here. Oh, right. Right. Lighting up. Oh. All right, let's light this bad boy up. Now it's wait for the mule. Let's see. Let's go to suffocate otherwise. Yeah, I was like, I'm about to die. Where's the host yet, Molly? Right now. Go to now. All right. Where's the box? Where did I find that matrix? <laughs> Alright, next shot he's head. Get ready. Lloyd is up. Get the lasers online so we can Me crack the trip. Get these lasers, lasers up and running. Up and running. Have Might need like a platform over here. Look over here. Oh, no, yeah. we got it. Platform. I just got it. Oh, it's Look at it go! Well, well, a trivialite deposit. We're sending in a nanite bomb dispenser for you, team. If those things can't penetrate... Oh, that's my... Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> nice. oh, that's almost cheating. I don't... <laughs> nice done, team. That has to be the oh, fastest, nice like, wave. oh my god, it was so fast, like, the wave couldn't even catch up to us. <laughs> that was the fastest I've ever done one of those. Come on, Lady Luck. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Mm. Come on, I need some new gear. Don't jinx it. 
Oh, you gotta catch. You gotta catch the resupply. All right, I'll be right here. I'll watch. Oh, sure, but... Thanks for hanging, but this saved me. Ooh, that's a good question. Nope. It's all in the name of science, right? Getting supplies. Oh, yeah. All right, let's head on out of here. Lighting up. Pie over here, diligent with that dotty head. Oh, yeah. Stunning <laughs> we look ridiculous. I think that's it for me tonight. Shiny. I Ugh. wish I could stick around. Major core. Oh yeah, take your time. Wish I could stick around longer, but it's been I've been at this for like seven hours now. So. Oh no, I don't believe me there, man. Yeah, many say or uh, Pi says, all right, it was a good run. Hey, y'all should uh, y'all should friend up if you if you guys are still playing together. I mean, why not? You know, send each other friend requests and stuff. I don't mind that, but I will be heading out myself as well, but nah, I'll be good. Word. More the merrier. Right. Yeah, I mean, we got uh, five or six people now in the circle. <sighs> Paisa sounds good. Hey, don't you dare. How how dare you throw snowballs at me while my hand's Fucking off the keyboards? The heart. <laughs> All right, you know what? That, that's why he's dressed differently, Pi. It's me and him. It's me and you against Isaac. Yeah. Oh, you think you think the window's gonna save you? Huh? Oh, you think you think your magic jumping <laughs> ability's gonna save you, Isaac? Huh? You think your cheaty jumpy magic abilities are gonna? Where you at? Where'd you go? Wait. <laughs> Where'd he go? Quick. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Oh. Yeah, take that. <laughs> yeah, let's see your abilities now, Isaac. Ah. Where'd you go? You keep disappearing. <laughs> You're blending in with the environment. 
Yeah. Watch out! Oh, so close. Oh, missed that jump entirely. <laughs> oh, damn it. Juked me. Lost him again. <laughs> Swallow this. Slabby the slap. Oh. <laughs> Where is everyone? I oh, see you there. Uh, How's uh, there? I'm over here. Is, uh, under the ground. <laughs> I was like, Pi was over by the bar last I saw. Badass! <sighs> yeah! You! Nope. Oh, it's off. Jesus Christ! You get over there, Isaac? Did you see that? No, I missed it. Uh, yeah, watch this. Jump on the candy cane. Oh, does it, does it launch you? Sometimes. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> well, hey, there we go. I'm up here. Oh my god. Right. It does kind of get a little wonky. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I thought I was charging it up. Oh. Nope, that time it didn't nothing. All right, fellas. I'm going to go ahead and head on out of here. All right, man. It's been a blast. Enjoy the rest of your night. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go past the hell out right now. Thank you all so very much. It's been a very long one, but a hey, very informative, very interesting stream. Made some good friends, had some good conversations. Mm -hmm. That's been awesome. Uh, Pi says, Yeah, same to you. I missed that. Have a good one. All right, my brother Pete, be easy. We'll catch you next time. As for my stream, I'm gonna go ahead and head on out. I've been Mr. Marauder. I'll catch y'all later. A pace.